And here we go! It's Friday! We did it! We made it to the end of the week, everybody! And I tell you what, you can kind of start thinking about relaxing a little bit. You know, it's uh, it's Friday night, or at least it is here in the UK. Anyway, it's Friday afternoon over there in the US of A, of course, on midnight. And of course, uh, Big Ben chimed midnight, and we were still streaming, going strong, trying frantically uh, to get ourselves some uh, A-wing action. And of course, we succeeded, or at least we got the order in anyway. Uh, the delivery, I don't know, that's, that's with the gods at the moment, I'm afraid. Uh, we'll see. I, got, I, I went for next day delivery. Actually, I'll have to ask Darren, did, it, did he go for next day delivery? I'm not 100% not sure there. But anyway, we, we'll ask. But uh, we'll, we'll be talking about that uh, and all the frights of that. And I actually, I actually finished, albeit it was a long stream, I actually finished the set. Look at that, everyone. It's an A-Wing. Um, albeit that is, the, that is the resistance A-Wing. And it's a, a fine model of an A-Wing if ever there was one. But anyway, uh, the, for the next, I don't know, uh, 10 days or so, uh, there's going to be a lot of A-Wing action coming from London Bridge Bricks and Brick Hive and, and Darren's channel, of course, being solo brick builders. So, yeah, so it's all cool stuff. So anyway, um, it's Friday. I've got some cool people in the green room waiting to come out and do their thing. Uh, and we've got a load of bunch of good folks out there in chat land. So let's say, let's say hello to a few people that are out there. We've got Brett's Bricks. Brett's Builds, welcome along, my friend. Great to have you here. It says, hi, London Bridge Bricks. Sir Bricks, solo brick builder, road runner. They're all here, all the usual ones are here, which is fantastic. I love a little bit of continuity. I love having regulars here. And it's all part and parcel of being part of the LBB family, which I love, of course. Uh, we've got Jay Studios. Hello, Jay Studios. Good to have you here. Wesley Meadows, great to have you here, mate. Road Runner as well. God, we had a good laugh last night, didn't we? And of course, we've got Rise of the Brick as well. It's great to have you here. And also, we've got Coles Vic Bricks and Sir Bricks. So great to have you all you here. It's brilliant. Thank you as ever to everybody for all your support on Twitter and Instagram. And of course, uh, this channel, this channel, which, you know, is kind of in a, in a kind of roundabout way as much about you guys out there than it is for us. And we'll be talking about tonight, we'll be talking about whatever you guys want to talk about. You know, it's all about Lego, our love of Lego, uh, life, and having a few laughs along the way. You know you know the score, folks. This is what it's all about. Um, I'm, I'm just I'm just so happy that you're out there, that you're tuned in, you're going to watch us. You know, you could be at home at the moment eating your dinner or whatever, and just on the side or on the mantelpiece or whatever. It's just great to have you here. And if you want to talk about anything in particular, look at the news. Whilst we were streaming last night, massive news hit, hit, the, uh, hit the airwaves with the new ATAT. -AT. What do you reckon of that? Do you like it or not? I think it's all right. I think it's okay. I think the legs are a little bit skinny on it. It's one of those things. I'm um, I'm just not 100% sure with it. Not until I see it in the flesh. But when I've got that big bad boy over there, I'm kind of thinking to myself, do I want to get one? I've got all the figures other than General Veers, of course. But anyway, we'll be talking loads about that. We've got all those other new sets as well. We've got the Wonder Woman set, 76157 set. That's pretty funky. It's pretty golden as well, actually. But anyway, we'll be talking about all that stuff a little bit later on. We've got Bricks Master 75 in the chat as well. Great to have you here, mate. And uh, my God, Cut the Craggles here as well. Cut the Craggles was here all night with us last night. I think we started streaming last night at half past eight. I think we finished something around half one, something like that. It was like five hours, 10 minutes. It was a mammoth one. And it's okay, folks. There's no, nothing to worry about. My backside did recover from it as well, because it's going to be numb by the end of the night as well. So um, I think if anyone sits down for five hours and doesn't move around that much, you probably have the same issues as well. But anyway, enough about me. We've got Bridge Studio in the house. we got Nick Amore. Nick Amore, welcome along. I haven't seen you for ages, my friend. Great to have you here. Finally building assembly squares as I watch. Nick Amore, it's great to have you building some Lego at home, my friend. And it's great to have you in the uh, in the chat as well. We've got BFAB in the house. Brother from another brick. He's been shooting loads of news at the moment about that. And of course, as always, he was bang, right on it when it comes to the new ATAT news as well. So nice one, BFAB. Anyway, let's get some people on. And of course, as ever, as always, I've been streaming loads recently. I've got quite a few streams to come in the, in the next coming week, including May the 4th. But everyone, let me give you Mr. Star Wars himself, Solo Brick Builder. Hey, Hello, Darren, hey. Almost feels like long time no see. <laughs> we we actually were streaming six, twelve, 
day before we did that 17 hours ago, wouldn't we? We're doing pretty well, my friend. Yeah, we're doing good. Doing good. Yeah. Three and a half hours sleep. So I'm rocking it, mate. <laughs> and, and I tell you what, for someone who's had about three and a half hours sleep, uh, I had about four hours sleep, if I'm honest. Um, but for someone who's had about three and a half hours sleep, I think you're looking pretty good, mate. Thanks. Yeah. It's just a high octane amount of coffee, double strength. It's. Oh, yeah. yeah I've, got, <laughs> I've, got, I've, got to, I've got to say, folks, there's, there's three things in the world. There's three, thing, three things out there that make the world go around. There's love, of course. We know that. There's, uh, there's pizza. I've spoken about that loads of times. And someone out there in the chat tonight will notoriously say, I'm going to go and have some pizza. Uh, everyone always seems to have pizza on our stream. Yeah, so, unfortunately, yeah, that is going to be happening to me during the stream as well. Sorry, Greg. There we go. I, I, <laughs> I know these things. I know these things. Um, so, yeah, I think uh, let's get our next guest on. Oh, yeah, sorry. The other thing that makes the world go around is coffee. Uh, anyway, our next guest is... How can I put it? I don't really need to introduce him that much, really. He is, like I always say, he's the guru of all things Ninjago. He's, of course, Titanium J52. Hey, Titanium. Hello. Hello, everybody. There he is. Look at that. I, I'm loving the fact. I don't know how he, how he does it, folks, but he always seems to wear the white colour clothes for the background that I'm using. So today, the background's blue bricks with a hint of grey uh and he is wearing a blue sweatshirt i think you guys call it yeah. with yeah. um with a hint of a grey shirt yeah i mean my god he is he is not only the guru of all things in jago he is mr color coordinated as well anyway talking of color coordination uh let's bring on our youngest lad for the stream that is a, is of course Brickso Studios. Hello, everyone. How's it going? Hello. How are we doing? Yeah, yeah good, good, good. How are you? I'm all right, my friend. Now, nice. one of my favorite countries in the world is Italy. I've been in numerous times. Tuscany. Ah, oh, it is heaven. And I mean heaven on earth. But one of the other beautiful places I've been to is Venice. Now, check, it, check it out, folks. Oh la la. No, that's French. <laughs> 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 yeah. European, I'll give you that, Darren. It is yeah, it's, it's part of the European. Part. I don't know the kind yeah. of phrase for Italian. I'm not hot on my Italians. Yeah, <laughs> I know no Italian at all. You're not the only one solo. No, that's why. I do. I do German. That's all I know. You do German. Oh well. Yeah. Well, in that case, I will. I feel the same. From uh, from you and Solo Mood and uh, Benimia Hanisimandrie. Now I don't know what language that is, but it kind of sounds Italian, doesn't it? I don't know. I think I used to use it as a chat up line when I was. Isn't just Italian, just mwah. Yeah. Now, no, no, the French do that. The French do that. Yeah. The French do that, and the Italians do that. Oh, that's no, it. Yeah. But it looks good. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, just insulted loads of people. In the yeah, yeah. Now, only only about twenty minutes ago. I was going crazy because I was thinking, I, this is the, for the last three hours, I've been sitting here, right? I'm, no kids, no kidding, folks. I've been sitting here doing a load of video work. So I've got the, 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 the Mini Cooper uh, video should hopefully be out tomorrow anyway. And then I'm sitting here, la, 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 and, I, and I'm, Mr. Hinkle Draws is on my right side. I've got Filmora over here. I'm doing loads of editing and cutting and stuff like that. Anyway, Mr. Hinkle Draws kind of comes to a close. And then I was thinking, yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Uh, I'm not scheduled for seven thirty tonight. I'm scheduled for six thirty. So in the space of twenty minutes, I managed to cook myself something that resembles a chip sandwich, or, or as you guys would probably call it, a French fry, French fries sandwich, which is basically chip or French fries between two layers of bread. That's all it was. That's all I had time for, folks. So not the best diet in the world. Um, got myself a good mouthful of coffee. I got myself some water, and that's it. I'm here. I'm here. And luckily, all my all my guests got here on time as well. So anyway, um, Darren, what are you up to tonight then? Um, I'm going to attempt somehow to actually try and build this um, oh. the, the skiff speeder. I'm going to try and attempt to build that. Um, I only really got it for the Lando figure. That's the only yeah. reason why I bought it years ago. So um, yeah, I'm just going to rebuild it again. For why the hell not? Um, and then meanwhile, I'll probably shut myself off for a couple of minutes and have a pizza. <laughs> I don't blame you. If um, if if anyone wants to uh, have like a sort of a, a food, a connoisseur of food uh, segment of the show, uh, 
solo brick builder. He's definitely the man that does it. The other day, you might have noticed him eating a caterpillar birthday cake on the stream. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Anyone that's known on my over on my streams, I'm always stuffing my face with something. I think even yesterday on your stream, I was probably having tea and biscuits. I think I was having on your stream. <laughs> <laughs> a very British kind of thing. Very British. Yeah. Great and beef without tea and biscuits. Anyway, and um, so titanium. You got a you got a beautiful desk there, my friend. Uh, what are you what, what are you going to be doing on it? Uh, not quite sure yet. Might disassemble a couple sets, but he's still picking out his favourite minifigure. <laughs> yeah, last time he was last time Titanium was on, he was chatting about um, minifigures, obviously Ninjago ones, and he was giving us. Uh, I, I asked him. I said, uh, Titanium, give us what's your what's your favourite figures, like your favourite version of each one, because he's got like twenty of each, um, and he, he, we got it down to. Uh, into, we've got it down to three. We've got three each uh, that he likes of each one. But uh, yeah, may, maybe tonight we could have like a, a, a favorite one to dismantle or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm catching the pause here, but yeah, no, it's great to everyone, uh, Titan, and you know that as always, my friend. Glad uh, to be here. Brickso, what are you going to be doing? Taking apart many sets, at least. Okay. Oh, is that the uh, women of NASA you're taking apart? Yes, it is over here. Yeah. Over here. Look at that for a space yeah. shuttle folks. It's yeah, so they're all in pieces sort of thing. Uh yeah. Taking apart that. I found it in a box and I was like, oh well, it's all this is and which I may as well just take it apart anyway. Yeah, very good. Yeah. I'm liking it. Let's have a quick look at the chat, see what's going on in there. We've got obviously Mr. Ginkle draws in the house, cut the craggle, Gallagate saying hi to Tony and Jacob too. Gallagate, hope you're feeling better. Um and thanks for popping in last night. I think you him on the street or he was in the chat around 12 30 this morning um uh, an unearthly time of day to be street uh brickmaster 75 says i won a lego raffle today three pound three pound ticket and got the hogwarts express proper excited hey very nice brickmaster 75. I'm bad. I'm bad. that's pretty good that is a good set is that one of the do, do you belong to like um like any of those raffle sites on the on what's it called facebook uh, I've been on to a couple, and I've always done quite well on those. Um, I just don't get, I never seem to get the alerts in time, though, um, which isn't a bad thing, because, you know, gambling and all that. But yeah, no, well done, my friend. Uh, I won, what did I win on that once? I won the, I once won the ultimate Batmobile, and I won um, a Trafalgar Square. So, yeah, so good on you, mate. Um, look forward to seeing seeing that in due course. Rise of the Bricks, says Nice. And we've got Chef T in the house. Chef T, welcome along, my friend. Great to have you here. Uh, Doc Samson says, congrats, Brickmaster75. Garla Gates says, hi, Rogue Runner. Colt Wickbrick says, hey, Doc. Lots of, lots of love in the house tonight. I'm liking that, folks. Um, don't forget, like I always say, like I always say, give us a thumbs up. And if you're new to London Bridge Bricks, please, um, please do think about hitting that subscribe button. Um, it's, it's, I, th I know it's almost a, maybe a cliche these days. I, I'm, not really, I'm not really sure. It can't be a cliche because I mean it. Um, but yeah, just become a part of the LBB family. And if you fancy it, hit that notification button so you know when I'm dropping out new content, which is great, which is what it's all about. Anyway, and the same bit, it's not just me as well to check out. You've got all these great people oh, out there yeah. in the chat as well. And of course, on the panel, uh, we've got those just there. Now, don't forget, oh, folks, yeah. that Doc, Doc, just so you know, if you want to drop in, you can. I've sent you the link, my friend. If you can, brilliant. If you can't, that's cool. Uh, and Mr. Hinkle, I've done the same to you as well. So if you want to come in, you're more than welcome. So what have we got else going on in the chat? It says Rogue, Rogue Runner. People are already trying to sell this year's May the 4th promo for £40 or more online. Oh, wow. I don't think any of them will sell. Um, Rogue Runner, on eBay, because I'm going to be honest, I'm probably going to sell my one. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what is a good price to get for it, maybe twenty. I think, I think that's probably a better price to go for, to be honest, yeah. yeah. 20 quid. I don't. I think 40 quid is a bit of a, yeah, a bit that's much. a bit much. I, I think uh, forty pound is a bit much for it, to be honest. The, the, the Star Wars ones normally go anywhere between sort of twenty-two and twenty-seven pounds. I mean, the, the, the best-selling one I've ever sold was um, oh, what was it now? It was the limited edition Batmobile that came out in nineteen eighty-nine. Batmobile, um, yeah, that was uh, that was a really good one, and I got quite a lot of money back for that. And of course, it made the Batmobile uh, that little bit cheaper. And of course, with all that, you can kind of reinvest into the uh, oh, i love i love that reminds me of shelf i love my mini batmobile i think it's brilliant oh what's that one uh, brick so sorry man i didn't quite I, catch I that i love i love my mini batmobile top of my shelf it's one of my favorite 
like promotional sets and stuff. I think it's brilliant. Yeah, I mean, it, is, it was a great set. Um, yeah. I just wanted to kind of uh, reinvest it into the house. Hello there, J Studio. This is Hiya LBB. Great to see you, mate. Fantastic to uh, have you in the chat, my friend. Um, ah, now, okay, Rise, Rise of the Brick asks a very pertinent question. He says, are you going to get the ATAT in a nutshell? I'm not sure yet because I want to see it. Oh, I had something quite cool happen last night as well after my stream. Anyway, uh, Darren, do you think you're going to get it? Um, I'm probably the same as you. I mean, I obviously last night talking about last night, obviously, we had quite strong feelings about it. Um, it does sound like it's got a lot of pieces to it, but it, st it still sounds like a lot of money for an ATA. Yeah, how many pieces it's got? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I, I think I have to just, like physically see it to kind of go, yeah, all right, and I'll, I'll have that, I'll have a bit of that. But knowing me, I, it'd probably end up in my basket. I'll probably end up buying it anyway, but. Yeah, whether yeah, I was got to see first of all, see what it looks like, like decent pictures, because I have no doubt there's probably a lot of people out, like big YouTubers, that are probably going to get it like in the next couple of days, so they can start reviewing it from the Lego community and all that kind of stuff. So it'd be quite interested to see what that comes up on there. Yeah. That yeah. that will shift that will shift my mind probably, but yeah, at the moment, first glances of it, yeah, yeah, I'm swaying back and forward on it quite a lot. Yeah. Just having a look on Brickset to see if they've got any decent pictures of it. Let's take a look. I know they've got on Brickset, and there's a load of adverts at the moment, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, there's loads. Unless yeah, you're logged in. Unless you're logged in. I still get, I always get adverts, even even when I'm logged in, but that's not too oh, bad. Do you guys want to take, uh, do you want, should we take a look at you folks and see what news we've got out there on it? Um, Jay Studios is saying, I will get the ATAT. Rogue Runner is saying, Tech Productions. No one knows at this point due to the situation. Darth Raptis. Hey, Darth Raptis. Welcome along, mate. It's really good to see you in the chat. Hello. Um, Darth Raptis is saying, I want that ATAT. Yeah, I mean, I'm on the fence at the moment. So, um, I've already got one, so I don't need one. I've got the 2014 one. Mm, yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. The thing is, right, so I'm, in, I'm in this, um, how can I put it, position where I've got this one here. And it's not going to be as good as that one. And that one's just oh, about a thousand pieces. And uh, when it comes to the figures, I've got all the figures other than General Veers, which looks like he's a kind of exclusive one. But yeah. the thing is, I'll, I'll just go to one of my friends, like, I don't know, this guy here, Brick Dragon. I'll just go to him and I'll just say, can you get one for me? And he will. So I'll get a brand spanking new one that way. So I don't know how you normally do it solo. Do you? Do you ever sometimes, uh, and you guys out in the chat, let me know, do you actually sometimes just do what I do and just buy the odd figure? Because sometimes, and I've got quite a few figures down here tonight because I'm, I'm looking for a particular uh, figure that I've got, a pre vizsla And the reason I'm looking for a pre vizsla is because of this. I'm going to be building this a little bit later on. Let's stick that on. The, actually, I'm not, I'm not going to be building it later on. I'm going to be building it. Well, I am going to be building it later on, but probably not on the stream. Probably because... Uh, this this is a pretty good looking set. Actually, it's a pretty good set. Let's face it. But what I'm going to be doing is um, piecing it out uh, with you to building it over the weekend. So I've just got to make sure because it's not a brand new steel set. But I've just got to make sure it's all there. Anyway, if anyone's watched the Clone Wars, you'll know exactly why I want to be building that. But anyway, so that's going to be coming up soon from London Bridge Bricks. Um, but I want to make sure I've just got all the pieces here. And this guy here, Obi Wan Kenobi, uh, that's one of the figures I recently got from Brick Dragon. So um, do check him out. Brick Dragon, check him out on Google. He's a good guy. Okay, so back to here. Now, talking of pre Bizla, pre the show starting, Titanium J was showing me one that he'd finished earlier. So let's take a little look, shall we? Look at that. Yeah. Ooh, that is a good look. So, uh, a couple of years ago, my friend was getting rid of his Lego collection, and so he asked me if I wanted the Lego collection. I was like, yes. So he gave me many sets, and one of them was this. And it was mostly complete. I think there were a couple of pieces missing, but I was able to replace those. And so, yeah, had all the figs, too. Nice. Yeah, that is nice. It's just... It's just super good looking. It is a really good looking craft. Sleek and yeah. stuff. 
Nah, it's it's nice. How many pieces is it? I've got, I've got no idea about it. I think it's like 300 and something, maybe 400. Okay, that's not, that's not it's quite, it looks like it's made up of quite a lot of plates, um, I tell you. Yeah, there's a lot of plates in here. Yeah, it was um, it was partially built when he gave it to me, so I found what pieces were missing and pieced it together. Yeah. It's pretty Is good. That stuff. What you're, how many Star Wars ships have you actually got? I don't know. Not as many Ninjago vehicles, but there's more Ninjago than there is Star Wars, but I do a fair amount <laughs> of Star Wars. Okay. Yeah. So, 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 so let me know, everybody out there, do you do, you, do, you do what I do occasionally? You sort of think, oh, I don't fancy that set. Let me tell you a set that I did that for. It was the, um, and I personally think it was rubbish. It's the, well, not the last one, before, the ATST uh, set that came out with the. Oh, the uh, Raider. No, 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 not the Raider. That was the last one. The last one before that that came out. Oh, um, 2017 one from Rogue One. Star Wars movie. And the problem with that was, is you had the ATST Lakes, um, but you didn't have the uh, the rest of it. It was all fully missing. And I know Darren's not the biggest fan of that, that particular set, are you, Darren? Not really, no. And that, no. ladies and gentlemen, is putting it politely. So yes. um, oh, what, definitely. the thing with that set is they came with one particularly good-looking figure. That was, of course, Captain... Phasma, and we won't go into Captain Phasma because that's another can of worms as it is. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing was, it's a good looking figure, and I got it. I think I'm, I must probably got it from Good Dragon as well. But yeah, so um, so yeah, that's um, that's what I do. So let me know in the chat if you guys do that as well. Cut the Kraken, do you do that? Do you do that with some hidden sets? Have you ever? Because there's a lot of sets out there that have got you know you'll get um, JB and all them and all the kind of usual. Uh, peeps do, do, do you ever just kind of just buy figures or or sometimes do you, do you just buy the sets and sell the figures off a lot of people do that let me know i think the only it. one that i never got was the bark speeder with the uh um does the i think that's the only one that i ever bought the figure for uh because it had the phase two captain rex in it oh, that and, nice and that was yeah. uh that was a really expensive set i thought it was overpriced um and uh, so I just went out of my way and bought the Captain uh, Captain Rex Phase Two one. I think that's the only time I've ever done him. And uh, yeah, I yeah, mean, you look at you look to find the Phase Two Captain Rex now. You, you you're looking a lot of money for one of him now. So I yeah. most of the time I just get the sets. I just keep the figures out of there. Um, but yeah, not not very often unless it's an actual figure that I really want and I hate the set. Mm. But yeah, I try and keep. Wait, I, try, I try to buy the set. Yeah, I, I I do try and buy the set sometimes, but it's it, it, it sometimes. Do you know what? I'm, sometimes I, the set will come out and I'll be like, oh, I'm not really interested in that. And then all of a sudden it'll go in like fifty percent off sale. Oh, look at that! I'm liking him. Um, yeah. And then I think oh, I'm going to buy that. So that figure, I'm sure that figure recently was on one of the uh, Ninjago magazines, but it was the, I couldn't yeah. get that in the magazine um, because um, well, because of the, the, the recent lockdown, should we say? <laughs> Yeah, it's the uh, the Ice Emperor. I didn't want the set because I didn't really like the dragon that set, and I wasn't able to buy the set as well, just not in the budget. So I went on Bricks and Pieces, and at the time, all the pieces for the minifig were on there. It was like three and a half dollars. So I decided to just buy this fig instead of buying the whole set. Yeah, no, he's pretty good. And, uh, sorry, where did you say you got that figure from? Did you get that from a magazine as well, or you just saw it loose? No, no, from uh, Lego Bricks and Pieces. At the time, they had all the pieces on the website available, so I ordered it from there. Oh, yeah, he's a good-looking figure. Here, can you take his helmet off? I'm just interested to see what that helmet looks like. Yeah. yeah. One of those really cool, like, printed, like, molded ones. They're really nice. Yeah, it kind of reminds me. It's, well, it's dual molded. It's trans blue. Yeah, yeah good-looking figure. Yeah, that is a good-looking figure, all right. It's, it's, his head almost reminds me of like a sort of hidden side mm -hmm. one, but they seem to be sort of greenish. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, Greg, what was that Brooklyn store? The Brick Dragon, was it? Uh, what was that Brick Dragon? Sorry, man. Uh, was, it the, was it the Brick Dragon, that Brooklyn store? Oh, yeah, it's not, uh, it's not Brick Link. So oh. he's got his own store. So he, he, oh. he's, kind of, he's kind of like a brickling, but yeah, that's it. That's in there. 
everyone check that out you go to that web page okay cool. and, uh, and he, he, he only does star wars that's all he does the star wars stuff oh, so nice. you never know he might even have a, a made the full sale or something like that but do check it out he always, he's always got special deals on and and stuff like that so um yeah check him out. He's, a, he's a good guy a really good guy Andrew morgan yeah. uh, runs it and uh yeah he's a great guy so let me tell you a little story about what happened last night so um so last night actually i'll look at the chat first of all and then i'll tell you all about it it's, it's something to do with um jang bricks of all people uh so yeah so darth Raptis says i wish i had a girlfriend that, that bought me lego yeah that's <laughs> true man i'll tell you what brett uh you landed on your feet there my my, my old son uh Gala gates is greg what time is lego the maniac stream starting tomorrow well interestingly it's starting at 7 a.m tomorrow folks uh british standard time so british standard time being the current sort of time zone us here in the uk are in so um so yeah so that's that's what that's what that's what time is starting he's um we had lego maniac on recently he was on last week and he's doing a, a 24-hour stream where he's going from 7 a.m uh, tomorrow morning to 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. And then, and then, if that wasn't enough, he's going to be joining me on Monday for a May the 4th uh, special uh, stream that we're going to be doing. So um, I'm going to be here. Darren's going to be here. And Lego oh, Domain is going to be Hopefully here. Hopefully, I should have a very special set for that one. I mean, it's hey. May the 4th. You've got to have a nice set for that, haven't you? Yeah, I, th I think I'm, I don't know what one I'm going to build, actually. It's, I, I'm going to build a small Star Wars one anyway. I think we're going to be streaming for it's going to be streaming for about three hours. I suppose, I suppose mm. three hours or something like that. And you might as well make it worth that while. Hey, um, ah, oh, here we go. Look, here we go. Look at that. A bit of uh, pre Vizsla. Look at that. Now, I'm not joking. That figure is probably worth somewhere around the fifty pounds mark at the moment in the UK. Yeah, he's an expensive figure. Yeah, there's the Captain Rex. Yeah, that, I just looked on eBay just to see how much he's going for on eBay. It's about 70 quid. Wow. Yeah, Captain Rex Phase 2 one. Yeah, it's ridiculous how expensive he is. That's about, I think it's about $100, isn't it, if you work out the currency right? That's insane. Oh, yeah, at least. Yeah. Oh, Which one was that? Captain Fox, isn't it? I can't remember his name now. No, it's, a, it's an Arc Trooper. Oh, oh, it's just the Arc Trooper, isn't it? Oh, right. yeah. oh okay. Isn't it from oh back? yeah, I couldn't see. I couldn't see the back of his helmet. I couldn't see a little fin on there. That's a good. Hey, Shells, can you pull your pull, pull that round? I want to see how that looks. Is that really deep? Oh yeah. Here's um. Oh, I'm liking that. Yeah, this is my Mandalorian container. With <laughs> And then this is clones. This is Empire. Empire is not entirely full because I sold the figs in a, a recent walk that I did. But yeah, I could imagine your Empire one must be would overflow quite easily on that one. Yeah, it's nearly full. I don't think I can fit too many more. But... I like it. Right. Just out of interest, uh, while, while we're talking about Star Wars stuff, Titanium, what what is um, what is your favorite Star Wars ship that you've got? Hmm. I don't know. I think it. I think I'd probably pick Obi Wan's Jedi Interceptor because I loved that ship for a long time. I love the dark red and everything in it. Unfo one. Yeah. Unfortunately, one of the uh, the wings is broken, so Aww. I need to. I need to get a new wing and a new sticker sheet. Oof. Unless I can <clears throat> figure out a way to take the stickers off. The yeah, it's good. It's really good. Um, so what's going on there, Brick? So what are you up to there? Uh, well, I've... can you hear me better now? Is my mic better? Yeah, I can hear you okay. Yeah, because uh, Jay Studio said uh, um, audio wasn't good. So, yeah, yeah, you sounded a little bit quiet earlier on. I don't know if you just yeah. want to put your mic. I've, I've changed I changed my mic anyway. It was my webcam. I think I've changed it to something else now. Okay, so it's not well. probably or anything like that. So it, it sounds no. good. Yeah, okay, you just cool. might be a little bit nearer to it. That's that's all I'm saying. Yeah. Maybe that's what he was saying. Yeah. Uh, but they've basically taken apart both the sets, and I uh, got to bag them up in a moment. So yeah. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, Brick Studio says, "Hey, London Bridge Bricks, can I get a link?" Yeah. Okay, Brick Studio. It'd be nice to um, have you in 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 amongst. 
the clan of us as well i'll drop you uh an email in just a tick my friends out so, of crackle is going to be cooking some fish and chips yeah yeah and um that's not making me feel hungry at all cut the crackle no. I, I, I literally had what they call over here in in england uh well you could call it that in wales as well <laughs> I don't even know why. <laughs> yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, we call it a, a chip butty. Um, yeah. oh, chip butty. Americans call oh. don't call chips chips. They call them. Um, mm. Chip butty. They call them, what do they call chips? Fries. Call chips. Fries, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> thank, thank God we've got an American on here to, to interpret things for us. Fantastic. <laughs> so, Brick Studios, I am sending you the link now. There we go. It's all yours, my friend. Right, back mean. to StreamYard. Now, oh, look at this. Oh, is that the yeah. 2006 one? Or the no, it's the, uh, I think it's 2012. Somewhere it's not 2013, there. 2013. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I oh, didn't I buy it. I got it from a friend. That's the so. smaller one. Yeah. Yeah, this set is great. But my, uh, my A-Wing pilot, his torso is cracked. No, no one likes to crack torso. Oh, that's very cool. Well, I mean, talking of A wings, and we will have a look at that AT eighteen in just a minute, folks. We will come back to that. I haven't forgotten, honest. Well, I've got an AT, uh, I've got an A, an A wing, um, just here. Look at that. Look. So I built him. On, you still haven't put the stickers on. Still no, incomplete. I haven't had time. I, had time. I literally have not had time today. I, when I say I haven't stopped, I tell you what. I got up this morning. I got up this morning. Anyway, so I got up and I said I came in here. In my dressing gown and stuff like that. I had a coffee. This is after about four hours sleep. I was like, God, I literally missed half my night's sleep last night. It was all your fault, Darren. Anyway, so I'm sitting here. <laughs> next thing I I blame it on Darren. <laughs> what was that, Rick? Sorry? I blame it on Darren, Greg. Oh, yeah, no, I'm blaming Darren because it, <laughs> it was very strange. Yeah, honestly, folks, you've got to watch the stream from last night around midnight. After midnight, um, Lego.com completely went down. <laughs> Globally, it went offline. It was freaking out. It was absolutely, everyone's freaking out and going crazy. Yeah. Were, we're going like, and I was emailing, well, when it, when it was up, about like 10 minutes before it kind of went down, I don't think it crashed. I think they kind of strategically took it down. So anyway, a bit like taking down the lights of, your, of a Christmas tree. But they, did, they obviously didn't tell anyone. It just says, oh, sorry, there's a problem or there's an error or an error occurred. So anyway, Darren and I were putting stuff into our basket about 10 minutes before midnight or maybe half past 11. And... Uh, and it just kept, it just kept getting errors. Anyway, so check us out on Twitter and Instagram, and, you, and, you'll, and you'll see all that. It was, um, it was kind of funny looking back to it. And Rogue, Rogue Runner was kind of winding us up and building. Oh, up. you were winding us right up. It, it was really funny. It was really funny. Uh, the Bricks broadcast says, um, "Thank you for the greeting, London Bridge Bricks." The, the, I'm liking the name Brick broadcast. Um, what yeah, do you do? Yeah. Do you do like uh, podcasts or uh, do you do like weekly news or what's your thing? You, you called the Brick Broadcast, so I'm kind of thinking maybe along that lines. Tell us a little bit about yourself, mate. Um, feel free to subscribe to everyone that's in the chat or us uh, and the panel as well. It'd be great, be great to have you on, my friend. Um, and everyone, if everyone could do me a little favour, a little, just a little tiny favour, just give us a little thumbs up. Uh, it really, really does. Uh, and last night we got something like 32 thumbs up. And uh, I was like, yes. I do you like got it. 15 right now, Doug. I'm sorry, Brick said? You got 15, 15 likes. Oh, wow. Well, that's pretty good. So thank you yeah. so much. But yeah, if you, if you bounce in, please by all means give us another. Um, I've got Haley Bricks and Britannia. Uh, in the uh, in the stream, hey, what time is it where you are? It must be, well, I suppose, in the early afternoon, maybe even late morning where you are. Hey, anyway, great to have you here. Um, hey, he says, Hey, go back, and then she goes and say, Everyone shopping online, yeah, we, we have to. I'm afraid we really do. Hey, don't put that away just yet, Titanium. I saw what he was doing there. Uh, cut the cables, they still not put the stickers on the A wing, still incomplete at this rate. It would have taken Greg three days. Hmm. <laughs> cut the cable, it's probably going to take four days. I'm going to, I'm going to do yeah. that just to keep the numbers even, my friend. Uh, Haley says it's the afternoon where she's at. Good stuff. Uh, Haley, are you east coast or central time? Because you're central time, aren't you, Titanium? Yeah, I am. Good man. So, anyway. Um, give us, um, Titanium, give us a little bit of the Millennium Falcon action. 
Yeah, I need to get some new parts, man. Oh, that's the Force Awakens one, though. I need to get one. I, I've got the uh, 2011 one. Oh, I like that. About my shelf. Yeah, my brother smashed my one to pieces. I'm missing so many pieces out of it. So. I hate these that, that's time that's time my favourite one. That's that's Vader's one. That's Vader's uh, Interceptor, isn't it? Well, yeah. 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 yeah, that's my favourite one. Yeah. That's the, this the is, beginning. Yeah. And this is yeah. also this also has a broken wing. Yeah, those oh, people yeah. break so easily though, they do. Yeah. So many sets like that, it's gone like that. Especially my oldest, but definitely the older ones have all gone like that. Yeah. My two thousand and seven uh, hyperdrive ring, that one's uh not good. And we have this, the droid gunship. I have two of these. Which one is that? Is that the two thousand and eight one? Yeah. It's a 2014 one. Oh, right, okay. I got the uh, one from last year. <laughs> ah, don't want to buy that. Oh, that is very nice. Okay, the, the Brit Broadcast says, my apologies if I'm not as active in the chat. I am doing a bit of homework at the moment. Ah, good stuff, eh? It says, honestly... It's an assortment of videos for alternative builds to Lego news and sometimes Nerf. I believe that the name, the brick broadcast, just sounded nice to me. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Nice name. I think uh, it's a very cool name. So welcome along, my friend. Uh, great to have you here. Um, and please do check out everybody's channel who's here. You, you, you're in a fine place. And where, where, whereabouts in the world are you, uh, the 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 a TBB. I call you TBB. It's, it's, it's so much easier. I can see why people call London Bridge Bricks LBB a lot of the time because it's just it's good to say sometimes. No, I'm not town. buying four thousand pounds worth of Lego. Not again. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. yeah, that, that's funny. Oh god, I, I tell you, my heart actually stopped when I saw that in my basket. <laughs> oh, god. Um, yeah, I tell you what happened. So last night, then, so about. I don't know, it must have been 2.30. No, 3 o'clock. It's 3 o'clock this morning. Um, I'm going to bed, and I'm, sit I'm sitting in bed, and I, I, and I saw, oh, Jang Bricks. He started doing um, uh, some some new news uh, live streaming. Uh, so I don't know if anyone's seen that at all. Let, let me know what you think of it. But anyway, so when the official pictures of the ATAT -AT came out, um, he he just kind of sits at, his de sits at his desk. He's got his laptop there. And he's kind of just going through the chat and just talking people through, looking at the images and putting his thoughts on what he thinks and feels about the new, the new set. So anyway, so I'm not joking, folks. There was about 980 people in the chat. So I messaged, messaged him. I said, oh, I'm, what did I say? I said something along the lines of, I'm not sure if I like it yet. The jury is still out, but I recently built the plus size ATAT. And uh, I, I know it's, it's not for most people, it's not a big deal, but he actually read it out. He said, oh, London Bridge Bricks here says, blah, 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 what I just said. And it was just really nice to hear Jane Bricks say the words London Bridge Bricks. It was kind of really cool. Because he's like so, Jane Bricks, he's the biggest YouTube channel on Lego. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. If, if, he, if there's one thing he knows uh, a lot about is... Uh, is uh, his old Jang, he, he's got, he's got, and he's got some quite interesting uh, stuff that he's into. Actually, so he's, he's not all about Lego. Ah, bonjour, monsieur. We have the French clone in the uh, in the chat, girls and boys. Great to have you here, uh, the French clone. Marvelous to have you here. Oh, we've got Matt Elder, London Bridge Books. Congrats. Um, yeah, thank you, uh, thank you, Matt. Uh, you've changed, you've changed your icon over. Actually, where are you, Matt? You're meant to be here, aren't you? Um, Talking of which, we've got the Imperial Officer 07. Hi, how's everyone doing? We're doing all right. Good to have you here. Uh, Hayley Brooks says, Garlic Gate, glad you are feeling better. Being sick is no fun. It certainly isn't. And I'll tell you what I'm going to go and get, folks. I'm just going to go and grab a coffee. So with that in mind, uh, Darren, you've got the coffee. Oh, epic stuff. Hmm. Uh, what, what have I missed? I missed something. Sorry, my, uh, my missus was talking about exactly the same time. <laughs> You're on the spot now, Solo. I'm on the spot. Yeah. Um, hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> what am I supposed to be doing? Am I supposed to be looking after the chat? Yeah, look after yeah. the chat. Don't swear. You yeah. know the score. Yeah, I know the score. Don't worry. No swearing. No swearing. I, I, it's, it's not my channel, so I'm on my best behavior. <laughs> um, right. Okay. Yeah, you might hear a lot of weird noises going in the background because my daughter and my missus are in the kitchen throwing food around, I have no doubts. Um, 
Scarlet Gate, yes, Scarlet Gate. I hope you are feeling better today. Um, because I, I heard yesterday you weren't well. Um, yeah, hi, Bricks Broadcast. Um, it's good to see you, my friend. Um, uh, go, yeah, uh, blah, blah, blah. um, Imperial Officer 07 is saying, how is, how is everyone doing today? Um, I'm doing fine. Um, I don't know about how, how everyone else is doing in the chat. Bricks, so how are you doing today? Um, yeah, I'm very, very good. Titanium, you doing good? <laughs> That's good. Um, no, uh, so like, yeah, you, you said that. It's funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. It's, it's very dangerous giving me the car. Yeah. it's still here. You haven't lost any subs, have you, Greg? That's that's the main thing. I've kept. Oh, I'll, I'll try to be a professional. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, I, I, I've got to say as well, folks. Um, I'm talking to subs and stuff like that. There's a couple of things that have happened in the last week uh, that I just want to say thank you for. Uh, first and foremost. I get 400 subs. I'm, I'm on something like 412, I think, at the moment. Thank you everyone for that. I really appreciate that. It, it genuinely really, really does mean everything and kind of, I don't know, kind of helps me feel like I'm doing the right thing. So, so yeah, thank you for that. And, and the other thing is uh, I hit 400 subs as well on Instagram, which is incredible. So thank you again for that. I, I, I hit that literally about an hour ago. So, oh, wow. That's good, bro. Yeah. So, Brilliant stuff. I really appreciate it. And I love you loads. <laughs> it sounds cheesy, but it's true. I really do. It's It does help me do what I do. And I know it, it's the same for Darren from Solo, Titanium, Brickso Studios. It really helps us do what we do. And everyone, you know, you've got people like Brick Broadcast and stuff like that. We've got Cut the Craggle. Now, Cut the Craggle's definitely not short of subscribers. But even him, with all his subscribers, always, I know, always appreciates uh, a subscription yeah. so you know i'm almost at 80 i'm one away from 80 subs so I'm gonna well, get yeah, there you go folks i mean you, you, you're growing really well you're, you're growing yeah. quite rapidly you're growing out and like, i mash it right i mean especially when i started um on in the chat and these streams enjoying these streams like that got quite a few subs um no, that's brilliant, yeah. mate. these streams definitely did help me well, good stuff. It's, it's same, good with, same with Instagram as well. Instagram was great. Like so many people came from Instagram. So uh, yeah, that is all good stuff. Right, let's send that to. Uh, Carl, I got a pizza for two today. Yeah, yeah. What have you got for dinner? Anyway? Show, show us what you got. What pizza? You I've, got, got? I've got everyone's vote because, as you know, Greg, getting pizza from Domino's or um, oh. pizza is very slim picking. So I've got everyone's favourites. Hawaiian pizza with extra oh. extra cheese and some cheesy Hawaiian dip. Mm. I'm probably going to get a lot of hate from the chat now, but yeah, it's it's very slim pickings getting anything off pizza and Domino's because their menu shrunk like to like five different sorts of pizzas. Oh, has it? Yeah, you, there's a very small amount of choices that you can actually have on there, so it's really disappointing. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, what I've do you got there, Titanium? Oh, and I've got we've got some action in the green room as well. Hold tight there. Um, show us what you've got there, Titanium. So a while ago, I did an alternate build of um, a couple of those First Order Battle Packs. It's like the, the Tower one and the Speeder one. And uh, I made this. Nice. It's pretty nice. Yeah. It, uh, it, it can fit seven figs. Very tight squeeze. That's not... That was quite... Was that... Was that a recent uh, battle pack that came from? No, the, these were a bit older. I think uh, 2017, 2018, yeah, 2017. Yeah. Uh, okay. Also, just to say, um, uh, Brick Broadcast just got me to 80 subscribers. So thank you to that, to, you to Brick Broadcast. Uh, yeah, thank you, it. Brick Broadcast. It was amazing. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share with you folks what I've got for dinner tonight. I have. Well, this is dessert, really. I guess this is dessert. Um, Darren's, Darren's got his pizza. Mm -hmm. Believe me, that's healthier than what I've got here. So here we go. My cup of cha, which isn't actually tea anyway, it's coffee. And I've got myself an Easter egg. There we go. See that? Ah, that's what you call a nutritious dinner. That is. I'm not joking, folks. That is, for a Lego YouTuber, that's a meal. That's all we need. That and the ability to create videos in our sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> which so true. Hey, we got Cafe Con Lego in the house, folks. Cafe Con, loving your channel, I really am. 
Um, no, it's really cool. So let's. Um, oh, I got my mouse watering. Anyway, we got some. We got some action in the green room, folks. Um, this guy can only be described in two words. He is Matt, the Elder. There he is. Good evening. How are you going? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> Here we go. As every night he wears something different. Last night he was wearing uh, glasses, and, and tonight he's he's got himself a new headpiece. Yeah, the the previous ones were sort of anchored to the uh, the laptop, so you, you try to stand up or do anything when you're drawing, and they all of a sudden come out. Whereas oh, yeah. uh, before, yeah. it had had them plugged oh. in and was uh, listening to you guys on the other side of the house. <laughs> oh, fantastic! I hope your wife didn't mind. <laughs> Well, the headphones, so you can't hear. <laughs> ah, ah, good old Bluetooth. The only problem is with my Bluetooth. Any Bluetooth ones I get, I, I don't know what it is. Whenever I, I don't know, I like to wear Bluetooth headphones when I'm washing the car or something like that. And notoriously, I go over the other side of the car, the, the, the side that's not facing my headphones. It, it just cuts out all the time. It drives me nuts. <laughs> How's your ride today as well, Matt? How's that getting on? Yeah, it's much, much better. Like, uh, at least today, it's still red and watery, but um, it's not as light sensitive. Whereas yesterday, um, if I didn't have the glasses on, like, you know, when you just look at a, a, a light and all of a sudden you get that massive yeah. headache. So, it's oh, just, it, yeah. <laughs> it, is it a bit like, you know, in the morning when you wake up and you look at your phone and you have to keep blinking because it's so bright? Is it, was it like that? Yeah, well, it's the sort of thing you, you start looking at anything and then your, your, your eye is just watering and all of a sudden it just comes up and you've got a sharp uh, shooting pain. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, no, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, mate, even though you wasn't feeling, uh, you know, super chipper, I still appreciate you doing like a five-hour stream last night. <laughs> <laughs> That's good fun, actually. So at least uh, did any of you guys uh, get... Uh, confirmation that you definitely get it or you had, haven't had one of those things that come back it's like oh sorry out of stock i've had the confirmation oh, let's take a look shall we i've had the confirmation that i got it well i just had i just had a confirmation that apparently i don't know if you guys out there know this but london bridge Britain has just gone live so that's good to know thanks youtube uh let's take no, a i haven't got that yet <laughs> I, got, I got yours yesterday i got yours that you went live yesterday at 11 o'clock i forgot to mention that i was like well that's that's a lot of help <laughs> yeah, we're still live is he pays to do uh, uh long streams i suppose mm. uh, let's, let's take a look because it's always a bit of a, a funny one as to where my emails go because it depends how i pay for it it kind of depends on where it goes to let's do a let's do a search all the mailboxes and see what we got there. YouTube, 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 do, do, do. Lego, 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 Lego. Oh, apparently Lego is saying it's May the 4th, which is uh, the May the 4th of February. It just says, thank you for your order. Yeah, thank you for your orders, confirmed. Uh, it's not being shipped yet. It's not being shipped yet, Lego, even though I've got uh, next day delivery. Um, but let's face it, next day delivery these days means it's probably about a week away, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, Craggle, I did get the email to say my back, my bill has been canceled. I'm crying. Oh my god, Gala Gay, oh. how do you know all these things? You just watch everything. Uh, Gala Gay says, I wear shades in the kitchen when I'm cooking, sometimes as it's south facing and very, very bright. Oh, nice. That's nice. I, I, Gala Gay, is your, does your kitchen face out to the garden? So you've got a south facing garden, which is which is a um, lovely way, uh, way around to, to have your house. Cut the Craggle says, Solo Brick Builder got an email cancelling his Batmobile. Oh, so you, so they, uh, you ordered it because you wanted it. Why, why did they cancel it? Was it because they'd run out of stock? They, they run out. They run out. So I just mm. said, well, just That's cancel sick. it. Oh, on that note, then I'm going to have a, a piece of uh, Easter egg. Thank you very much. Um, it does make you wonder, though, because you hear that so often, particularly with Affles, you know, they make an order and then you only get part of it. And I think even Solo, you uh, you didn't get all your helmets. It's I didn't like, get all my helmets, no. How much money are they leaving on the table? Like, I don't know. Don't know. It's, it's, it's mental. Because you you have quite a lot of problems, don't you, Matt? When you're ordering stuff from them. Yeah, I, I've never gotten anything without at least two calls to customer service. So I just don't even bother anymore. It's just not worth my time. So um, the lockdown's been somewhat uh, helpful on the wallet because it's nothing to get. <laughs> I've had the opposite effect, I'm afraid, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think I'm, I don't have to contact customer service because, like, when I ordered the A wing. It didn't show up. I was going to get double VIP points, and I was logged in. So 
I didn't get the double VIP points, so I might have to question them. Yeah, yeah but cu customer service when you talk to them are great. It's just yeah, that the time you go through it and you deal with everything, and uh, you know you you do your security and this, that, and the other, and they read the notes and figure out what's going on and contact this warehouse and da 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 da. da, da. It's like, oh god, I just can't can't bear this yet again. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's true. Actually, I agree with you, Carla Craggle. You would think there'll be a lot more stock, actually, but yeah, no, folks. Six months from now, how? How Lego's experience or how their journey of business has been because I think it's booming from what I hear, but I haven't really officially. What do you think about that, Matt? Um, it's it's a hard one to know because it, it just seems like even um, even last year when they had the Black Friday, like if you were getting stuff literally at midnight and stuff like that, you just didn't get it. And even then, most people were having issues. So I don't think it's just like oh, you know coronavirus da, 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 da. i think it's something which is more they just have an issue with it yeah it's can't I mean, be I, a I, shock I enough. as well i gotta say i i say i have quite a few I, quite memorable ones the issues that i have um you know a bit like you matt where, where stuff i've ordered just doesn't turn up or it's delayed or i i remember uh, well here's the thing the, the most recent issue is I ordered the Razor Crest, uh, which any sort of uh, law-abiding Star Wars fan is going to want. I ordered it, and he said it was in stock. And within 10 minutes of ordering it, he then said it was uh, on back order for a week. And so I contacted him and said, well, when I ordered it, you had it. I could have just as easily gone to Amazon and got it. Uh, anyway, they said they'll give it next day delivery. So with a bit of luck, I'll get it before that week ends out. But there will be come September, I don't know, September the 7th. Uh, maybe September the 5th. I'm about to have a live stream going, folks. Watch out for that one. In fact, I'll tell you what will happen. When I've got that Razor Crest one, I'll be using Matt's picture that he sent me. <laughs> oh, that's a nice set. Brickso Studios. I tell you know what, that was my favourite gift we purchased. Oh, yeah. I forgot to take it apart. I mean, my, I mean I've still got uh, like about five Christmas sets on display in that hold that I could be hold there, but they have brickheads and the Olaf and stuff. So I just thought I need to take it apart because it is it's no longer Christmas. Like, yeah, I wait, wait, I wait to build it this year. So, okay. Yeah. Well, it, it is a good set. Is um, when you turn the tree, um, there's a, oh, yeah. a little train. Have you still got the train connected? Oh, here we go. Yeah, look at that. That's blinding, yeah. though. It's not like that. Yeah, it's a great, uh, great feature. And it it is. Uses... Welcome back, Roadrunner. Good to have you here, my friend. Right, you Chris, is what is your opinion on the ATA team, LBB? Well, I think it's okay from what I've seen so far. No great shocks. Um, there's a couple of additions I don't like it. I tell you what, we're all talking about it. Why don't we? Why don't we take a look at it? Because we, we actually we, we gave it a kind of a full review last I say last night this morning on it, didn't we, guys? But the funny thing was, uh, we couldn't. We didn't know if we could show the pictures of it, so I didn't. I didn't want the stream to be taken down. Because, um, it was a marathon stream for us, anyway. Longest one I've ever done. So here he goes. Look at that. There's a man. There's a man who's just eaten pizza in record time. Ah, that's better. Ah, that's I feel. Right, my friend. That's done. He oh, saw really... for a record speed yeah. build tonight. Pizza yeah. Is a, pizza is a Lego uh, YouTuber's uh, energy. Mm. He's got his energy. Anyway. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think it's probably about time. Let's, 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 let's go and have a look at this new ATAT, -AT, shall we? Let's, um, let's get it up. Here we go. So, here we go, folks. There's the figures. What do you think of the figures? Pretty standard figures. General Viz. That is a good figure, I just got to admit. I don't think there's a lot changed between the last General Viz. Maybe the goggles on the helmet. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's it's a good collection of figures. I just think stop putting Luke Skywalker in it because it doesn't make any sense. Well, but... I I actually like Luke Skywalker having it. I mean, the 2014 one, I it didn't have Luke Skywalker, and I wish it did because I just yeah I just like to have that. I don't know. I'll have a look at yeah, I mean, if he's if he's there for you know they got that big play feature in terms of him going up, it's going to be mm. hard. You know, if they didn't do that, then everyone'd be like, oh, they don't have Luke. Yeah, yeah. I the 2014 ones and the only uh, one without Luke in it, I think. I don't know. It's, uh... but 
But to me, that makes a lot of sense because Luke Skywalker didn't blow up General Veer's eighty eighty. So that's that's the kind of logic I'm going with. <laughs> no. So let's take a look at is this is a picture of the set itself. So what, what do we like about this? I like this. Yeah. I'm not sure about the, the head seems a little bit wrong to me. Yeah, so oh. definitely something doesn't look right with it. No, it definitely doesn't. It looks a bit funny. I still think what we said last night. It just looks a bit like Bambi. Yeah. I think how they positioned that, that how they've done the legs, like even how they positioned them for the photographs, it just doesn't look right. They just look way too skinny. Yeah, I think they could have and look, look, and this is a bug. See here, can you see my cursor on the mm. um, rear right leg here? Yeah, oh, we've got a red pin and a blue pin. Come well, on, even, a, even on the front as well, front legs is uh exposed technique yeah and i think the feet guys what, guys in the chat what do you reckon of the feet i think they look a bit webbed to me <laughs> yeah. i think that's pretty standard feet for for them to be honest yeah, yeah. Well, i don't know mate. i don't know no, the feet are normally quite round with like little tidbits that stick out i think they're too web based like webby looking when what was the stem speeder was that even in the film no yeah well, i thought there was a one in the back like scrolling no back no, there was oh. there was never a snow speeder in the Battle of Hoth. Yeah, I didn't think there was as well. Because the, the technology wasn't there at the time to even make anything like that. I think it's just one of those things they just you know they've got a, a slight little bit of extra left over for piece count. So what can they put in as like another uh, you know place? Yeah, in? it's it's part of their budget in there. They got a budget and they got to use it all up. Yeah, we've got that there. We've got the gun there, and I always appreciate those. I think they look great. Yeah, the, nice. the the earweb gun makes sense because you know they they built it. It was in the film, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that makes sense. But it's no speed. That doesn't make any sense. It's just yeah. it's just not necessary. I'm still pretty happy they made one because it's the 40th anniversary of Empire, so it's quite fitting to make one, I suppose. Oh yeah, I totally agree. I totally agree, but I just yeah. don't. What, what annoys me is, is that but now that you've cancelled the snow speeder a year ago, so now people who's going to want to buy this set's going to want a snow speeder, but you can't yeah. buy it to recreate also, it. Also, is it really 10 plus? Do you think that's really like the rating? I mean, I don't think that looks like a 10 plus. Oh, set. Lego's coming up with some weird stuff with their yeah. ratings now. Yeah. I mean, it's I don't think it's there when it shouldn't be 18. That is the, um, that is the new 8080. What, what do you think of it? What do you guys think of it? Um, I'm going to look up the, uh, the new, the, this is the new book from uh from lego uh i'm going to change over my if i change over my cam by j studios oh say hello jay j studios well i thought you'd already got j studios oh anyway, yeah take care mate enjoy your, the rest of your evening and um we'll probably still be here in a couple of hours so feel free to to pop back um and yeah. what are you up to have a great weekend my friend Anyway, I think, uh, I think Greg, uh, Jay, Joe's going to ask his parents if he can come on the stream soon. So, yeah, it'll be quite fun to have him on eventually. Oh, yeah, I mean, he'll come on Monday, mate, but it's um, yeah. it's always the case of there's always, I always like to have a good mix of people on the stream. So, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, it's always a thing. Plus, also, God, does he make many videos? I haven't seen any of his content yet or anything like that. Uh, he does make uh, pretty regular videos, but um, he, he works. Same with me with school as well. Like we've got quite a lot of schoolwork to do, so he's not. Patience okay. well, is always a virtual with these things. I mean, uh, yeah. Darren's been making videos for heaven knows how long and stuff like that. And you know, it's always a case of I always like to have a nice balance of people on. Otherwise, you know, uh, otherwise, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I want the video. I always like our videos to be a nice balance, different folks. So yeah, you know, definitely. Look at this one, for example. We've got yourself, you know, you're kind of a, a, a young man. Um, we've got Matt. He's, he's, he's our eyes. We're going to have a look at what he's doing uh, in a moment. Matt the Elder. Uh, we've got Titanium J52. Um, he gives us so much information on so many sets. And then, of course, we've got Darren, who just eats all the time when he's on our one. So uh, he, he's our... Uh, He's our food expert, our nutritionist. Mm. <laughs> mm. And all right, yeah. so, so before before you get too engrossed in in your uh, in your your artwork, show us what you've actually done on it so far. Um, it's where are we at here? Just do, 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 make sure that we're right. 
I guess it's still at the uh, same point last night because, well, that was a late one. <laughs> right. Um, I'll just try to get that right there. So, yep, gonna, um, there's a few little thing tweaks I want to make to it. And then tonight, wow. probably could just go through and ink it. So, that's amazing. Uh, <clears throat> so, this is for um, Lego Maniac's 24 hour stream tomorrow. So, gonna be on there um, painting it. And I don't know the exact thing, but uh, it's either going to be auctioned off or done as a giveaway for a tier or something like that. So somebody out there, if they're around, can possibly end up with it. Yeah, brilliant, mate. Fantastic. And I'll tell you what, everyone, do check out uh, my Instagram because I've been posting pictures all week uh, of what Matt's been uh, drawing for me recently. He's been doing my stick fig. And do check out his Instagram as well. There's some really nice stuff out there about it. So, um, so please do that. And coming up soon as well, uh, we're going to be because we were buying these 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 uh, these A wings. Um, we're going to be doing a uh, a live stream on the 9th. and it's not only a live stream of people that have got the A wings. Um, of course, there'll be some people that have, that have mostly people with A wings. So um, Brixo is going to be featuring. Matt's going to be featuring because he's drawing the thumbnail for it. Uh, we've got Solo Brick Builder as well. He's bought the A wing. And of course, oh, well, let's take a look at that. This is this is the A wing. Um, well, Matt, you hold that up. I'm going to try and uh, I, I just want to get a screen capture of that if I can. Let me just see. Let me see if I can get that. I'll just hold that up. Here we go. Yeah, fantastic. Cheers, mate. Um, yeah, so Matt's doing Matt's doing the the thumbnail for us. And it's going to be, this is the, the, weird, the weird thing, how the planets uh, of align for this one. So Brick Hive, you know, good friend of mine, good friend of the channels uh, and good friend of yours, most likely. He, his channel started at pretty much the same time as what mine did. So with that in mind, we're going to kind of celebrate our, our YouTube uh, channel anniversaries at the same time. And, uh, and we're all going to be building the A-Wing as well. So Darren's going to be building it. I'm building it. Uh, Brickso is going to be there, and uh, Brick Hive will be as well, and it's all going to be part and parcel of being part of the A team. I think <laughs> I think that's what we call it. <laughs> that's a good one for that one. Yeah. Was it a wing and a prayer? They came up with something. The what? Sorry. Somebody a week or two ago on one of the streams was uh, coming up with something. I think they said a wing and a prayer or something. Wing and a prayer. That'd be good. That'd be a good one. Oh, so many ideas you can come up with the A wing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. On a wing, on a prayer. I, I quite like. Um, well, I mean, the, the fact is, it's just having just having our uh, YouTube channel names in, in the titles long enough. Um, but see, I'll just pull that up a little bit there, so you can. I don't know. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll put it around like here, so we can all see it a little bit better. Should we go through it, folks? Oh, that that book is um pretty incomplete, like. I remember watching, I believe, Amazon Productions video or something on it, and it's got a lot of inaccuracies in it. And stuff. Yeah, he was he was shredding it apart. So yeah, like it's in in when you go to the episode nine area, it's missing. I believe the Finn minifigure it hasn't got any fins at all when they released one, all which right. is uh, really odd. <laughs> I think that comes down to print in production, though, doesn't it? I mean, they, they they probably started printing that probably a year before before they even started pumping out yeah. the figures and all that kind of stuff. So, that is true. Yeah. The, the it's true. Is, I mean, the thing is, though, what I will say is they do not give a lot of uh, each figure has got quite a lot of space. I mean, it's like literally got a whole page. This figure, believe it or not, is actually one of my favourite ones. Oh, yeah, I remember him from the Clone Wars. He's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. Have you got him, Darren? Embo. Embo. Yeah, I got him. I got him in the uh, the uh, 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 the bounty hunter ship. One. one. Really nice. Yeah, yeah, it's really nice. That is actually a set I'd like to have. It's awesome. a really nice set. It's a really nice set. Yeah, it's quite an old set, but it, 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 it's kind of uh, reminiscent of the uh, Big Vizsla one. Oh, I also go. really like the um. What should I think? Oh, what's the other figure in that? The woman, the woman bounty hunter. Oh, name, yeah, yeah. Oh. no, no, not Aura Singh. There's two, there's yeah, two, well. yeah, Aura Singh. I mean, that minifigure, she comes in that pirate set. I think she's really cool. Yeah, it's, it's an okay minifigure, but it's, it's missing our antenna, which is a bit of a disappointment. So, yeah, which I don't know how Lego could even recreate that anyway, but yeah, it's uh, 
no, the the other two figures in that are definitely the, the star, the star figures in that. But I don't know why they included Orsing, because I mean, does she even fly use that ship in the Clone Wars? Uh, no, but she was. Um, she doesn't no, she wasn't it, even. So. She, she, she wasn't even in the. Was she in the fight though? I can't remember no, now. It's been like it, it's 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 been a while since I've seen that uh, seen that episode. So, I think am I am I right in saying this, Darren? This figure here, I, I think uh, that features in the latest episode. Yes, 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 it yeah. does. Is it? Oh. Is there a yeah, there's a, there's in the new in the latest episode of the, the Clone Wars, folks. There's a, some really good scenes with some astromechs. Yeah. Did you did you know it's one very particular particular sounding droid in that that appears into another episode, uh, another um, season, uh, another uh, ep uh, series of Star Wars? Was that the green one? The one that sounded like Chopper. Yeah, yeah, it was. Yeah, I yeah. saw that. It had like yeah. a, a disc above its head, didn't it? Yeah, but instead of having a square head, he's got a roundish dome. Yeah, that, that could have been what Chopper was back in the day. It well, I think it was Chopper. I think they said that. I think they said it was going to have Chopper in it. Nice little cameo. But Brixo, you haven't seen it though, have you? Yeah, have you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. You can't. Know, I haven't. Yeah, you, I, I, I really need to catch up for my talk. Yeah, I know, obviously. You might, you might as well just watch this season and work backwards. Yeah, yeah. I've been watching exactly. the Mama Bricks in the house. Hello, Mama Bricks. We're just, we're just trying to look for the the, the most recent General Veers. Um, I've been there. Uh, like I, I, I gotta be honest, I know a lot of people don't like the film, but one, I actually quite like Solo. <laughs> and secondly, ah, oh, it's a brilliant stormtrooper. Um Oh, here we are. Talk, talking to General Veers. There he is. is. General is What's that? Well, that? Yeah, it's 2014 80. 80. Oh, that means I have him. I didn't realise he came in that one. Mm. Yeah, no, uh, no back head print, just the, the one on the front. I think your one's different to my one. I'm just going to get mine. And my one's um, actually piloting it. Precarious, this is at best. I'm trying to get you out of here. Here we go. Hey, yeah, here we go. So look, you just grab that one again, titanium. Here we go. So that's that's titaniums, folks. I'm just going to show you a little difference between the different ones there are. So that's titaniums, and if I just change over my, actually, I'll just leave it on there. Actually, to be honest, and this one here is my one. Here we go. Oh, you got the older one, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, it's a new. Is that? I can't remember. I don't, that. Know, I don't know if it is older, but I, I like his. I like uh, titanium's one, but. I'll mm. tap to the go up into my loft and see which one that one is. They do look, they do look very different. Mm. Yeah, they do. Ver we've got what we've got going on in the chat. It says Mr. Hinkle draws. Yes, I am. Uh, what's that? What's that question to Matt? Was that are you in the Lego Maniac one? No, he's asking if I'm uh, doing uh, a, a time lapse for the drawing, which you're saying that I am. And then once once it's all done and done the stream tomorrow with Lego Maniac, I'll release that as well. So I think it's just an artist thing. We, we like to watch each other's because um, I've certainly picked up a few pointers and just little ideas from watching uh, Mr. Hinkle Draws ones. Yeah. Yeah. Greg, the uh, the general veers you have appears in the 2010 at uh, Ah, oh, there you go. You got the slightly older one. That is an old one. Yeah. I tell you what, though, I've got to say. Can I just say? Can Can you just show that set again, please, uh, Titan? Take away the speeder that came with this set. I'd rather have had that big gun there. Yeah. See the gun there on the uh, left hand side. Yeah. Even though, even you know, the uh, 20th anniversary snow speeder does come with a gun, really similar to that. Yeah, it does. I mean, obviously, you have to have the uh, snow speeder, but it still comes with one. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. That, that, the new one definitely seems taller. That's yeah. Good going, Rose Runner. Uh, family Bricks. This is it? Yours. Loving looking at yours. Seen another promo one of yours on your Insta from Beyond the Brick. 
Have another chance to like. Um, it's certainly fun watching the videos. After you finish the video. Yeah, um, please do check on um, Matt Elder's uh, channel, folks. Um, recently done one of uh, of my TV, and it's brilliant. I love it. So let's take a look. Let's see if we can find this general viewers. Oh, I like this figure here. He's cool. he's a cool guy. I like him a lot. He's cool. And I tell you what, I think I think her. I think she's got one of the best hair pieces you can get in Lego. Look at that. That's a proper afro. Look at that. It is lovely, isn't it? That is, I don't know, it reminds me of an arrow or something. It's fantastic. <laughs> but um, who else have we got? We've got Jay Studios. He says, I'm back. I'm back already. That was quick. Um, here we go. Look, he's a good trooper. The range trooper. That is a brilliant storm trooper. That is a good one. That is a good one. We've got a rather funky Lando Kyrizian as well. He looks good. I'm liking that. I've still got that Millennium Falcon to build, actually. I should get around to doing that one day. Yeah, let's put that who's, there. Who's surprised? <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm not joking. I've got about four of them. I, I do need to get around to building those. Uh, maybe I should stream one day where I build the last three Millennium Falcons. Tell me about you. Oh, that will. I thought God. I saw somewhere online last night or this morning they, they might be retiring the UCS Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is the news. That is the I news. did hear that, and I am gutted because I was going to buy that this year. But I, I suppose it has been out for a few few years. I suppose so. Oh, I need the UCS Falcon. I mean, I'm never going to get it, but I still need it in my collection. Oh, it's just so big. It's, that's the problem mm. with it. <laughs> and the price tag. I mean, also, yeah. I, I want to see how long it will take me to build it. I want to like just time myself and like just build straight for a day. He's a good looking thing. This guy here. I like him. He's a good looking figure. Yeah, that was in the U Wing set, I believe. Yeah. Well, that's my favourite Stormtrooper, the Death Trooper there. Oh, I love those. They're amazing. They're my favourite character to play in Battlefront 2. <laughs> oh, yeah, Quite definitely. Li Quite really literally. I love, I love this figure as well. He he was he's called Morov. Love him. He was in the Ewing as well, I think. Yeah, yeah it's a Ewing figure. I built that as well. <laughs> I thought, why are we surprised? Was in the why we to build? I, he, he, yeah, they, the thing was, he in the film, he was in the film, but he was never in the Y wing. No, yeah, no, he was just kind of walked past your screen. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, okay, I've got a minifigure of a person walking past my screen. That's that's great. It's almost like 40 years later, 40 years later, the Hofwampa uh suit shrank, and they said, Oh, we'll use that, we'll create another figure out of that. We'll call him more of, yeah. More of. yeah. Oh, here we go. Now we get into the Imperial officers. Let's see if we can find this fears chap, shall we? Fears, come to me, fears. Uh, you watch, it's going to be about a page away from where I just was. Oh, no, it's not. I really have, I think I might have to go up into the loft and see which one I've got up there. I really can't remember which one, which 8080 I've got up there. I know it's missing a leg. You've got an 8080 that's missing a leg? Yeah, well, it's not missing a leg. It's missing the plates down the side of it, which I'm frantically trying to go over Bricklink and try and see if I can find the new parts for it. Because, um, well, as everyone probably knows, my brother's just kind of bumbled everything in the box and yeah, he didn't bother taping up the box properly and a lot of plates and bricks and all that's fallen out of the bottom of the boxes. Uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, so there's, you know, 25 odd years of Lego just kind of fallen, just smashed to pieces, so to speak. So yeah, rebuilding a lot of it. Still got my oh, Venom Star Destroyer to build. That's the two different types of phasmas that you can get. So... Uh, it's too, it's, the the asthmas have got slightly different mouthpieces over their helmet. They yeah. should have done her chrome. Yeah, they need we need a chrome cap in phasma. Uh, that would have made for a good uh, gift with purchase for May the fourth. Totally agree. That should have been a May the fourth promo, but they wanted to get all these built up ones done first of all. Oh, there we go. It, now this figure here is a classic one. I bought him separate. To, oh, uh, I got I got him in the Jabba's sail barge. Yeah, good set. I've uh, yeah. Well, I've worked, uh, and this character here is fantastic. Boosh. Oh yeah, back. I've got that. Yeah, I've got that in Jabba's palace. That was yeah, a good, yeah. good set. No, I can't find V, is it? It doesn't look like General mm. V. 
Has Venture Has anyone also seen the new uh, Lego Bootscape thing on the VIP site? I don't know. Your mic does sound a little bit more muffled tonight, Brick, though. Does it? Yeah, oh. it doesn't sound oh. quite right. No. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Um, it's like you're in a box or something. Is it better now? No. No. <laughs> What was that? I'm just trying to see what's wrong with it. All right. Yeah, I'm trying to see. For general email, uh, general cup. Yeah, no veers in this one. Well, that's a bummer. <laughs> that is a, that is that's not good. I mean, my God, Viz has been out for years. They should have him in that. Yeah, no, he is. It's probably because he's not in no new Lego sets or something like that. Oh, well, oh, let's, let's take a look, folks. Another one. It's ugly. Uh, arguably, a very good figure. This is the uh, white or one of the white versions of Boba Fett. The fake version. Yeah. The fake version. Mr. Eagle Draws says, I used acrylic paints for a few projects in school, but didn't pursue using them after that. Only Brick says, Mr. Eagle Draws, so you are a digital and copic guy. Rogue Runner says, the sweepstakes are just a way to burn points. Yeah, they are. That's Lego trying to get the uh, VIP points away from you without actually spending it on plastic pieces. Yeah, let's not get into that again. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I actually just started using Copics last year. Before then, I almost never coloured my work. Traditionally, I would scan and colour digitally. Now I do both. Oh, that's interesting to know. Um, Pony Bix says, have you ever tried Prisma colour markers? Very interesting. I used the Prisma coloured pencils for many years, but never their markers. Winter Bricker. Hello, everybody. Nice to see you, Winter Bricker. Great to have you here. Uh, we're just trying to find uh, uh, in a... The, the difference between the general veers of the uh, of the Star Wars. Uh, well, let's see if we've got a general veers in here, shall we? Because there's not one in the new one, which is a bit of a shame. That I think general veers is a bit of a cult classic. Is uh, my my mic better now? Yeah, right. yeah. I've, I've changed uh, to my gaming headset, so I've got um, a yeah. mic. You sound a bit tinnier, and you sound a bit fuzzy at the top oh. end. Oh. But can't win with this mic. <laughs> I'll just change it. It sounds better though. It is yeah. better. All right. Though. It is okay. better. I would just keep it maybe slightly further away from you, maybe. Just... Right, veers. That's what I was looking for. Veers. Veers, veers. The only problem with these books is, of course, as soon as they come out, they're out of date straight away. Yeah. But I, should, I think I think it definitely is. I think it's definitely in that one. I mean, that supposedly has everything in there to do with Lego Star Wars, literally. So they claim. I can't say yeah. I've ever read that one. I don't. I can't. I can't comment on it. Read it. You, you... I oh, can't yeah, say. Yeah. All right, read, read it. I say look at it. I, I just kind of bought it for the minifigure. <laughs> oh yeah, that that um, yeah. more figure's good. That's my favourite. Um, that's my favourite Sith Lord. Lollipop. That's a little reference if anyone knows what it is. Uh, say that again. Lollipop. No, I doubt anyone does. He plays a dentist. So I think it was. I think he done one as a dentist. Oh, uh, he's a good figure. I've got him. Have you got that one, Darren? No, you know, that was one promo I missed out on. And I'm struggling to get hold of him now. I really want him. I need him in my collection. Oh, yeah, that is a that is a great thing. Oh, Titanium's it's, got him. Oh, here we are. Oh, anyone's willing, anyone willing to sell a, a, a Revan to me? I'll pay good money. I know where you can get one from. I'm sure um, I've got someone who will be able to get one for you. Oh, yeah, I, I, need, I need a Revan. I don't, I, I, I don't know what I don't know how I did why I didn't get hold of him either. It's just really bizarre. Yeah. Maybe I just maybe I just went down to maybe I just went down there too soon. I don't know. But yeah, that's one of my one, one of my funniest uh, Lego figures that I've got. This guy here. Oh yeah, that guy. I've got him as well. Salacious really cool. Crumb. Ah! Damn it! He's too well for Salacious Crumb in the uh, Mandalorian. That's for sure. Oh, definitely Greg, not. Nah. Greg, can you just quickly check the green room when you got a sec? Oh, we've got someone in the green room. 
I think Brick Studios uh, says he's in the green room. Oh, yeah. There we go. Sorry, man. I, I normally get an audio <laughs> warning to say there's someone in it. And the way my screen's set up, um, uh, anyone new that appears is uh, is invisible to me. But anyway, uh, how can I introduce this person? Uh, this is the man that brought Wonder Woman uh, to the channel, folks. Or at least he did last week. Anyway, it is, of course, the Wanderers Brick Studio. Hello, Brick Studio. Hey. How, how you doing, doing? How you doing, my friend? Looking good. I'm liking it. Yeah. Looking good. Hey, we've got B Fab in the house. Brother from another thing. It says, I kind of start tomorrow, Garden Game. B Fab says, Boo, Book Studio. <laughs> Laugh out loud. Oh, <laughs> B Fab's been in for a little while, actually. Hey, nice to keep nice to have you here, B Fab. I hope, you, um, I hope you're having a, a top. Day, my friend uh, and good luck with the new job as well by the way mate yeah, this is something i'd like to see it, 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 we're talking about hoff and stuff like that what i'd like to see from hoff and we could have got this in the new set because it would have been quite relevant how about a hoff wamper cave right where the hoff wamper himself can actually fit through the front that'd be quite good wouldn't it that, that would be quite nice <laughs> you're asking quite a lot of lego there yeah, yeah. well it, it, a, it would be that's, nice that's a hundred pound set you're talking about there no, I don't know. I reckon that that would make. Um, I don't know. I'd probably look into that because I, I could do with all the figures and stuff like that I've got now. I can probably do a Hoff uh, one, especially with the ATAT. I might as well use that. I tell you what, I would like to have seen. Right, you know what they could have done just to be a little bit different. What they could have done instead of bringing out the ATAT from Empire Strikes Back, they could have maybe brought out the orange one from uh, Rogue One. Oh, the ATTCA or whatever the hell they call a, a, it. No, it's the ATACT. Ah, that's the thing. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, they probably yeah, just want the fortieth anniversary thing or whatever. Yeah, that's that's the only reason why we got another ATAT this year. Well, you, well, you can just mod the ATAT. Like, all you got to do is put a yellow door on it. And take off the front guns. Yeah, I mean, I've got bookends with them on, and they just look. Yeah, you just put a bit of yellow on the doors and stuff, and you've got one. And also, too, if the other one did come out, what is it, six years ago now, you know, if you're targeting kids as part of it, then you've had a whole generation of kids who haven't had a, like, you know, at, -AT on the shelf, as opposed to, you know, the 37th Millennium Falcon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Only 37? I think you're missing a couple. I think what, there's quite a lot of, um, there's quite a lot of Lego legends in this older one. I've got to say. We've got these guys here, the Sith Troopers. Remember them? Oh, yeah, from, the, from the Old Republic. Yeah, yeah, it's from the game. It's when Lego was actually doing the video games, when they actually made yeah. sets for video games. I do need to play those. I'd like to play them. They look quite uh, good. Well, I've got him recently. This guy here, he's brilliant. He is, this one. The old Republic Heavy Gunner, that is a good one. Yeah. And he's very cool, this guy, the Synth Warrior. He's very good looking. Mm. Yeah, no. That, it's a good game to play. If you're, if you're a Star Wars fan, you've got about 9 million hours to spare. Definitely play it. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Wait, what is it on? Is it on PS3 or 4 or something? Um, depends which one you go for because there's two different versions of the Old Republic. you got the newer one, which is on PC, and then you got the old one, which was on Xbox 360 and PS3. Oh, right, and, okay. P and PC as well. Let's not forget right. PC. But yeah, that's got a brilliant plot twist in it. Oh, there you go. There's a Sith Warrior there. It was a Sith yeah. Trooper. Didn't they come in a battle pack? <laughs> yeah, he's found did. it. Yeah, he sounds excited. He's found something. Found it and all this. We've uh, let's take a look at what we've got on the go here. So here we go, General Veers. General Veers, everybody. There, we've got three three variations. I've got the, that's a quite good one. I like that one. He's quite oh, cool. Was, uh, I might have to disappear up into my loft and try and see if I can find him quickly. <laughs> this, I really, I really want to know which one I've got now. Well, that that one there is. I'm the one pretty sure I've got that one. I've really? got that one. 2014 one. Oh, I like the one there with the chin strap. Look at that. That's quite good. Yeah, came calendar. And arguably, he's one of my favourite sort of stormtroopers as well. But I suppose he's... Yeah, the driver, yeah. He's yeah, he's there quite cool. Yeah, I like it. The The printing here looks really nice. Um, mm. the, the print across the mouse section is perfect. And I think one it's... thing that anyone can, no one can ever argue with is Lego does some amazing moulds for head moulds for helmets. Oh, definitely. Especially yeah. like now. Like last year's Ninjago sets. 
Some of those were amazing. I can't speak for Ninjago. Well, uh, yeah, sorry, but they, yeah. they, they oh, sorry. They've sorry got, for like, anyone bikes. out there likes it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Titanium will know what I mean. Like all the molds yeah. they did. Yeah, get Titanium started. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's sitting like, quite get... quietly. He's he's quite quiet. a, he hasn't said a peep. He has a... <laughs> <laughs> it. Quietly minding his own business. It's completely different from the other night when it was like Ninjago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, brother from another brick says um, he is hireable. Uh, for uh, for certain things, should we say? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, if, anyone, if anyone would like to get in touch with Bfab to hire him for uh, a particular uh, task, uh, situation, uh, service, yeah. let's call it a service. Um, uh, contact <laughs> Bfab on all known social media channels. I'll be in contact later on Bfab. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I'll be I'll be in contact later on. I'll find you on your sand. <laughs> no, you crack me up. Oh, please. sand, sand is here, guys. Oh, oh boy, yeah. I got sand in the house. <laughs> Beef up has crabs. <laughs> hey, sand. Hello, sand. How you doing, mate? Good to see you. Oh. I, I love, I love. As soon as like the introduction of Sands came, and Brick so just uh, Brick's uh, Brick Studio just kind of disappeared and went, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam in the house. Yeah, it was funny a couple of days ago. They were cracking me up a couple of days ago on Wednesday. Imperial's got a ran Imperial Officer 07's got a random fact of the day. It's the 50th anniversary of the movies Kelly's ha Kelly's Heroes. Kelly's there you Heroes. go. Never heard of it. <laughs> I can't say I've ever heard of it. I've actually sorry about that. Uh, no. what's it about? Uh, Imperial Officer, what's it about? Garlic Ed says hi Sands, and Garlic Ed also says. Hi, Finland Bricks. Hello, Finland Bricks. Great to see you, mate. You was in last night as well. Great yeah, to see you. Back again. Yeah. It's good to have you here, my friend. It really I'm is. To, I'm going to disappear up into my loft for two minutes. I want to find what Veers I've got. I know he's right by the loft catch. Why do you need to know now what Veers I have to know. I have to. It's bugging me in the back. Yeah, of, oh, I say, I, no, I'm going to be able. I'm gonna be able myself. I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna sit in some pacing. What are you building <laughs> anyway? Have you built anything yet? I built it. Yeah, yeah I built it. It's all right. Sorry, sorry. <sighs> there you go. It's built. It's oh, I like actually, it. It looks good. Yeah, it's even got a little little bit there for Luke Skywalker to die in the Sarlacc pit. I haven't built the Sarlacc pit because it's not that good. Uh, you, or, you, I don't uh, know why you haven't built it yet because you're scared that one of your Boba Fett's will fall into it. <laughs> <laughs> He's already fallen in there. He's already in there. He's dismantled. He belongs in there. Yeah. Nah. Ah, welcome uh, to Euphoria. He's in the house, folks. This Kelly's Heroes was a light-hearted war movie about an American frontline unit in Europe trying to steal some gold from the Nazis. Oh, okay. That, did you just copy and paste that from a wiki? Very precise, man. That or it's a movie you've studied well, my friend. Uh, anyway, it sounds quite good. I like it. I do remember. I do remember. I think I do re recall that film now. I think, it, like you say, it's light-hearted, so it's quite good. Clint Eastwood and Donald Sutherland. I, I don't know. I didn't. I thought Clint Eastwood and Donald Sutherland were in something like The Eagle Has Landed. That was a, that was a good film back in the day. Welcome to Euphoria says no. It's what I know. Are you a film buff? Uh, welcome to Euphoria. It's uh, that's 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 good movie knowledge. That is my friend. That's good stuff. That really is. Uh, said I might. Garlagay says I might get lost up there. Yeah, you're probably right. Actually, it'd probably be safer for me to stay down there. You go warehouse up there, isn't it, Darren? It's yeah, it is piled up up there. It is piled it's, up, but I, I've got the 80, 80 80s like at the front of it because it's like one of the sets I'm trying to rebuild. So yeah, it's it's by the loft hatch. Because you keep all your old boxes, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So if they fell on you, we might not see you for the rest of the stream. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, yeah. This again says he prefers these eagles flying. Yeah, beautiful <laughs> animals they are, Sands. They really are. <laughs> night, night. <laughs> All right. Right, okay. I think it's about time to get some bricks out. Ah, and let's see what we've got. What are you going to be building today, then? I'm not building, I'm sorting. Uh, the reason oh, I'm being, I've got, so I've got this old set and I want to make sure that I've got 
all the parts for it. There we go. This is the one that Titanium was uh, that showed us the other moment ago. So anyway, so I'm going to try and uh, I just want to make sure that he's got all the parts there, and uh, so I can put it into some sort of order, and then uh, with a bit of luck, build it over the weekend. Oh, look at that. Has look anyone here. ever saw one of these tiles, like these Lego store tiles? Like, have you ever been to a Lego store opening and like got yeah, one? Yeah, I guess so. um, yeah. Uh, club, actually, I like that. Looks very yeah. good. I just found out that that someone's selling one of these on eBay for seventy five quid. Ooh. They do. They go for one, a lot of money. one two by four. And I mean, I have a spare one, so I might have to do that. For which for which store though? Uh, Southampton. So my oh, nearest okay. one. They're on my camcorder for what I record my videos on. I put Lego tape on the side. <laughs> very nice. Have you got any of those, Darren? Yeah, yeah I got the London one. Uh, when yeah. I went to Leicester Square one, when they opened it up, I had it then. Yeah, I didn't realise just... they were actually worth much money. I, I, I yeah. got, I got four recently and gave, gave them away. Robin, yeah. Robin Hole got one of them as well. I, I mean, got, the, uh, the London ones are like 30, 20 quid. A few yeah. on here. I know I got five of them when I went to the uh, the Lego Originals thing. They just kind of just grabbed a handful out and shoved them in the bag. I'm like, oh, okay, oh, there's a few the, more for me. Yeah, it's like me and the one is asking, is it, I didn't realise that there was one in Southampton. Yeah, that's, that's quite a new one, the one in Southampton. Uh, yeah. it, it opened in October last year, and I'm happy because I didn't have, I don't have to go to Brighton anymore to go to Southampton, which is much better for me. Is that, that's not too noisy for you, is it, Darren, that noise? <laughs> Mr. Hinkle, uh, at London Bridge Bricks, did you ever build that battle pack during your three hour time goal? Uh, no, no, I never actually. It's here. There we go. I, could, I suppose I could build it tonight. Look, there we go. I've got it all prepared. There we go. No, we're too far into the stream. You won't have time. Yeah, I, I've, got, I've got a soak here, and I'm looking at it, and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking, I need to get the. Uh, the, the building fairies to build that. They're even going to happen. <laughs> anyway, now these are actually all part in a particular manner. I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why. I wonder why. Um, and time to sell some stock. Uh, I said, no, yeah, it's thank you. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. I will take that as a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm not even building tonight, Mr. Hinkle. I'm, well, actually, I, I might build something later on. Who knows? Stay tuned, folks, to find out. <laughs> Greg can only manage a poly bag. <laughs> it's a scarlet game. Yeah. <laughs> Greg can't, can only manage poly bags, Kevin. I tell you what, yeah, but you got, uh, come on, Gala Gate. They're the best poly bags in the world. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> believe that, believe anything. <laughs> Oh, I tell you what, I, I enjoyed your stream today, um, Kevin, uh, Mr. Hinkle. It was uh, it was most excellent. Or oh, I don't know who put these stickers on, but they definitely. Uh, there's one thing I can do better than that. Let's put apply that sticker. Look at that. Oh, that winds me up. I, I oh, that does my head in when I get yeah. second hand sets and they don't put stickers on like that. Oh, I mean, oh my yeah. God, well, you could have done the better. I'll build that. this, folks, and I will build it. It'll, it, won't, it won't even take that long. All the action happens off camera for me. Um, I, I used to be so bad at putting stickers on. Like now, when I look at the sets, I'm like, oh my god, they're so terrible. When I rebuilt my Republic gunship, I was peeling them all off, and they just frayed. And they like went, yeah, horrible. So. Hey, just out of interest, Br Brixo, uh, you haven't emailed me that picture over yet. Uh, no, I really need to do that. I'll get to it in uh, after the stream. You need to do that. Anyway, streams coming up on London Bridge Bricks, folks. Soon will be. Um, well, the next one's going to be on May the fourth, so we're going to be doing a stream that night uh, from seven thirty onwards. Uh, I've got to go into London on Monday, so uh, I'm desperately driving as fast as I can back uh, <laughs> to make that one. Uh, so yeah, that's seven thirty on Monday, and then uh, what are we doing any more this week? Well, there'll be Friday, next Friday, of course. Uh, I quite like a Friday slot. It's quite nice. And Saturday. And Saturday's going to be the special one. And then, funny enough, I'm actually streaming on Sunday. I don't know if anyone wants to join me on Sunday, but Sunday's a funny one because that's actually my birthday. So May the 10th, it's my birthday. But Doc Samson and I are kind of doing a, a, a draw one 
whereby I'm going to be building Voltron. And uh, yeah, I'll get in touch with a few people if they want to join me. It's starting at 10 30 because Doc Samson um, has got, he kind of lives in his own time zone, Doc Samson, I think. Anyway, so we're going to be, uh, we're both going to be building Voltron. I'm going to be building it in stream one, part one, and then probably a week later, we'll probably build it on his one. So that's that's going to be before the archive stream, uh, which is all. Awesome. Which is uh, on Sunday. So Sunday, May the tenth, I'll be streaming from ten thirty in the morning with Doc, and uh, that'll be probably for three or four hours, right up until Brickhive stream uh, when he does his morning stream in America. Oh, look at that! The classic, the classic brick, folks. The the two by four. Now, actually, talking about two by fours um, or two by threes, actually today, uh, Kevin Hinkle drew one for me. Oh, look at that! I got a stud. I'm trying to get, oh, get get away from me here. I mean, just. Get my hands around this wibbly thing. There we go. Look at that. The stuff. Uh, Mr. Hinkle Draw has got a question for you, Greg. Is the Voltron oh. stream going to be a 24 hour stream? Yeah, uh, 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 24 hours just opening the box, Mr. Hinkle. <laughs> uh, with my thin little fingers. Uh, yeah. Uh, would it be a 24 hour stream? I don't know, Kevin. We're going to have to. Uh, I'm going to. I'm going to endeavour to do it before 24 hours if I'm if I'm honest. It's a bit, it's a big set. It's a big challenge for you two to try and get that done in you know less than 24 hours on solid solid streaming. It's a challenge just trying to get these bricks out of this Lego. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's take a look at Voltron. Uh, I tell you what we're going to do, Doc Samson. Laugh out loud, Kevin. One line per stream. Hey, good stuff, Doc. You saved me. Doc's in the house, folks. Um, let's take a look. I tell you what I want to show you first of all. Uh, let me see if I can just grab it. Um, because I've got, I've got a new PC, and so everything's kind of here, there, and everywhere at the moment. But I want to show you something that Mr. Kevin Hinkle drew for me. Uh, so let me let me go and grab it. I know exactly where it is. I've just got to get it from somewhere online. Can you just bear me a second, folks. And I'll... Here off has got another question for you, Greg. Uh, what uh, time Pacific Standard Time are you going to be streaming on May the 4th? Well, it's UK time. May the 4th, May the 4th UK time will be 7.30 in the evening, which I think Pacific time is about eight hours behind us. I think early afternoon, late morning for you guys. It's going to be something like that, isn't it? And, and the cool thing is, guys, but whilst um, whilst I'm I'm doing the May the 4th stream as well, but pretty much when I finish, which won't be that late. I mean, that really won't be a late night because I think I've got to be up at five the next day uh, to nip into London. Um, Brick Hive, he's doing a May the 4th one. So what's really cool is when we do our May the 4th, by the time you get to, we change the time zone, it's still May the 4th in America. So uh, yeah, tune into Brick Hive's uh, May the 4th stream, folks. Let me let me get this uh, this picture that Kevin Hinkle did for me. Oh, honestly, guys, it is a work of art. He's literally a work of art. Anyway, let's see if I can uh, share this out. Share the screen. Here we go. Let's go for an application window. And there we have it. There we go. Uh, Legoland's uh, Windsor is also selling the Legoland exclusive sets on their websites. So what? now as well. Oh, right. Okay. So Garlegay says uh, Legoland Windsor is also selling the uh, Legoland exclusive sets on their website now, apparently. Well, that's kind of gone into a bit of controversy today, folks, because they are saying, Lego have come out and stated that they will not be selling the exclusive uh, Lego house stuff abroad, uh, mm -hmm. at least not in America. So there we no, go. Not in America. Yeah, no. That is Kevin Hinkle's answer to Voltron, the Voltron head uh, that he drew me. It's quite cool, that. You like that, Darren? That is really good. That is really good. Yeah, that that's amazing. excellent. Yeah. Yeah. He, I think he drew that in all, in all of two minutes. Yes. Yeah, Awesome, two man. minutes he come up yeah, with yeah, that in yeah, two yeah. minutes my god so I, I i was i was on the stream but my daughter was going absolutely mental whilst i was on the stream so i had to jump off it which is really <laughs> annoying i was in the chat but yeah really really annoying yes yeah, so, so, so thank you for that kevin um so yeah, yeah. do check out kevin and doc samson says well we were hoping to have garla gay read the chat yeah, Garlic Gate, would you, would you, are you going to be there? Lego, Lego Land Windsor is also selling the Lego Lands exclusive. Yeah, we, we, I mean, we can, Doc, we can have a, I'm sure we can have a few peeps on uh, the stream as well, but he's predominantly a kind of a Voltron one because I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone build two Voltrons before. 
Anyway, and of course, I, I suppose one thing is you, the, the Voltron comes in two forms as well, so that'd be interesting. God Gate says my Lego house sets are not up for sale yet. We are we keep looking. Yeah, I, I've been lucky. Apparently, my Lego house has been shipped, so I should be hopefully be getting that in the next few days or so. Is the Lego Lounge? Go on, Bricks. I don't know. You go first, Greg. I'll, I'll wait. Don't worry. Okay, mate. Uh, Garlic Gate says, look at how sets, la la la. Mr. Hingle Draws says, he asked for the whole thing. So I cheated uh, by only drawing the head. I think I said, if, if I remember rightly, um, I think I said to Kevin, I think when you draw us Voltron, and I went, oh, it makes it easier. Can you just do the head? <laughs> and he, um, uh, he jumps at the charts, to be honest. But no, you, you've done a brilliant job, mate, and it's fa fabulous. And I'm going to be using it for a thumbnail. And Doc's going to be using it for a thumbnail. So, um, and of course, uh, I'll throw a link into the description as well so people know where it came from and everything like that. Imperial Officer 07 says, Lego House is one of the places I want to visit, besides Bobbington Tank Museum in England. Now, Imperial Officer 07, is that the one where Beyond the Brick went to recently? Because they were in London. Um, and I did try and hook up with them, but they were too busy. Their schedule was very, 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 very tired. But um, Darren, I think I think we need to sort out a visit to uh, Denmark next year because we. Uh, well, you you was actually meant to be going this year, but because I'm supposed, of, uh, I'm supposed to be there now. now. Yeah. yeah. Yes. No, we got to sort that out. We have got to sort that out. Actually, Ke because Kevin, um, have you ever been to the to, to the to, to Denmark? Uh, did you ever visit the uh, the main place over in Denmark? Uh, I know. I know you was. Um, I know you had a pretty. Pretty decent job uh, for Lego, and uh, I just wondered. I know your your particular um, role was very America centric. I mean, I say America; it's a huge, great big continent. But did, did they ever sort? Of, did you ever travel international as well? I'd be interested to know what um, what places you went to that were quite different, because every Lego store that you go to around the world, uh, they've all got a certain sort of a certain vibe, a certain feel about them. Uh, yes, I'll be, I'll be interested to so what, what you reckon about that. Uh, Greg, I was going to mention about the uh, Lego Land Windsor website, like Gallagate said. And they've actually got some pretty good like deals on it. Like, So if you buy all um, five of the Lego Land exclusive sets, you get £25 off. Isn't bad. Um, if you buy two Lego Dots bracelets, you get the Dots extra. And if you spend 20 quid on Lego City, you get the uh, police car, which is worth £50. That's good. Uh, That's worth about seven pounds. Yeah. yeah. And then there's even one with Duplo as well. You spend twenty pounds, you get a free uh, family pets thing. I, I've never built Duplo. <laughs> I've never built, but I've still got my Duplo since uh, I was a toddler. I've still got it. Maybe if I built Duplo, I'd finish a set. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're only like four pieces, Greg. I think you can manage that. Anyway. The thing is with. Um, with with Duplo, is a lot of people that build Lego sets do. Um, let's just put this down here so you can see what I'm doing. Uh, a lot of people that do Duplo, they they or build big sets. Uh, they use Duplo to kind of um, fatten it up. And that interest. Does anybody in the chat know, or maybe even anyone on the panel? How does um, how does Duplo price wise uh, compare? The Lego is it cheaper? Is it more expensive? What's the deal with that? If you're trying it for volume, absolutely, it's cheaper because you'll get like a a um, what is it like their version of a two by four brick, which is like an eight by four eight by five. whatever. You can get one of those for like twenty p effectively or twenty cents, give or take. Whereas to do the same thing in Lego would probably be four times that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's why a lot of mock builders when they do those massive their massive bases they get the duplo ones out because you know it just saves so much more time better. yeah it just pads yeah. it all out nicely instead of buying a load of two by fours and all that kind of little two by sixes just get a handful of those and you save yourself about 40 quid straight away yeah that's pretty cool um let's take a look what we've got here. What have we, uh, we have a bit of green room action all right let's see yeah, because oh, for yeah. a couple of the bigger sculptural mocks and things which I've done afterwards, I've gone, yeah, why didn't I just use Duplo and then started looking at the actual cost differential and, yeah, Duplo is just far cheaper. And because it's also too, you generally you're sticking it inside or out of the site, if you get used stuff, like it doesn't really matter because you're not going to see it. Yeah, 
Yeah. Yeah. It yeah exactly. It doesn't. It doesn't matter, does it? Uh, yeah. Anything when you do take it apart, it's pretty obvious what's Lego and what's not. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Uh, Mr. Hinkle Jaw says uh, it, it, uh, it's a fun fun visit, but loses its mag magic after the first trip. Uh, the first yeah. visit was back in 2011. Uh, 2011, uh, 2011, definitely, uh, definitely uh, the best, the full tour of everything. So there you go. Uh, the Lego shop is uh, selling the uh, the Chinese Lucky Cats and the Easter ship. Wow, said uh, uh, welcome to Europa. Um, uh, Rogue Runner says uh, Drupal bricks can be pricey. Uh, yeah, it depends. It depends. If you go for like the the branded ones, they yeah, I think Drupal ones. If you go for like the Marvel ones, they definitely are priced up. But obviously, you've got to take the licensing fee that comes in with that. But if you're just buying the bucket, yeah, it definitely works out damn sight cheaper. Uh, Imperial officer saying, "What is uh, London Bridge bricks building?" He's not building, he's sorting. Yeah, I'm just sorting tonight. I am. I'm not actually building anything. I, I, I cannot be mocked. <laughs> Dark Small is here. Hello. 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 hello, hello. Great to have you here, mate. Uh, Rogue Runners uh, is saying, um, London Bridge Bricks, have you got all the figures with that set? Yes, I have, including, including the Previsla, which I've got to find. I've actually got some figures out to do tonight. So uh, locate them all. Titanium's got building a ton up an of army. figures there. Damn. Is that all the villains from Ninjago? Yeah. It's all the villains from <laughs> oh, nice. everything pre-Ninjago movie. Wow. That's and then also all my serpentine with tails because they don't oh, Those guys are cool. I like the tail ones. Oh, Rogue Especially Ran the ones, from, the ones from Serpentine oh, okay. are the coolest ones. Yeah. Rogue yeah, Runner this, says, oh, sorry, I meant the individual bricks. All right, no worries. This one is the only one I actually got from a set. The rest I've bought online. Then, like, the back row I've got all from sets. But of the original five, only Fangton. Nice. You got one hell of a collection there, my friend. <laughs> one hell yeah, of no, a I'm, I'm not done yet. No, I bet you ain't. This is all the, the movie. <laughs> that's your that's a complete movie collection. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. A that's villain. The, that's the cast. Uh, yeah, that is just a small cast, isn't it? Come, I've got more. Oh, okay. oh of course. <laughs> of course. Uh Rogue Runner is asking you, Greg, have you got uh pre Vizsla? I have. I've got him somewhere. Uh I'm gonna try and find him later because I am gonna build this set over the weekend, so I'm gonna do my best to get him. Oh, J Studios uh -huh. is back again. Hello, Jay Studios. Popping in and out all over the place. Uh, welcome to Europa. Uh, the Lego, the Lego Land site has Lego handcuffs. Oh yeah. Um, uh, Imperial officer is asking what set is Greg building? Uh, well, he's not building. He's sorting out Pre Vizsla's um, ship. Can't remember what it's actually called. Pre Vizsla's Mandalorian Starfighter. I think. No, it's actually got a name. Gauntlet. That's it. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh yeah! I don't remember. He's got some cards. No, well, not cards. They're figures. Wow! Someone's got some tattoo yeah, paints going all, on there. Uh, oh, that, 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 that middle Harumi's cool. Queen Harumi's awesome. Yeah. I do love that. That cape's brilliant. And then uh, this one has some arm printing and side leg printing. Oh wow! That's detailed. Yeah. Nice figures. Oh yeah! What, what's that one called? The, the one with the bigger head? This one? Yes, is it Death Head or something? It's a, uh, she's wearing the mask of hatred. It's a good name. And then there's also the, uh, the mask of vengeance. Oh, I like that one. And then the mask of deception, I'll get to in a minute. Is that a recent set that one's come from? Is that an old No, nah, this one's from? from a couple of years ago. Season eight, the Sons of Garmadon. Yeah. Here's um, the other character who used the Mask of Hatred, Ultraviolet. Oh, Nick Amore no. saying Ultraviolet. I mean, I haven't got a clue what both of you guys are talking about. <laughs> I don't know anything about. This really, this really crazy 
her bike person. She's like, she's the greatest. And then here's regular Mr. E. This is him transformed. This is him just as he is. Uh, He's okay. a robot, too. So. Okay. I guess the new uh, Vic Visors, isn't it? No, nah, this is... Um, Mr. E was part of the Sons of Garmadon. Oh, right. Okay. Did we ever, like, was he ever unmasked? Because I've forgotten. No. He was just revealed to be a ninjoid, and then after that, his character just kind of fell to the wayside. Oh, All right, yeah. Titanium. Well, you're obviously the man to speak about Ninjago. Right. So, obviously, I've never bought a Ninjago set apart from my pathetic little poly bag that I've got in my cupboard. What mm -hmm. set? So, if you said to me, right, this is an absolutely amazing set for Ninjago, what, what one would you say from, like, to me for someone who's never built a Ninjago or watched or even thought mm. about buying a set? I don't know. There's lots to choose from. Oh, there's, really? There's so many. Oh, okay. Uh, I'd, one, of, one of my what? recent favorites that came out recently is uh, the Thunder Raider, the Legacy oh, set. Uh, Garligade's off now. She's going to have a nap nap now. Oh, oh, see you later, Gala Gade. See you later, Gala. Yeah, this is the... Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's a good set. Yeah. Okay. One. I've got and the original. And it's two vehicles in one. So this is all oh, right. Map. Sweet. All oh, right. Okay. All oh, right. Yeah, so there's a that is a good set there. solo. I would yeah. recommend that. All right. I'll check. Yeah. I'll have a little look. I believe I think it's 45 pounds. I think 45. Oh, all right. Okay. Mid scale set. So not bad. Yeah. One of the, right. uh, the figures is this guy, the overlord. All right. That is a good <laughs> figure. That, that, is, that is the main man, isn't it? That's the villain. He's one of them. It's one of the biggest villains out there. All right, okay. I'll look into it. I probably really shouldn't be doing that. I've, I've got a sense that my missus is probably going to be beaming down my shoulders, like not another bloody thing that you're going to start looking at buying. <laughs> I just had a really evil look just thrown at me. <laughs> your, your streaming privileges might get cut back. Yeah. Don't oh, be yeah. talking to people like that. Bad influences. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's take a look at Brick Studio. What are you up to, Brick Studio? You bet you quiet down there in the corner. Oh, I just I think I won't I might like step for step in. Oh you did win. So I got one of them done. I mean I got oh, one of them. Hey, what's up, teacher? Great to see you, mate. Good to have you in the uh, chat. Got that one. Oh, though. that's so cool. Is that what is that Stuart? Uh yeah. <laughs> oh, marker. Uh that would be Stuart, yep. Yeah. My favorite one is Bob, because he's my favorite minion. Yeah. So, yeah, I'd build him if I got that. <laughs> Jump up and down by any chance. Yeah. Me, ma, me, ma. Oh, God, that sink gets on my... Oh, God. Uh, well, Fab, our Twitch streamer is on Twitch right now. <laughs> Imperial Officer 07, I oh, hate yeah. to run, but <laughs> it's time to snack mm -hmm. and nap for me. So, bye, everyone. Have fun. See you later, Imperial Officer 07. See you, Imperial Officer. See you, Imperial. Hey, thanks for coming in, Imperial Officer. Always uh, a pleasure to have you here. Brilliant. Mr. Hinkle says, remember that Ninjago launched nine years ago. Solo, you've got hundreds of options to consider. I tell you what, I have been buying absolute oodles of uh, Ninjago. I built a few, quite a few recently, but um, I've got to say, uh, there is a lot of good stuff out there. In fact, I want to build a mech. I'm, I need to build a mech soon, uh, albeit I'm going to build Vulcan next week, so that is to happen. But let's face it. Um, but yeah, the uh, I've got to say, the... The mechs that you can get from Ninjago are fantastic. I, I, I consider oh, yeah. that. Are you mechs at all? You know, you, they're not really your thing, are they, Darren? Um, I wouldn't say. I don't know. I've just never got into. I, I like the look of Ninjago, but I've always just kind of like, oh, that set over there, because I don't, I, I don't understand Ninjago. And obviously, it it belongs to Lego. It's a Lego brand, and obviously, there are cheaper sets. But obviously, I've been a Star Wars man since I was. Um, a fetus so you know it's uh, it's just one of those kind of things that i've just kind of always edged towards but yeah i i keep looking at them and i i maybe now i'm starting to understand them a bit more i might start 
maybe venturing out there and having a little look at them and maybe actually mm. buy a set. Well, people in the chat are saying so. Lloyd's Titan Mech is amazing, and I got yeah, it. I got yeah, it for Christmas, it and is. it's a great set. I get it's huge. It's fantastic. And, uh, I got. I got to say, it does look good. It's, I tell you, it uses a really nice sandy green. Oh yeah, that sand green is yeah, it's very nice. It looks mm. good with the gold and the white. Yeah, maybe we should do um, give it a couple of weeks. And what about doing an Injago themed uh, stream? Show us those ones, Solo. Titanium, not me. Hey, we've got Butch <laughs> up in the house, everyone. Butch up twenty twenty one. Ninjago is one of the only things Lego has continually kept top notch. I agree, Butch up. I think he's very good, my friend. Yeah. Great so here. we've got movie, then seasons eight and nine, and then legacy. Wow. Which legacy includes both last year and this year. So uh, hold on a minute. I thought you would. Um, I thought you'd put all those away. Have, have you actually been just taking all your stuff out? Yeah, I've just been taking it out of the containers. You've been doing an inventory, folks, of stuff. Nike Mo is saying Ninjago stream, please. Yeah, let's do a Ninjago stream in a couple of weeks. Next week's all going to be about the. Uh, about Star Wars and that, but our week after that, we'll, we'll do an Injago themed one. You up for that, Brixo? Uh, yeah, yeah. I can get one of my old Ninjago sets out, rebuild it, maybe. How about you, Titanium? You fancy doing an Ninjago one? Yeah, absolutely. If we do, well, it, you know, Titanium, you know, if it's Ninjago, <laughs> Titanium is gonna do it. Does the Pope yeah. pray? Uh, <laughs> if it's um, if it's week after next, if we do it late in the week, that'll be after my final exams. <laughs> How, how would uh, would Saturday be better for you? Saturday would work just fine. Oh, okay, folks. Well, there you go. Um, if you want to see a um, Ninjago stream, tune in uh, in two weekends' times. We'll we'll, uh, we'll be doing a Ninjago theme stream on Saturday. The oh, what's that going to be? That's going to be the sixteenth. Saturday the sixteenth, off the top of my head, that is. We'll do a Ninjago themed one. But Chop says. Uh, I don't know what my job says, actually. It just says they, they do a really good thing. It is a really good thing. Um, oh, Garla Gates saying later, butt chopper, because um, Garla Gates off to have a snooze, I guess. Snooze or something to eat. Anyway, I'm glad you're feeling a little bit better, Garla Gade. The world so is a better place with Garla Gade in it, folks, that's for sure. It's not a stream without her in the chat. No, definitely you know, not. You know I, I, I have Garla Gade in the stream. I, I, a stream is not a stream about Gala Gate. It's as simple as that. So what is it? What's what's uh, Ninjago Loy uh, the Loy's Titan is? I'm just looking at the mechs at the moment, just having a look through. What's that look like? It, it, do you you well, do I, like mechs, though, don't you? Sorry. You do like mechs, I take it. Yeah, I'm. I'm just looking on Amazon now, just having a little look. What I don't mind the look of the mechs actually. I think they they always look quite interesting. They always it's, it looks like a different build to what obviously I'm used to building spaceships. So building a mech might be a little bit different for me. Well, I tell you what is a good one that you might want to do is the um, Jay's uh, shut uh, not shuttle. It's a, he's got like a, a, a Stormfighter. Uh, Stormfighter, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, I've got that. That's a good set, so I'd recommend that. Yeah, okay. that's. It's very good. I'll get that off my shelf in a second. It's yeah, come on. Let's, I'll tell you what we do, folks. Everybody in the chat, let's, um, let, let's try and get the uh, Ninjago juices flowing for uh, <laughs> another solo group building, shall we? I, I feel it. So what's that one, then? What the, what the hell is that's that? The, uh, that's the Titan Mech solo. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm going to build. What the hell is a Titan yeah. Mech? Yeah, Titan, Titan, Titan Mech is just a really cool name for it. It's just the okay. just a mech for Lloyd, so don't worry it about it. It even that. has this uh detachable thing, this little flyer. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Well, that looks massive, bloody hell. That's huge. It, it is massive, it is really big. You can get that. I think you can get that for about when it's in the sale price, you'll get that for like forty five pounds. Yeah, yeah I'm looking on average sixty four ninety nine. Yeah. Where's that? Amazon that is. Yeah, check out Argos, they might do it cheaper. Oh, yeah. yeah, I might, I might try, I might try this Stormfire. I might have a look at that. It does look pretty cool. I'm just I think the Stormfire, if you're into spaceships, the Stormfire is kind of going to be more your thing, mate. Yeah, and it's on sale anyway, so I'm like, it's the uh, blue one that normally yeah. goes good price wise. I don't know, I forget now, about forty quid, something like that. Yeah, it's 35, 35 yeah. quid, all but yeah, that's, that's it. Yeah, oh, it's got fine. an action on it as well. Oh wow, 
Oh, All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, the wings flip out and it looks really cool. It's yeah, one of my favourite cool. uh, ships thingies. I'll tell you okay. who else I'll ask as well, just to see if he's interested in coming on, is um, uh, Maniac for Brits. He was on a, a few weeks ago. Uh, oh, Joey, yeah. he did well. Let's um, build okay. recommend. Be right back, AFK. Oh, what does AFK stand for, folks? I'm, I'm not on down with the uh, Away from keyboard. Oh, okay, cool. I like it. It's used in like gaming terms mostly, like when you're playing a PC game. Oh, I mean, when you're cool. using it, um, you can use it when you're playing controller, so away from controller as well. Good stuff. Away from controller. So, yeah. Good stuff. It's a bit like LOL. You know, everyone yeah, thinks yeah. LOL means um, laugh out loud. I know people that used to think that stood for little old lady. <laughs> it, also, it also stands for lots of love as well, and it's like different meanings. All right. Well, you guys got me convinced. I'll get I'll get Jay's uh, Stormfire. Have a little go on that one. I do like transforming the look of that. solo into Ninjago fan. Everyone. I do like the look of that 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 Titan one. I think Size. what I like well, the, the Titan one. I'm going to build the Titan one absolutely for sure. So tune in a couple of weeks to that. Are you going to have a bit of the uh, uh, a bit a bit of J Storm action on on it? Then uh... okay. All right. Okay. Right. My my order's down from Amazon anyway, so that'll be here for me on Sunday. Oh boy. Me? My, my my credit card's taking a hit. Woof. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Darren. My stream's using. <laughs> <laughs> nah, don't worry about it. I mean, if, if you mentioned it was a Star Wars set, you'd be damn sure I'll probably have it up in the loft. But Ninjago, I've been I've been wanting to get into it a while, but yeah. You know, while I've got titanium on, I might as well ask some questions and got all you lovely, beautiful people in the uh, in yeah. the chat as well. So, why is my screen going so dark for? Come on, wake up! <laughs> oh, that's the dragon. Yeah, the firstborn. This oh, yeah, that's that isn't that one of the main uh, main dragons in the season? Yeah, this I mean, was season nine. I've got Stormbringer. That's the one yeah, I've got. So do I. Isn't that from Game of Thrones? <laughs> <laughs> so un so uneducated solo, you don't know much about Ninjago. <laughs> What's that Stormbringer and that's from Game of Thrones, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't watch Game of Thrones. Hello Moto. Moto uh, wanted to stop oh, by and there. say hi. Hello Moto. While while Hello. I take a break from work. There you go. Hello Moto. Hope you're well, mate. Hi, Moto, how's your um, how's your great big designs going, my friend? Uh, but sure, uh, uh, I, but still, Ninjago isn't better than Lego Star Wars. Ooh, right, that's one Rogue Runner. That is. I mean, and also J Studios was like, but shot twenty twenty one. I strongly just disagree when he said Ninjago equals superior to Lego Star Wars. So, I don't want to be starting fights off. I was only asking a simple question whether I should get into it or not. <laughs> it's only for my own personal use. <laughs> yeah, that's Stormbringer solo. One of the titanium's got right there. I think, I think it just comes down to how much you like grey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I like, don't get me wrong, I love Star Wars stuff. I always do. Uh, but I am quite picky about what sets I build and stuff like that. But I've got to say, I like Ninjago just simply because it just adds a bit of colour to it. I thought. It, it, yeah. it, Ninjago is just very contrasting compared to. And that's why I'm looking forward to Monkey Kid because it's basically Ninjago. But. Yes, Moto like saying different. I'm building a mix all plate thing and it's really difficult to build. <laughs> Mate, I'm sure a man of your talents is going to smash through that. Yeah, you're and if anything, I'll have to on your video. Mate, these builds are absolutely insane. They are insane, actually. I love them. Oh. I love the way you kind of managed to extract it out of your head, Moto, and, uh, and build it. It's brilliant. Yeah. I mean, the way he picks up that ship as well and shakes it, and oh, it's like, oh my god, I'll be clinch <laughs> like actually just touching that. But the man's got faith in his building. Uh, Titanium, do you have the green mech dragon to show? Whatever that is, that's from Brickmaster75. I'm pretty sure he does. Just a moment. <laughs> He's got the Ninja Ninjago shot behind him. Maybe that's the thing. It's it turn it into stump titanium. What, what is it? Doesn't he have handy? Yeah. <laughs> right. Come on, guys. Let's start throwing it out there. Let's try and see if we can push titanium. What Ninjago set does he not have? Let's test him. 
Yeah, good good shout, mm. actually. Nice one. I like that. Titanium, do you have the blacksmith shop from 2011? Nope, I don't. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. <laughs> that's, right. that's it. You're out. Yeah. Try. Yeah, that's from the first couple of years. I don't really have too many of them. Yeah, I thought. Right. I, I mean, I, I was a stretch. I thought you wouldn't have many of them. Uh, Nick and Moore says I was in. Uh, I'll, I'll, I was into the uh, Star Wars Kenner, but I haven't invested into uh, the Lego side of things. I'm guessing that's the Lego Star Wars side of things. Yeah, my cousin used to have a massive uh, 8080 Kenner. Not Kenner, but like it was a massive Lego um, 8080 Star Wars figure. It was huge. It was like two foot tall. It was like just massive. Yeah. No, that one that is a big one. I've got, I've got, yeah. I've got loads of the old, uh, oh, what is it, the old two thousand one microfighter ones up in the loft when they started pushing oh, yeah. out for. Uh, some of those are really old now. I mean, they've also started doing the vintage collection now, which actually are quite cool. But they're really expensive. One hundred and fifty pound for a slave one. Mm, yeah, like, they're just they're just too much. <laughs> Solo, do you collect? Uh, yeah. And you, Starbricks, though, do you guys collect the um, the Black Series Star Wars stuff? I do want to. I want to collect some of the vehicles and some of the replica helmets. Like I do love the Boba Fett helmet. Um, I just I quite like that. But I don't. I don't have any of them at the moment. The only Black Series I've ever collected. Well, not. Well, no. Actually, I never got into the the, the Disney side of Black Series. Um, because that you see the lightsaber up there that I've got on there. That was pre Disney takeover. All right. Um, the yeah. the only thing that I really want, and it's. And Greg, we're quite lucky on this one, but you can right. now buy. Um, it's on Zavi, the uh, Darth Revan's lightsaber, which is oh, I've seen really, that. Really cool. Yeah. Oh, really James cool Jr. has got a question. Who else collects Star Wars Armada? And that is a a game. I know what it, I used to. I've played it with him, but it's basically a Star Wars tabletop game where you yeah, buy like is, yeah, yeah the never ships. played it. I just bought a couple of the ships. Yeah. Jay Studios is, is going to make a few videos on that uh, game. He's got the starter set. So what are those then, Titanium? What are those? Uh, these are the rest. So oh, okay. These are the Oni. That was season 10. Then these two were the season 11 villains. I'm not quite sure and... those horns are big enough. <laughs> yeah, those, those are insane. Then these are season 12. Right. Okay. Okay. Season 12 just wrapped up, and it was fantastic. Very good. Very good season all around. Good ending, too. Is that one of your... It, when you say it's wrapped up, that, that's not the new one, is it? The brand new one with... Um, no. It is. They, uh, they finished it. Has that new season actually started yet? That just seems to be taking forever to sort of take off. Well, it's been releasing in some countries, and people watch it on YouTube. It's always, it's always in like um i think i've vietnamese viet i can't say it vietnam um yeah. they've had vietnamese. episodes you read it right first time yeah I, I, was try, I was trying to say the language but not the country and i couldn't say the language uh but chop said i had the kenner 8080 uh, on my bed uh and it fell off and the front gu guns broke off it did, i was so sad. unlucky but chop did it, did it crash like uh like it had just been done by the uh, snow speeder. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Moto says the original trilogy is my favorite. Empire Strikes Back is definitely my favorite. I yeah, same here, Moto. Yeah. Good take, mate. Absolutely, is my favorite as well. Is anyone going to watch any of the films on uh, May the Fourth? I was thinking of watching some of my favorites. Oh, right, um, I might be at work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm getting uh, up at three o'clock in the morning. I, I tell you what, though, forget the films. Get catch up with the latest series of Clone Yeah, Wars. that's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah, Brick said, so don't you don't you watch the films? Just watch those <laughs> yeah. last couple of episodes. Forget about the films. Yeah, well, I still got to try, you... I, I got to do score on Monday, so I'll try and watch it while I'm doing my score. I think what, right? If I was going to watch a film, I'd watch episode three, and then I'd watch yeah. the last three episodes of uh, yeah. Clone Wars. Yeah. yeah oh yeah, definitely. I'd watch episode three. I'd love episode three. I mean, I'm, I think I'm on season. I'm in mid season four. I mean, like, where they're in the slave people area. Oh, okay. Four. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that no, area. Just, skip all of that. Ignore all that. Just get straight to... Same as you yeah. cut the craggle. Just get straight to the end and just watch those mm. last four episodes. Come on. They're brilliant. I mean, I, I, do, I just want to watch the whole series because I really 
because I just want to. I don't want to skip anything. Don't I mean, start crying. You're, you're not honestly. You're not skipping anything by watching the last few episodes. That's, no. that's yeah. the thing. You're not. You're not missing out on anything. To be honest, but it's probably it, held it, Lucas. Yeah, no, nothing else will sort of come of it or anything no. like that. You, you, you're just jumping into a, a section now that, you, that you're right. familiar with. Yeah. All right. Oh, sorry. Cut the craggle. Uh, spoilers. He says in the chat. <laughs> Um, Cut the Graggle says Greg will be at work on on Tower Bridge. He's trying to start something <laughs> off again. <laughs> I, I'm not. I'm not even going to go there. I, I'm not, I'm not going to uh, entertain it. Um, Cafe Con says, "If I watch uh, the Mandalorian, would I need to watch the movies first? No, no. no you don't really need any information. No, you just it's just it's just its own standalone thing." Yeah. Just, just there's only one planet in there that really kind of integrates into the story, but even that, it's, no, it yeah. stands on its own. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, are you? Uh, Butt Chop says I used to play PC Star Wars games like in 1998. Yes, good year for Star Wars games on the PC. What games were out then? Was that like X Wing versus Tie Fighter? Yeah, X Wing versus Tie Fighter, Tie Fighter, and um, X Wing sim uh, uh, Simulator. Yeah, there's there was loads of games coming out then. I used to play the Lego online games. Like there was some Star Wars games on the Lego online stuff. Oh, <laughs> this is predates all of those. No, yeah, definitely. Before I was born, all that nineteen ninety eight. I'm two thousand and six. Uh Brick Size learning from Solo Brick Builder on how to <laughs> walking on spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> no one could get as bad as me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> spoiler alert, I just giving you a spoiler. Don't be yeah. like Tom Holland, spilling out spoilers everywhere. Oh, yeah. 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 I feel like I'm the only one that's not actually building a Lego set. I'm going to have to go get one. No, I'm not building anything. You're I'm not, not building, building either. Just... You're, not, you're not the only one. I'm just got a Star Wars set. And I just I, I, I'm very poorly looking after the chat. <laughs> well, what have you got going on there, Brickstone Studios? Um, it was just Darth Vader's transformation I took apart, and then my sick figure is here. Anyone will remember episode one pod race again? Yeah, I, I, I've seen that. It was look really cool. Here's a little Top Gear Top Gear tip for you. It's on the PlayStation Four now. Is it? So you can, yeah, you can play that now. Oh, I'm gonna go play that. I want in exchange for money. How much is it? Is expensive? Uh, I don't know. No I idea. might have to go check that out because I like. Fun. Who else really likes Rogue One? Says Jay Studios. I think oh, pretty I much everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's one of the yeah. top films for me. Like probably the best, probably the best Disney one. Can we all agree on that? Yeah. Uh, Mo Moto is off as well. He's going. He's going bye bye. Oh, see you, Moto. Going, yeah, he's going back to work. See you, Moto. Um. Right. Right. Yeah. I'm gonna go find the Lego set. I'm feeling. Like, I'm feeling left out here. Good man. Matt's there. Matt's there drawing away. Titanium's there. Doing titanium stuff, bricks are uh, bricks down there. <laughs> yeah. right, two yeah. seconds. <laughs> My God, I do have to go now, guys. So uh, I've been, uh, supposed to be supposed to be off for fifteen minutes ago, but uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, see you later, then, Brickso. Yeah, great to see have you here, so here, everyone. Thanks for having uh, me, Greg. Brickso, before you go, what, what's coming up in the channel? What's coming up on the channel? Mate? Um, well, I just uploaded a video today, right before the stream, and it was uh, it was titled uh, "Could This Be the Worst May the Fourth Event." And it's just a me discussing about May the Fourth and stuff. Um, but also, I've got a few other videos planned, some more Warhammer um, coming in the future. Uh, yeah, uh, I, I, I will be filming a sort of introduction to Warhammer. So for people who don't have a clue what it is, uh, like you, Greg, maybe because you don't know, don't know what it is. No, no, um, I, I know, I know what it, but I tell you what, oh. I really appreciate watching a, an introductional video. Yeah, it, it really interests me all that kind of stuff. Uh, really there's, really yeah, there's probably going to be obviously the A Wing review and the yeah. May the Fourth uh, event next week, um, and then just a few other mocks. Maybe I'm going to try to do some mocks and stuff whilst in quarantine. But yeah, yeah, that's probably about it. Well, I do. You take care. Great to you see too. you. You too. And, and everyone um, else, have a good, great yeah. day. Brick Studios. Yeah, I mean, Brick's uh, be with you. yeah you uh, too. That's my line. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. Have a good one. You, you coin that phrase on my stream so I can use the IP of that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you have that one. No, we, we can we can play with it, mate. We're both Star Wars, yeah. Star Wars fans. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 
It's just, I've just been trying to, I've just been using that phrase a lot more now on my channel. Uh, I think I used it first of all on, my, on the last one I done. I, I always say at the end of my ones, keep building. And, and you know, at the end of uh, Strictly Come Dancing, they say keep dancing. I always just say, yeah. That, that's where I get from. Plagiarism. Plagiarism. Come on, uh, Matt, you're an artist. Um, and you out there as well, Kevin Hinkle, obviously. Plagiarism is one of the best things of art, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's a Picasso quote, you know, good artists borrow and great artists steal. <laughs> so, I mean, it's funny you should mention that keep dancing line because there was um, a couple of years ago, there was like a, a revamp trying to do, it wasn't spitting image, but it was like, sort of like in that vein. And mm -hmm. they always had uh, Tess Bailey and they kept on playing on that line and she just kept on going, keep dancing, keep dancing, keep dancing. <laughs> And then turned out to be a robot and like her head blew off or something. <laughs> All right, okay, this should be interesting. How much of this am I going to get built on a stream? Not a lot. Oh, what you got there, Solo? What are you thinking of building? Uh, let's go for a crater expert set. <laughs> Why not? I'm going to try to go for the Lunar Lander. What? Yeah. You're going to go for the Lunar Lander? <laughs> I'm going for the Lunar Lander. Let's see how far I can get. I know I'm not going to get very far. Uh, Solo has extended the stream by about five hours, folks. <laughs> no, this is not going to get built today. Just to, just to put it out there, this is not going to get built today. Right. This, is just, this is just the closest box I could get to. So, quite literally. You have like the, a whole Lego store in your sort of like house loft. Um, yeah, my miss is starting to say that. <laughs> When it when it comes to creator expert ideas or Star Wars, generally I'll be there banging on their front doors, come on, come on, come on, open up, open up. Take my money. Yeah, take my money. I'm single handedly literally keeping Lego afloat on their kind of franchise parts of those things. That's ridiculous. I could have actually had myself a really nice house by now. <laughs> you could have had a really nice Lego house. <laughs> I could have done, couldn't I? Mind you, if I started actually breaking down some of the sets, I could have probably actually done that. <laughs> still, still might be able to do that. Who knows? All right, so I need that whole bag. Why don't you just put that in a bag? What we got going on in the chat? We have Cut the Craggle says, Greg is criticizing someone else's for taking time to build. Damn, Cut the Craggle, wherever I can, I do. <laughs> I speak. Of course, I speak from having good experience of that, my friend. Uh, butt Chop. Or rather, I should say, Jay Studios. He says, bye, everyone. Jay Studios, Hello. thanks for coming by, mate. Um, let us know what you're up to on your channel, my friend. Be good to know. Rogue Runner says, just started my pod racer build. Oh, good stuff. Um, nice that you're building along with us, Rogue Runner. Good stuff. Butt Chop 2021 says, I only say what I mean. Good to sir, Matt. Uh, Cut the Cradle says, the anniversary one, Rogue Runner. Question mark. Woodshop Teacher. Good to see you, mate. Hi, Jay Studios. Um, you got a new sub, yay! Nice one, Woodchop Teacher. J Studios, everybody, is a new up and coming YouTuber, so please do check out his channel as well. Okay, uh, Cut Craggle says that is a cracking set, bro. It certainly is. Um, J Studios is asking, When is the next stream? Well, I'm doing, I'm helping out a, a, a good friend of uh, the channel's, um, Lego Lomaniac tomorrow, so I will be streaming tomorrow on Lego Lomaniac stream, bro, and I will be. Uh, streaming with him, I think five five o'clock uh, UK time or BST time. So I'll be doing that, and then the next stream will be May the fourth, which will be a very Star Wars one. Uh, so yeah, uh, tune in for that one. That will be at seven thirty onwards. That one will be, and then uh, next Friday, next and then uh, next Friday we'll be doing something Saturday. We've got a big one. It's going to be the A wing, and Sunday I'm still doing. The Voltron, and then what am I doing after that? Oh, oh I'm going back to work after that. Uh, so <laughs> the uh, following weekend, we've all just decided amongst us uh, between Titanium Solo, Brixo, uh, that we're going to be doing the um, uh, 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 Lego Ninjago theme stream. Uh, I would say Lego Lomaniac is a name that always seems to. Um, it's a tough one to get your uh, your spelling around. Sometimes that is. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. 
it really is but anyway look folks this is um i'm gonna pop it in the pop it in here this is lego the maniacs uh stream for tomorrow folks i uh, pop by he'll be streaming from seven o'clock tomorrow morning so he's going to be streaming when you boys and girls jump out of bed in the morning uh do check him out give him some support keep him going um so yeah jay studios says i will be there on may the 4th good stuff jay studios may the bricks be with you as uh as darren so eloquently puts it but shop 2021 says i forgot that i had committed to the 24-hour charity tomorrow glad i remembered <laughs> i'm glad <laughs> remembered as well but chop anyway we've got some uh, minions action brick studios tell us all about it mate this is kevin and then i have Stuart. now apparently you can you'd have to buy two two of the sets to make all three because there's not enough pieces okay. how very convenient is that so eh? yeah i know yeah, that sounds For like a business model yeah well, that's some freaky eyeball look my god is that sticking fire oh, oh my god I was say, that, that, <laughs> look, oh. yeah, that looked like he had some uh like a myxomatosis issue going on there <laughs> i like, like going when i maybe i'll order a piece on lego's website and get another one of these smaller ones yeah they look a bit scary don't they when their eyeballs are falling out that yeah i know it doesn't like fit it all the way in it's weird that's right. I, I, Matt, you reckon you got a bad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can you imagine being a minion with a, an eye infection? That would be. Um, that would... All right. Okay. Where are we going with this? I will tell you what. If I'm trying to find bricks, you get like brick blindness. I think those minions look pretty good. Bricks, uh, brick studios. Thanks. There we go. That fits. Ah. Oh, work. <laughs> Right, what am I after? I'm on one of those. It's the tiles. Yeah. Oh, blue tile. Oh, this, this will get easier as I go along. Just can't find everything. There's your art coming along, Matt. Yeah, just very slowly. Just trying to. Just been working on Darth Vader's head and now just trying to get a few of these little printed details on his torso. Just struggling with a bit, but. Think, oh, yeah, uh, I, I got the three little ones too. Do you about that? You might just stand up and do this, or it's a hip, a bit of flex. Make that there. Yeah, so it always goes quiet when people start building. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, let's have a look in the chat. Uh, Chop21, wish I was set up. I would join in Greg. I went home early from work today. Cut the craggle. Lag is strong. Bricks of Studios, hello there. Upside down smiley face. Rogue Runner <laughs> is lagging out there. Ditto for... Uh, oh. I tell you what, Butt Chop, we've got a space, mate. If you wanted to jump in, you're more than welcome to, mate. You really are. I love you, Batjock. You know that. Cut the Craigle, famous last words. <laughs> Batjock, but too many humans interneting on the information superhighway. The information superhighway. They were the days when people used to say, are you IT literate? Which is basically 1996 speak for saying, are you a buffoon? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I am. Yes, yes, I am. <laughs> yes. Super highway. I haven't heard that term in a long time. That is, is isn't it? Super highway. Uh, what did they used to say back in the days? Um, oh, is that a 56k modem? That's the one, wasn't it? Oh, that's fast. <laughs> 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 I'm still thinking of like the 9600s and things. Oh, God, right? That's about as fast as a fax machine. Okay. Let me video real quick. Cut the giving us an update. He is typing an electronic mail. Oh, very good. I'm like uh, the retro thing coming out. Or by facsimile. Brett's builds. Uh, I don't think he's happy with Greg. Oh, thanks, Greg. I never get an invite. LOL. Who's that? Who's Brett's out in that? 
Who, who's saying I never invite them in? Was that Butchop? No, Brits Builds. Brits Builds. Thanks, Greg. Never get an invite. Laugh out loud. Oh, come on, Brett. You um, you keep hanging around, my friend, and you will. Anyway, Brett, tell us what's been going on on your channel recently. Uh, what are you up to with the old trains and stuff like that, my friend? Um, have you been doing some more live streams and things like that? Let us know what you've been up to. You know what it's like? We want to uh, want to know. Uh, Brick Allen. Hello, Brick Allen. How are you doing? Uh, Brick Allen's based over in Europe. I think, Brick Allen, are you where... What part of Europe are you from, Brick Allen? I know it's somewhere in the very northern hemisphere. All right, where are we going then? We've got that. we got that. i got that. i got that. Uh, I didn't even need that, so I'm going to put that there. Do, 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 do. Oh, I think I sorted myself out for this. <laughs> oh, Maybe you know. What, what, what do you think of the new plates, then? Because they don't you, – you build the plates now, don't you, as opposed to actually just having a great big plate? Yeah, I, I, think, it's, I think it's quite nice. It just adds a little bit more uh, – yeah, kind of a bit more to it, doesn't it? Instead of just getting one massive great big plate out and just kind of building on top of it, they can strengthen it up quite nicely with these ones. Yeah. Because obviously the plates can be a bit flimsy, can't they? So this is quite good. Good job. Has anyone else that? out there in the chat? Have you built the uh, Lunar Lander? I've got, um, I've got it actually. I've got the Lunar Lander. Let's take a look. <laughs> Let's take a look. This was, um, oh, I've just dropped. Uh, I just dropped Neil Armstrong. <laughs> <laughs> This is the most. Sure. This is the, this will make a lot of people laugh though. I actually bought this set when it first came out, and uh, I got rid of it. But then obviously we we were going to do that creator expert set, and I was really worried that uh, my Mustang wasn't going to turn up on time from Lego. Um, so I got this one from uh, Smith Toys just in case it didn't turn up on time. So I've rebought the set again. <laughs> but this time I think I might keep it a little while longer. This might be a question for Titanium, but open to the rest of everyone there. Um, has anyone built the Ninjago? You've got the docks and then the other big city piece. City, yeah, Ninjago City. Um, nope, I don't either of them. I've, um, I've got it to build. So I can 110% tell you I haven't. <laughs> there we go. I just note the application of the stickers there, uh, Baron. Yeah. I tell you what, look, what's nice about the stickers. Look at the shine that comes off them. Yeah, they do look nice and shiny, they do. And I tell you what, I really like about this set. I haven't got it out. Check out the uh, the amount of gold bricks, pearl gold bricks. Got loads of them on there. Oh, it's a lovely yeah. set, and it's, it comes yeah. up in three sections. I'm just trying mm. to remember what the. Um, what this part is called it's called tranquility yeah yeah it's a great set it is a very like awesome set to have no it's a good looking set good looking set i haven't got a clue where i'm going to put it i don't know why i'm even building it now for but because i haven't made any room for this at all not yet i think that's why i got rid of it in the first place i just had no room for it <laughs> But I will have to make room now. Uh, oh, I don't know. Maybe be... Used like uh, Bricklink got updated to Bricklink XP. I think it was recently. Oh, and... yeah. what, what's the uh, what's the story behind that? It seems that they've completely. I mean, I haven't been there. I've just seen commentary on it that um, they've you know basically updated it and it's not going down well because everything's in different places and all that sort of stuff yeah i don't know whether it's me i was on there this morning and i, I didn't notice the difference to be honest yeah no it's for the, it's for the shops themselves i think it is the people oh is it all oh, right yeah, well, that's, that's yeah I think that, the difference, then. that's been one of the biggest complaints it's sort of like people can't find like it, it's more now more difficult to find a shop so if there's a particular shop that you like and like to buy from a lot it's it's harder to find and then also with the shops it's harder to tell whether it's a local one or an international one. They're all sort of like mixed together. Like apparently they've got like oh, a little icon down in the bottom corner, which enables you to tell it. 
and they've done this thing apparently where now um, it will automatically select the best selection allegedly and some people have been doing tests on it and it's like no it's not it's it's not doing the best selection so it sounds like whatever algorithm changes have done potentially have made it worse yeah it's one of those things it's going to get worse before it gets better because um i mean i work in a i work in a department that you know deals with a lot of it stuff and sometimes things just do they get worse before they get better and sometimes yeah. you get to the point where you just have to throw out a solution and um you know, you've got to support it and develop it at the same time. Well, that's it, isn't it? they got to test these new things to make sure it works properly. I mean, because obviously it's all very well and good testing it on a handful of computers, but when as soon as it goes live, it just takes one little thing, one little code to kind of go, ah, I'm not going to work. And it just messes yeah. everything up, doesn't it? So, yeah. nothing ever goes smoothly. That That is life, isn't it, really? It is life. That's life. That's life. <laughs> That's what all the people. Oh, I can't remember the song. I can't remember the song anymore. Not the full song anyway. <laughs> better, better not start singing that. My God, I'd probably just start <laughs> shutting you down, Greg. We don't want that. Not because of copyright, just because I'm just terrible at singing. Yeah, don't worry. We're not going to be confused with uh, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> Maybe Frank side bottom. Oh yeah, definitely the bottom part. Anyway. Uh, cut the crag well they still haven't fixed VAP after messing it up so I have little hope that they'll sort this quickly <laughs> yeah um, do you know the problem is I don't know what you think about it cut the crag but they actually fixed something that wasn't broken that they broke it that sounds about right I think that was that was part of the thing because it wasn't being done by Lego it kind of worked yeah, but now they're going to start integrating all their stuff into it now, aren't they? The problem with um, VIP points, I don't know what you guys think, but I mean, I've fed this back loads of times to them. It just feels like it's a different company. You go to like, VIP points, even just going to get your VIP points and collate them, it, it emails I, you them. And it's, I think it just feels like yeah. it's an entity to the actual lego.com. The VIP points now, the way they've got it all set up is just terrible. It really is. I mean, the way it used to work beforehand, is my card. Bosh, there you go. Take the points yeah. off there or put the points on. I mean, now you have to go on. I mean, it's like going to the shop. Like You go to Westfields, like for my example. You go to Westfields. You don't have good signal. Oh, no, now you can't access your points. Yeah, and see, <laughs> yes. It's just oh, it's ridiculous. Absolutely right. ridiculous. It's putting so much more friction within the transaction. And I mean, you know, if you put it in the same vein as the VIP sweepstakes, it's being designed to basically make it so that you can't use it or you're less inclined to use it. And I agree. Um, yeah, but the, the backstory behind it, when you say it's two different companies, well, yeah, it is now because the whole VIP part piece to it has been outsourced to a third party. Ah, there you go. So that's why there's so many underlying issues and everything. And it's just funny because you, you know, before you used to be able to go up and say, you know, what's my email and or not, not so much, what's most my email, but this is my email or this is this. Can you tell me how many points? Da, 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 da. Yeah, and now they turn around and they go, oh, no, we can't do that for privacy reasons. And, and you actually push them on. And so, like, and what privacy reason is that specifically? And they can't give you a straight answer because it's just the, you know, if somebody says privacy and everybody goes away and doesn't think about it, but it's just, mm -hmm. no, it's because they just, one can't do it and they don't know how to do it. Mm -hmm. oh, no, it's, it's ridiculous. It is ridiculous how they've all set it up now. I don't, oh God. I mean, I was, I was, I mean, I was speaking to, speaking to my good friend who works in it, used to work in the Lego store and yeah, not Lego store, the Lego shop in uh, Slough. And she says that when, when they switched it all over, they're apparently the whole mainframe, on the lego side on the lego side of things just collapsed because they had to take a certain bit of it out and obviously they had to change all the tills over and everything else like that it's like they had to update the tills and all that kind of stuff it cost them thousands or millions shall we say yeah to kind of do that and i was like well was it really worth it and she's going no not really yeah cut the craggle you have to log in separately to your vip account ridiculous yeah uh, it is, it's so silly it, it completely is a separate entity yeah but yeah yeah you don't even have to know that it just feels that way yeah 
I've got to phone Lego up tomorrow anyway because they haven't added my VIP points on to my card. No. Yeah. They will do that, but it is a, it is a pain as well. It is a pain. It's just it's just annoying. Yeah, that's the problem. Now they made it all this separate kind of like like what we were just talking about. It's yeah, you know, they never used to you never used to have these problems. It used to just work. Yeah. And now it yeah. doesn't. Brixo Studios, I always have a bad connection in the Lego stores. The employees always has to look up my account to use points. Yeah. It's cut the craggle, yeah, it's been designed to put obstacles in the way of the customers demur using vip points for money offsets imperial officer tills what are tills <laughs> yeah those those things we used to use in shops when we could go to shops when you could go to shops and you could actually touch things <laughs> uh, what is that yeah cut the craggle they only have points on the 24 hours after dispatch nowadays yeah, I'll, f I'll phone them up tomorrow because yeah. I doubt it's going to be dispatched. It's definitely not going to be dispatched tomorrow anyway. No hope of that. Okay. And Rickso Studios are saying solo VA point points get added when the set is shipped, not when you order it. You better be right. <laughs> better and be right. But chop. Making it as user unfriendly is in the corporation's best interest. Yeah. Well, when we put yeah, our hat on, that is a good point, but shop. I tell you, mate, that is a very good point. Hit the nail right on the head. There. Is a till a cash register? Yeah. Maybe it's just a, a, a language thing. Uh oh, there we go. Uh, if we just go, I think I saw something else a bit earlier in the chat. Uh, do, 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 no. Oh, Rogue Runner, yeah. The BrickLink Brick Link update is in beta. You can have an option to use it if you want. Okay, that's good. Because I tell you what, I was just about to say, it would be pretty bad form to roll something out and not actually pilot it. I tell you what is expensive, these parts. I was thinking about getting these for my um, new logo. So where's my prototype gone? Where's my prototype? Poor water. Oh, there it is. There's my prototype there. And I was thinking, I actually, instead of using six one by twos, I just use two of those. But as it turns out, these are actually quite expensive. They're like something like 25p each, these are. Oh, really? Yeah. And trying to get hold of someone that's got, say, 10 of them is nigh on impossible. So I've gone for three, two, or fours instead. Uh, for production, Craggle, I just pre ordered the Razor Crest and was concerned by the double VIP points weren't showing. And Cut the Craggle, I think, might be trying to wind somebody up. What is everyone's favorite cheese? <laughs> is, is that a Welsh thing, Cut the Craggle? Because it, it, pretty much all of the streams, you always ask everyone what's their favorite cheese. Pretty most. <laughs> uh, dark blue, grey cheese, slope, lol. <laughs> yeah, I tell you what, there's your default answer, cheesy slopes. Hey, Sly O'Connor. Hello, mate. How you doing? Yeah, I Actually, I tell you what, right? You've got we've got Cut the Craggle from Wales. We've got uh, Sy O'Connor from Ireland. Um, guys, we got any Lego YouTubers from Scotland at all? I, I, I can't even recall some of the Scottish ones. I've got uh, one person on my one who's uh, uh, Scottish. Scottish Bricks, I think his name is. Um, he's quite. He's quite good. I think his name okay. Scottish Bricks. Can't remember. Yeah. Uh, but his is definitely not um, a kid-friendly channel. Uh, okay. But he, but he does Lego? Yeah, he does Lego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, yeah, he's just made his just not, you know, he's... Uh, I think his point is he didn't want to be censored. And, well, he's Scottish. So he's made a point of that. <laughs> so he's just... Uh, so that's just the way he does it. So, yeah, he's, he's pretty good. He's pretty good. 
Let's check him out. He's quite he's quite funny. He's quite funny how he does things. Um, sometimes, obviously, um, a bit hard to understand sometimes because his Scottish accent does kind of take over sometimes. But okay. when he really gets going, bless him. But I've lost my sticker sheet. Where the hell have I put it? Ah, sod it. Let's not have the stickers yet. Let's, let's not do that. Right, I'm only going to do the one. You can probably put the stickers on last. Yeah, Always. I'm going to leave the stickers. Uh, Imperial. They're really not stickers. Hey, should, yeah, have I've, you got the sticker sheet there or have you lost them? I've, I've lost it. I did have Oh, there it is. It's stuck to the bottom of the book. Show us the uh, sticker sheet because I thought they were lovely. It's on a lovely, shiny. Uh, this, this sounds like something deep and meaningful. Cut the Craggles coming up with. Yeah, look at them. They are good stickers, mate. The proper foil ones they are. Yeah, that's really good. So Carl Craig was saying there's three important questions you need to really know to, to, to ask to really know somebody. One of them is what is your favorite cheese? This is getting very philosophical now, Carl Craig. Yeah. This is what is your favorite dinosaur? Okay. I'm sort of thinking a, a French uh, kind of Indiana Jones person. I'm waiting for it. I'm dreading what the third one's going to be. Yeah, yeah, no, no. Incoming, folks. Incoming. Yeah. Don't forget, this is a this is a family orientated uh, channel. Cut the craggle. And number three he says, "What is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow?" <laughs> <laughs> of course. Of course. Of course. Naturally. Of course. <laughs> so, um, and do you have those uh, those answers? Right, okay, right. My favourite cheese is all of them. My favourite dinosaur is a scaly one and the velocity of a bird is... <laughs> that is a good answer, Sarah. <laughs> My favourite dinosaur is a scaly one. I don't know. I, 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 yeah, no, I've only watched uh, Jurassic Park, so that's my knowledge on dinosaurs and that I bought the Lego set. So a wind velocity of an on swallow... I don't know. This is Siri. I ain't got a clue. What is an unladen swallow anyway? It's not like you can mount a swallow. I don't know. Tell you what, shall we ask Echo? Let's see what it says. Hang on. Echo? <laughs> I can't. I can't really. I'll ask Craggle to elaborate further first. What is. Hang on. Uh... Oh, shut up. <laughs> Echo? <laughs> Shut up, Echo. <laughs> what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? I know what she's going to say. Apparently, it depends if it's an African or a South African swallow. <laughs> that is the answer. That's the answer it gave me. It's not. It's not helpful. Oh, it's from Monty Python. I did think that did sound a bit bloody. It sounded very familiar, but Monty Python. Oh, yeah, she's wide awake. Who's that? Your name? Yeah, she's wide awake. She's she's supposed she's in bed, but I could just hear her in there going. Bah, 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 bah. So sh shut up! God damn it! Go to bed. Yeah, Brick Sage just asked the same question. It's came up with the same answer. The patch shop saying uh, question three is from Monty Python. Yeah. Uh, well, I tell you what, if you want to see something completely different, yeah, watch watch this stream. <laughs> oh yeah, get, yeah, you definitely get something different. I uh, I I did recognise I did recognise where it came from, but I just could not remember for the life of it what the hell he was actually talking about. And then I suddenly realised it's from a film. Of course, it would be. Uh, Imperial officer, my important question to ask, what is your favorite Lego theme? What is your favorite video game? And Pepsi or Cola? Oh. Favorite video game, favorite video game, favorite video game. God, I haven't played a video game in years, but I don't know. Resident Evil, I used to like playing that. That was a good game. Good game. Star Wars games, though, they were always quite good, but X Wing versus TIE Fight was probably my favorite ever game. That's a good game. Oh, I did like um, Battlefront 1. Was that the one with the snow speeders and stuff like that? Battlefront 2. 
Battle Frontier, yeah, but the original ones from the Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, original. Uh, you have uh, Rogue Squadron. Rogue Squadron, uh, that's it. I thought yeah. that was a good game. Did you like that? Yeah, that was good. That was a really good game. That was a flagship game as well, that was. Really good. Absolutely really yeah, good. That was back in the days when LucasArts actually made their own games, wasn't it? Yep, all the way up to The Force Awakens 2. That was their last game as LucasArts. That day for us all. Yeah, I think we're getting. I think really, it was uh, quite good games actually. They did. Um, oh, what was it called? A game with D. It almost sounded like Ninjago, but Dorano or something. Like that. Can't remember what that one is. I don't know, I don't no, know that one. <laughs> they had some great games out there. Okay, what is your favourite Lego theme then? Um, who was asking that question? It's disappeared. Uh, oh, Imperial Officer. So, Imperial Officer. What, what is your favourite Lego theme? Well, we, I think we all know Titanium is one, which is Ninjago. Yeah, definitely. I think that's quite an easy one. What's yours then, Greg? Oh, mine is Star Wars, but I, I, I think Ninjago is a... My, I put it this way. Favourite licence theme. Let's put it that way. Favourite licence theme, uh, Star Wars. Favourite unlicensed theme, Ninjago. Matt, how about yourself? Um, I don't. I don't particularly have a, a favorite theme. It's more just like you see things that you like in different flavors and like them. Um, That's a pretty looking axe. Yeah. No, I don't think. Don't think no. I can say no. a specific theme. No. No. Fair enough. Fair enough. Fair enough. See, I'm trying to get the questions for you guys. I'm trying to get answers out of these secretive people. I am very pretty. Favorite Lego game? Oh. Yeah, favorite Lego game. What's what's your favorite Lego games then, you guys? Uh, uh, not Lego games. What's, what's your favorite video game? Lego game. Favorite video game. Probably a toss up between uh, old school Super Mario Three and Super Mario World. Oh, some classics. Yeah. How about you, Brick Studio? I like Grand Theft Auto. But... Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Titanium. Well, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get the answers for you guys. I'm gonna get the answers. <laughs> Let's see. I think probably, at least right now, is a uh, game called Garfield's Nightmare. Played it a lot as a kid, and I recently went back to playing it again. I can't. What, what is that? Garfield what? Garfield's Nightmare. Garfield's Nightmare. I can't say I've yeah. heard of that one. He gets he eats too much and gets trapped in a dream, and he has to go through these levels and defeat bosses. <laughs> So it is Garfield the cat, like Jim Davis. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Okay. Okay. Um, and then Coke or Pepsi? Coke or Pepsi? Coca-Cola. Any day. Full fat Coke. <laughs> Full fat yeah, Coke, probably, no. Probably Pepsi. It's quite sweet. Pepsi? That's more like Pepsi. Nah, Pepsi Max for me, all the way. <laughs> Oh, uh, I like drank too much Coke. Coke Zero, that's not bad. Oh, uh, nah. <laughs> uh, nah. <laughs> you can't say that. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like proper disgust in your... Uh, <laughs> Uh, well, uh, to be honest, actually, my, my lately my one's not neither been Pepsi Max or Coca Cola. It's actually called Green Cola. It's oh my god! I think it's only right. I've only ever seen it in Tesco's. But oh my god, it's delicious. So it's, it's got no sugar in it. It's made with no aspartame or anything else like that. But it's oh man, it's just made with like I can't remember what sweetener it's using in it. But oh man, it's lush. There you go. I hope that's helped everyone. Hot Chop saying he likes twenty. Uh, he, he likes uh, ginger ale. Ginger ale. Mm. I think that's a good shout. That is a good shout. No soda from Butt Chop. Okay, I did see another question. I will get all these questions answered for you. So, but uh, Brett Spill, my free, uh, my free fave asked, how much Lego have you got? Uh, what is your security code? <laughs> <laughs> and what what time do you know you go out? LMAO. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> there we go. I'll be on the other one. I don't think I can I can't answer any one of those. <laughs> yeah, sorry. That was not confused. Yeah. All right, I got uh, answers for all three. Not enough. Seven 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 nine. And never. <laughs> 
Uh, Embrix is in the house. Hello, Embrix. Hey, Embrix. Embrix. Uh, Sly O'Connor, Greg. Sly uh, O'Connor, are you not tired? I saw you on Jang Brick stream last night. I think yeah, you mean this morning hey. for us. Hey. Oh, I've just dropped one. A brick, that is, by the way. Um, let me just pull this up here. Hey, uh, Sly. I was saying a little bit earlier on about Jang. He called out a question that I had. Did you hear that? Okay, I was like, I think I'm sure it was about half two or three o'clock this morning, mate. And I guess you was watching it as well. But it was kind of crazy, wasn't it? I was like, it was nine, literally, guys, it was like literally just under a thousand people in the stream. And I thought, oh, I'm just going to mention it because we were all talking about it in last night's stream as well, uh, the ATAT. And I, and I was just so chuffed. It's like one of those things I've always wanted. Uh, for Jane to sort of, I don't know, just say London Bridge Bricks. It was kind of like, I know I'm probably putting him on a pedestal and stuff like that, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's Jane Bricks, for God's sake. So, uh, yeah, it just made my night, that did. As well as having a fantastic stream, and it was a really good stream last night. Um, so, yeah, again, guys, uh, you guys and girls that are out there, you, you, you blow me away, you really do. Um, but, yeah, what did you think of it, uh, Si? I thought it was quite a good little stream that Jane did last night, and Oh, I say little, I mean, God, the, the, the people are throwing money at him before he's even, you know, opened his uh, his laptop open. It's crazy. But it's, it's interesting, you know. I, I wonder what you think about this, Darren. Um, but with Jang now sort of doing news stuff, so as soon as news comes out, he's doing a live stream. Um, mm. That's going to affect quite a lot of different um, Lego peeps out there that have, almost, that have always done that. Yeah, I think I don't I don't think it will, to be fair, because, I mean, he's only just really started doing it. I mean, at the end of the day, he has got, what, two million subscribers or whatever he's got. But I mean, I, I think people go to I mean, you go to MR Productions to find out about Star Wars stuff or. Yeah, you know, I think people are quite dedicated to their subscribers. And I think also other people are going to keep going to each other's live streams to hear different things because like me and you could say oh no the 8080 looks terrible but then m and r production says that was pretty good and then you know, i think he i think he's his thing on it is that it's, it's not bad and i, I think yeah. and the thing is though the reason i like listening to m and r productions and i'm not saying he's the, the best guy in the world or anything like that and everyone's got their opinion but mm. what i will say right because i'm a star wars fan i'll listen to what uh Brian has to say because he collects a lot of star wars stuff yeah oh yeah yeah definitely um there's no shadow doubt that he he's definitely up there with his uh star wars collection he's definitely dwarfs anyone that i know and definitely dwarfs me of what i've got i mean i claim i've got a lot of lego sets but my god i just look in the background of his what he's got in his background man i wish i had that yeah god i mean my problem is i probably might have had the set once upon a time in my life but i've just had to sell uh, you know i buy sets and sell them and I keep the ones I like. Is that what you do? You, sort of, you do generally just buy them, and then if you build them, you think, "No, nah, I don't like that." You'll sell it. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's what I've been doing more and more recently. Because obviously, like doing the doing the Lego channel, as you very well know, great yourself, it is expensive, and you know you want to get some nice sets to show people, and you know people want to see the nice new sets as well, um, and they want to see how it's built and what your thoughts are of the set, and. Yeah, eventually it does get expensive after a while, and I've just decided. Well, if I say on the even on my own reviews, if I don't like it, it's not going to hang around on my channel for too long. It's yeah, not even hanging around on my like shelf. One, you kind of tell it as it is from the heart, because um, yeah. you wear your heart on the sleeve. So I know that I'm going to get a real honest review from you, um, and also as well, you know, you, you're kind of down to earth as well. So that that's kind of that's what I like about your channel. Darren, you, you just sort of say it as it is. Do you know what I mean? And the, the problem is that I always find is obviously for me as like a hardcore Star Wars fan, and I will class myself that. I mean, I do, I, you know, I've been watching it for a long time. I've collected a lot of the books. Is obviously when I get a Star Wars set that come in and you think, oh, it's going to be amazing. You actually build it and you think, actually, this is not that good. It does break my heart to really put it up on my channel to say some horrible things about a Star Wars set because I, I want to love it. But the yeah, you know, I can't. I don't want to lie to people because obviously you got someone like Jan Bricks who would go through it all, but he's not telling you if the set's any good. He's just saying this is how the build is and it's a really good build and all that kind of stuff. He's don't get me wrong, he's pretty in depth, but and he is a Star Wars fan. You can't deny him on that. I, no, I just want to just yeah. You know, 
but I just want to be honest with you guys from a Star Wars fan and a Lego fan at that, you know, this is what I think of the set. And I hope that people find it helpful. And it's the same as yours with your intros that you do. Obviously, you give your little thoughts on the sets as well at the beginning of it. And it just gives people. Yeah, I, well, that's the thing. See, for reviews, I do want to do reviews. But because I'm kind of learning the ropes a little bit at the moment when it comes to the video editing, I'm sort of doing the odd overview video. So like, I've got the, um, I've got this set. So I, I built this a couple of weeks ago with you guys. There we go, the mini. It's a fantastic yeah. little set. Well, what I'm going to do, I'll, um, I'm just bringing the video together. Hopefully, I'll get it out tomorrow. And but I'm going to do a little intro to it, just to sort mm. of what I think of it, just to give it that little bit more perspective. And then boom, I'll just, I'll just do the, the, the build on it. So if you only want to know what my thoughts are, watch the first few minutes. And if you want to know what it's like to build, then just kind of watch it. You know, it's all that yeah. thing. Yeah. I mean, so, I mean, I'm doing virtually the same. Well, not the virtually the same, but I've got a, my review of the Mustang that I built on your channel a little while ago. Um, I thought I'd better review that one, but that's I, a nice. Did you, did you think, what was your thoughts on that build? Like, you don't have to sort of say everything, but do you do you, what I like about doing the big cars is that it was a real proper build. You feel like you've built something solid in your hands. It's solid, absolutely solid. I mean, you drop it on your toes, you're gonna know about it. <laughs> Definitely. It's it's not gonna it's it's not gonna break particularly difficult. I, I, the, well, when you you see on my uh, on my review, there is a few bits and bobs that I am disappointed but disappointed by it. But that's because I'm a I'm an engineer, and obviously I know I know inside and out these cars from mm -hmm. where like say other people might just not pay attention to it and i think i already brought it up when i was doing the stream with you i think i already brought it up on there it's um you know for one for one little bit of it it's the engine it's supposed to have a v8 engine inside it but they put uh, a v4 engine in it which i thought was a very disappointing thing but yeah that is a bit of a uh yeah i know i know it's difficult for the for the scale that they're building it at yeah, but, I mean, it's like, yeah it's space consideration it, more than anything yeah but I, it's just it's just yeah you know, I, I just think maybe if you just sat down for five more minutes you might have just worked it out they might have worked it out but yeah but that, that's you know i'm just looking at it from the engineering side of things not really looking at it from a lego designer's point of view hey we got a uh, lego creator in the house welcome lego creator good to see you here mate welcome along hello there welcome hello. to the family um I've got to ask you, Titanium, can you show us a few bits and pieces of the box, mate? They look like really cool cargo sets. Oh, yeah, I got them. Oh, look the at that. chain cycle here. What do you reckon of that, butt chop? Yeah. So, got all the ghost flames. It was used by a ghost called Wraith, who liked to use the uh, chain as a weapon. Pretty nice set overall. I want to know what seasons all this slot's coming from as well, mate. That's season five. <laughs> this is uh, season eight. It was a uh, Mr. E's bike. Oh, I'm liking that. Good, really nice colors on that titanium. Yeah. Yeah, this bike is pretty cool. It uh, also came with this bike, same set. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of a good versus evil type set. Oh, yeah. the, the Sorry, that that is a Zane bike, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I say, uh, what, do you know one thing I do like about Ninjago? You can certainly tell who who's bit of hardware is who's just by the coloration of it all, which I always think is pretty good, you know. Robin Hall is in the house. Hey, Robin Hall. How you doing, my friend? And Robin Hall was in the house last night at about half past one, I think he was. <laughs> yeah, he was, yeah. We had a few late, late people come in last night. Gar Garlegay was quite late as well, were not she? I was like, oh. <laughs> She's telling us to go to bed. They're telling us to go to bed. What else you got there, Titanium? All right, so we have the Chondrite Crusher, Anachondrite Crusher, and the Anachondrite Copter, both in Season 4. Oh, they look pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, this set was the first set to have a Skylar minifig, who is uh, one of my favorite characters. Oh, who's Skylar? I'm not coming across to him yet. Oh, Robin Hall's off. See you later, Robin. I'm off again. Yeah, Have fun. Uh, nice to see you, Robin, mate. Take care. Captain Craggle, we need a Stabolbus pod racer set now. We do. 
that, that, that is uh, when I've done the review on that one, I thought that, that was a big missed opportunity there for Lego. What was that? Sir Bulba's pod racer to come with Anakin Skywalker's all sold separately uh, alongside Anakin's um, set, but there's been no mention of a Sir Bulba pod racer at all. Well, what's this special figure you got here? Uh, this is uh, the first version of Skylar. She is the master point. of Amber, which is the power of absorption. Whoa, oh, he's, he's he an Injago? Is or is he like a ninja? Uh, like, she. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I didn't quite catch what you said her name was. I thought it was someone. She's, uh, big thing. She's, I thought you were going to say the yellow really power ranger. Ninja. She's not really a ninja. <laughs> she's uh, she's more just an ally of the ninja. She was around first in season four, made some brief appearances in seasons five, six, and seven, and then had more of a major role in season nine. And her last appearance was a brief cameo at season 10. Nice. Greg, you're being told off. They're saying it's it's a she, butt chop, and uh, Nick Amore saying it's a she. Yeah, no, I, I, I just, because I didn't quite catch the name, and then I saw the eyes on the fish, and I thought, yeah. and they're very yeah. feminine eyes. Don't, don't worry, Greg, I was thinking exactly the same. Is that he or she? Um, um, my first thought was a yellow power angel. <laughs> No, but she's uh, a great character. She's kind of um, Kai's love interest, I guess. So she's not a natural so, ninja then. So she's not actually part of the, no. uh, the main thing then. No, but she's like basically the seventh ninja. Oh, I mean, she's as close to the seventh ninja as we're gonna get at this point. TEK Productions are saying, okay, guys, what three mini figures do you want to see that haven't been made yet? Oh, good question. Mm. Any themes, keep it broad. Any, so across all themes, eh? Across um, everywhere. God, what would I go for? What would I go for? Brick, gong, uh, Brick Broadcaster says a chrome gonk joid. <laughs> Oh, that is a really good question, actually. What would I like to see? Uh, oh, I know. A, a decent set of Mario figures. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a good shout, Matt. See, that's why, everybody, that's why Matt is an elder. <laughs> Great answers like that. <laughs> you know that's going to be your nickname now, Matt, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Matt the wise. <laughs> I have a question you've got, got butt chop. Uh, that is DJ 52's girlfriend. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is funny. Love it. <laughs> Rose Runners, there's Tech Productions, Tech Projector, the Mother Towsing from. Oh, Mother Towsing. Good, good shout. Part. That's a good shout. Yes, that is a good shout. Yeah, man. I'm liking that. That's good going, man. For me, I, I think if let you know, if you can actually do a like a like they've done with the bounty hunter set, the battle pack bounty hunter set that they've done, I don't know why they just don't do Domino Squad bounty uh, battle pack. Just putting it out there. What's um, um, Domino Squad? Domino Squad is probably what a lot of people remember as just Echoes and Fives, uh, but you yeah. still had Hard Case and um, oh god, I can't remember was, them all. There was a uh, Hard Case cut up and i think that's the it, other um, one was droid bait yeah that's it but uh, the five, was... yeah yeah he was definitely joy bait because i think it's the first one that died but... yeah. i tell you what right if you're going to go down that road then if you're going to go down that route i would go for um ah oh, what's that that group called the, the, the defects oh the um oh god how the hell can i not remember i only watched them this morning yeah that's what i mean they're from this season bad batch Bad bad yeah, yeah. Bad I've got Griff. You know the um, the resistance uh, guy. He's uh, he's got a helmet that's really similar to them. But when they get that right, when they do those sort of uh, classic uh, stormtrooper helmets, and they kind of put a bit of graffiti on them, I think that looks fantastic. Um. What else have we been saying? I want to know what butt shop, butt shop. If you could have uh, an Injago figure or something like that, what, what would one of your favourites be? 
actually I've been writing a post that all about. Um, ooh, very good. So um, Brick Hives just tagged me in a in a on, the, on the Instagram to say that his uh, order is on its way. Brickso just sent over. Uh, uh, apparently, they're now doing boxes for the helmets, little display boxes for them. Would recommend them for your helmets. Lego or third party? I don't know. He's just sent a picture over. Yeah, because well, um, there's been a lot of like third party stuff for like you can get cases for like the Batmobile and yeah, pretty much everything big. Uh, I've got a friend that I'll fabricate me one anyway if I want it like that. So. Oh, I don't, don't buy them. Not many of mine really stay on the shelves long enough to really be there weren't any kind of cases like that. Anyone that stays up there is a slave one, which I probably could actually get him to make one for me. Yeah, but they're expensive, man. No, yeah. no, I get, I, I get it made. I get it made. My mate that is down the road here fabricate one for me. Well, um, how much would he charge? Um. Probably for him, I would have to service his car and change his cam belt, knowing him, because he hates me. Um, I say, uh, the ca changing the cam belt, mate, can be a bit tricky. Uh, did you, did yeah. you say that was your friend? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Was not a good right? friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he hates me. <laughs> Matt, Matt, if you ever do any more paintings for me, mate, they'll never ask me to change your cam belt. I'll be happy to take you for a drink, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I keep I keep offering to go down to the pub. I God, where I live, I've got about seven pubs around his garage, but well, around his workshop, so we say. Well, actually, quite quite around there at the moment, then. Uh yeah, he's dead, absolutely dead. So he will definitely charge me now. Oh, no yeah, shadow he, Does he do MOTs? No, no, he he actually um um he works for a bearing company who yeah you know, they they make all the bearings and all that kind of stuff so he's got all the fabrication equipment to make that make that kind of stuff he, he's got like big contracts with boeing and all that kind of stuff so yeah he's, he's only a small little bit he's only a small little company he's just one of the offshoots of them and uh yeah he's just go he's just, i just go down there go to his workshop and just sit in there sometimes and have a cup of tea after work all right. yeah uh, but nine times out of ten, he could make me be his slave, and I have to walk over to the pub and go grab him a pint sometimes. That's what it's all about. Yeah, yeah, but he yeah, never I'm gives sure. me the money back. I'm sure while you're there, you don't grab yourself one. <laughs> no, I never do that. I don't drink. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, guys, this um, this set has got a lot of big plates in it. Yeah, it does. But Mostly really, for the wind. But... Uh, look, check these out. Like, you've got these here. I mean, they're huge. Yeah. Oh, that's good news, Rogue uh, Apparently, they've just announced the sequel to Jedi Fallen Order 2 game coming in 2022. Fallen Order. Oh, that was um, that was a game I actually bought for the PC, but never ever actually played it. Right, Greg, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. It's really good. Fallen Order. That was um, like a, a... Was that a turn-based game or something? No, 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 it's, it's a, it's, it's just your, it's just your normal, uh, it's just a normal, uh, uh, what, I can't remember what they call it, uh, uh, third person, third, per, third, per, third person lightsaber game, basically. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, it's, it's really, it's very much like a, like Uncharted meets Dark Souls kind of things, yeah. you know, it's, 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 some, some levels are just stupidly difficult, um, yeah, it's great fun, it's really great fun. I would I, I highly recommend it. I mean, I, I yeah. If you want to see someone go mad, you like there's so many streamers out there that played that game and they just lose their top. And I was one of them. I had to take it down because I just kind of lost it at the end of it. And I was just like, this is just embarrassing to actually keep it up. And then I started watching other people doing. It. I was like, maybe I could actually left my one up, but. Yeah, there was actual there was actually certain words in there that I just could not oh. leave up there. <laughs> yeah, um, said it's like Tomb Raider for Star Wars. Oh, that'd be quite cool. It is. It's basically like that, apart from about raiding tombs. 
well, I suppose I actually do. Um, no, it's good. It's definitely, yeah, there's a lot of climbing, jumping, wall sliding, jump. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I and also you get... think about what you're doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big time, big time. And it's, it's, um, it's a game, just because you've got a lightsaber, you think you can take on a take on a wave of stormtroopers it doesn't work like that it's you have to really think about how you're going to attack them um yeah it's it's really good absolutely really good because you can't just stand you can't stand you can't stand there and block and you can't just keep going up there and slashing them down because you've got a certain amount of like energy um to try and hit them with so you really got to think about how you're going to take them down i'm not giving away any spoilers about today's um Clone Wars cartoon, but there was a very similar, and I'm not even going to say who who was in it because I don't want to, like I say, I don't want to give any spoilers away. But there was a scene today in that that was very reminiscent of Darth Vader's walk through the corridor from Rogue One. Oh God, yeah. And oh I was, yeah. I was literally cheering that character on whilst whilst they were doing that. Oh, that was so that that, that whole episode. Crabble, what I should we said it? We, yeah. See that there, folks? That's goosebumps. That is because the Clone Wars cartoon is just out of this world. Right, good. Craggle, I'm going to say the same to you as what we said to um, uh, Brixo earlier on. Just watch the last three episodes, for God's sake. It doesn't matter. It just is, watch it, them. It doesn't matter. Honestly, I, 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 I completely. <laughs> bloody, <laughs> the bloody <laughs> English are spoiling everything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry, mate. It's in our blood. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear yeah no just just watch the last three episodes as long as you watch episode three yeah this is for anyone out in the stream that hasn't seen the clone wars yet watch the last three episodes for as long as you watch episode three it doesn't matter mm. it's just runs at exactly parallel alongside that so I just watch those. the soundtrack to it because i have to say the um i love one thing i love about the 80s um, is the synthesizer sounds that came out of it. Mm, and yeah. All the way through it, for the first 10 minutes, it was really brooding. Oh, also. yes. Oh, yeah. It was, you could really tell something. Sorry, Crackle, but something was in the air. You could really tell. But Rogue Runner says you can't just skip to the end. It does matter. It, it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. Doesn't, if you've watched doesn't. the first three movies, then you can watch the last three episodes of this yeah. card too. Everything else is just a build up to it. Yeah. But I mean, the way I see it is, it's just you're looking for, if you watched episode three, so you've seen one side of the point of view. Now you're watching this part, it's another side of the point of view. The other parts are just kind of like filler. That's the way I see them as. I think that's the way you just got to treat the Clone Wars. But the last three episodes, one, it's basically the last four episodes are like mini movies, quite literally. Oh, they are. Like, like it, the visual effects are just wow. Like Darth, Darth Maul's eyes are incredible. Oh god, the whole the whole thing just the, to, down to the sound quality, the the art animations, everything is just absolutely amazing. Yeah, do you know what? I, so I had about three and a half four hours of sleep last night, and and then I I got up this morning and it was just like I got to see this cartoon. I got to see it. Well, you know what the sad thing was last night after the stream ended i actually went on like uh went on my phone to have a look if it was actually upload up, up uploaded onto my onto the tv but it wasn't done that time obviously i would have stayed up last night to watch it yeah but i think i've watched <laughs> it about four times this morning cafe <laughs> <laughs> con welcome back welcome she back said she someone who reads books backwards <laughs> 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 I, I've got an excuse because I can watch it, but uh, you know, obviously, I've seen all the Clone Wars. So, but it's just it's just these last four episodes. Um, you can just watch them. They're, they're basically what, what I, I will honestly say, hand on heart, right? That these last three, four episodes, right? Because it, it will be it's a four part. Are is the best animation I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. Because even if you watch the first, like the first four episodes, you know, where you've got the Bad Batch and then you've got Ahsoka's thing and all that kind of stuff, the animation between those two and then you jump into these last four are so different. It's completely different. Is it? I've not really studied it that, that yeah. close. Honestly, you watch the first four, the first four that they pumped out, or the first five, whatever it was, and then you jump into the into the next ones. This it, it's completely different. It's almost like it's it's done by a different studio. It's so different. 
it's just it's like the way they w- walk and how they fight and all that, it's just smoother and you know the it, and the background's all smoothed out nicely and the sound effects it's just different because I, I i only really noticed that this morning to be honest yeah really? yeah i had enough time to really sit down and kind of like comb through it all <laughs> quite <laughs> literally <laughs> yeah yeah but no they're they're, they're really good but I'm not ruining anything else. I'm not going to ruin it. Uh, I've been watching the show now since 2008. I'm happy with with the the last arc. Yeah, the last arc is definitely better. Who, who's saying that? Uh, that was Rogue Runner. Oh, uh, okay. Rogue yeah, Rogue Runner. Do you, do you, what, he doesn't agree with us, though, does he? That we should be... Um, you can skip to the last three episodes. Um, uh, he actually say says... If you, not- I completely respect what you what you reckon about that. It's absolutely cool. I, I, I do agree what Rogue Runner says. If you skip to the to the, uh, skip the seasons, you won't care about care for the characters so much. But the thing is, though, you pretty much already know who the characters are. There's only two that you ain't really going to know, and that's Ahsoka and Rex, because you know what happens at the end of it. You know what's going to happen. Yeah, you know. Uh, but what I like about this as well is that it completely. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm not going to say that because that is a giveaway. Um, but yeah, let's say let's say um, it explains a little bit more. The whole thing explains a lot more about all the '66 and how that. Yeah. Came but I mean, you you still you're still kind of standing there, even if you haven't watched the last couple of episodes. The way I see it is like the way, especially this episode was. It was focusing on one very particular thing, and it's almost like they were focusing on it, focus on it for one very particular reason. Mm. And I think even if you haven't seen it, you're still kind of be seeing, and sitting there going, oh, my God, is this? No, can't be. Uh, I, I yeah. think no matter what, you're still going to get that chill. Whether you care about the characters or not, you're still going to get that chill. And that's that, you know. But I think you're going to find it a very hard time on the internet not having that spoiled for you now, I'm afraid. So Especially what's better, Clone Wars or Mandalorian? Oh, the new season of the Clone Wars is... I would I say, Clone yeah, Clone I, I, I would say Clone Wars is yeah, it just, just involves too many more characters, like but really in depth, in depth. Uh, I, I just find the tight that the 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 story is just a lot tighter, and I think it does make it easier for the Clone Wars because they've got something that they can run off. Where the Mandalorian's kind of its own kind of like entity, this has got to physically stick alongside Episode Three, so they have to really make the story nice and tight. And I love the attention to detail. You know, it's like, oh, this is happening alongside that. Oh, that's happening alongside that. You know, it's just, it's great. I just, I just love it. Absolutely, I tip my hat to Dave Filoni. He's, he's brilliant. And he does wear a big hat as well, to be fair. Yeah, I give him kisses next time I see him, if I ever see him. Yeah, he is uh, George Lucas incarnate. Uh, okay, Capcom is saying uh, like the difference between oh, it's just jumped uh, between Teen Titans and Teen Titans Go. One's teenagers in an animated film. I haven't got a clue to be honest. Yeah, don't know that one. I'm afraid. I think one's just kids in an animated show. That's about as much as I know about Teen Titans Go. Never really got yeah. into it. What's your thoughts on it, uh, Cafe Con? Uh, there was the pop. Uh, quick minutes. Uh, but I can't find the link. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Bit of gas coming up. Clone Wars fans, uh, I highly recommend going and listening to the uh, Clone Wars fans. I highly recommend going and listening to the podcast on Michael MGF's channel, where he speaks to. Yeah, yeah, I've seen, I've seen that one. It's, uh, I think, also uh, uh, Star Wars Fury actually had her on as well. Ashley, uh, who plays the voice of Ahsoka. I quite like Star Wars Theory. Do you watch that? Yeah, I watch that. Yeah, yeah. No, I do quite like that. He's, oh, he's, I, I think he's uh, probably one of the biggest Star Wars fans that has ever existed, I think. Was he the one that made the sort of film and there was initially some issue? With- Vader, yes. Yeah, Disney yeah. actually tried shutting him down and then they decided to monetize it, which I thought was really horrible. 
because oh. they, yeah they um he used like two bars out of one piece of music or something like yeah really. despite they gave him authorizations to actually make the sh uh, make the film but and said that we don't want it just like monetize it um have they stopped talking about the Clone Wars yet? <laughs> it's safe. Don't worry about it, Craggle. You can come in. Uh, come Brandon from Brick Home. Yeah, we won't. It's bloody good and you're going to love it. Brandon from Brick Hive is here. Hello. Hey. There. Hi. Brick Hive, how you doing, mate? Good to see you, bro. I just saw your um, your message on Instagram, mate. Glad it's on its way to you. I haven't got my one yet, but it's no. got five people, so yeah. <clears throat> um cafe con's actually trying to uh the animation was very uh really different and the overall vibes is dark and other oh, eyes cafe con's sucking us back in <laughs> uh oh brick studio's gone brick studios uh is uh good night everyone gonna have some dinner now all right brick studio see you later yeah, studio. uh hey brick hi hi cc yeah guys why we got um brandon in the uh, in the stream just so you know so on monday obviously london bridge bits we're going to be doing a, a live stream and uh, darren's going to be here and i think matt you know, matt's going to be here as well and maybe even bricks o bricks um but of course when we finished our uh kind of uk may the 4th uh sports kind of celebrational uh program uh, don't forget later on in the day uh, you can pop over to brick Hive, who's going to be doing a may the fourth one as well uh, and of course being in a different time zone we don't clash so that's pretty cool actually so uh, i'm loving that but yeah do, uh, do check out brick hives um, if you're new to london bridge bricks obviously give us a sub if you haven't heard of brick hive do check him out as well along with everybody else that you've got that we've got on the panel tonight anyway how are you doing brick hive you having a good day my friend um how was your experience of uh, buying the aving was it as uh, uh, traumatic and stressful as it was for us as well mate <laughs> oh, T T K just said, "Craggle, spoiler: the Jedi are dumb, and Palpatine's the Emperor." <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is something I do need to talk to you about with that. Um, something that came up in that episode, mate. Um, but I was a bit unsure of. But I'll talk to you about that offline. Just remember, just yeah. remember the end. Yeah, no worries, no worries. Uh, what else are other people saying? Uh, high board top feature, Bratz builds, and that. Uh, cut the crow, maybe, maybe something Star Wars. Right, what is that? So, right, cut the crow says, uh, I should work on a new video, but I don't know what to do. There you go. Anyone throw some ideas out for cut the craggle for his next video? Uh, what about a build, cut the craggle? Give us a review or something like that how you hate people who spoil shows you haven't seen yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do with my experience of watching <laughs> bridge bricks uh i uh brick hive says i ended up using my phone to order it oh, God. Yeah. Oh, um, uh, cafe con the site doesn't work for me Uh, Cut the crackle. Yeah, I was going to make a, a do a video about a Lego Star Wars movie pitch video. Uh, I was going to make it, but never did. But I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brick Hive. About five minutes to midnight. The website was uh, bonkers. Yeah, tell me about it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. It completely we were... happened to us as well. It was crazy. Hmm. Where's my mouse? Oh, there it is. Uh, I just uh, Rogue Runner. I've just started a series on collecting Clone Wars figures and sets. Maybe you could do some uh, other Lego ser series. There you go. Cut the craggle. There's a few ideas there for you. Um, I've been uh, making speed bills. I'm always on my phone from Cafe Con. Love the way Greg um, at uh, London Bridge Bricks always forgets to maintain uh, hits number one fan. LOL. Thanks, Greg. I don't know what I went. He keeps jumping. He keeps, keeps jumping around. Hang on a second. He's number one fan. Who's my number one fan, Greg? Is well, that his? His back. 
Is Sands back? I don't know. I haven't seen him. I don't know. Sands got a lot of number one fans. They will be, uh, Brick Hive says, they will be shipping a lot of uh, A-Wings. Yeah, a hell of a lot. I feel sorry for the poor couriers. Those gigantic boxes being put in the back of their van. Oh, my God. Because I, I know there's a, there's a woman down, right down the stairs from me. She's a massive Lego collector, she is. I can imagine that they're, they're going to be delivering bo both of them to us. Maybe I might have to try and nick her one as well. Keep one in the box. Don't, I didn't say that. Ah, yeah, I like that one. Had, um, one of the Korea people turn up and they they knocked on the door and they're very apologetic. It's sort of like, oh, I think whatever's in here is broken because you hear all these pieces rattling around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be like that. <laughs> yeah, that's plastic. That is just like. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's meant to be like that. It's Lego. <laughs> <laughs> you just saw all of a sudden that they're yeah. picked up. I think, I, think, I think ordering at midnight was a good idea. Definitely, mate. Honestly, uh, that was... Um, we did it. And I'll tell you what, though, Rick, I did. It's funny. Uh, half an hour before we, we made our orders, the whole Lego.com website, every single place around was completely down. Well, Samson, uh, so, that is one excellent moonwalk. Thank you very much. It's taken me all of 40 seconds to think of it. Yeah, let's take a look at the moon. <laughs> show, show us off your moonwalk. There we go. If I could get, I'll get it to stand up. There, there we go. There. There. Ta da. It's, it's there. Stay on him. There. There you go. <laughs> it took me a long time to think about that one. I think I think it's, we should name that mock the uh, Tranquility Skiff. <laughs> you might be on to something. I should really put the clear bricks on there. I'll be actually connected on there. I might not build the little lana. I might leave it like that. My first mock, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> uh, Brandy's dog. Cut the craggle, didn't I? Thought that was uh, Neil Armstrong and uh, Buzz Aldrin. I thought that was actually them. Was that? Or did, or they, did, did they just use generic ones or something? Then they just generic minifigures. Okay, so, uh, hi, thanks for coming in, mate. Always great to see you. See you over the weekend. I think people they, are just saying that it is. Yeah, they may have struggled to get like rights or likenesses or yeah. Or names. Oh, it's, it's just people obviously just making their assumptions because obviously there's too many figures in here, and obviously there's two people that landed on the moon, so you just got to kind of go by your own. Yeah, they just can't name them on there probably for that exact reason. Actually, good point. But then it's a NASA one though, isn't it? So maybe uh, there's a licensing thing for using their names in it as well. Is it officially licensed by NASA? Yeah, must be because it's got NASA. It's the little no, It's got Apollo, the next great leap, uh, the 50th anniversary, but that's it. It hasn't got NASA's logo on the front here. Oh. No. I would imagine too. You'd also have a few, not so much disgruntled people, but it's sort of like, yeah, they they got the the glory from it, but there was a hell of a lot of people that worked on it. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah, I'm just I'm just looking through the magazine. It doesn't even have. It's got no NASA logos in here at all. It's got about NASA, but that's about it. Okay, right. Two seconds. I'll be right back. Okay, dude. All right, I am going to head out now because I'm getting yeah, hungry. Right. I, I need to worry about going down the stream in a minute. Titanium, anyway. So, um, anyway, good to see you, mate. Thanks for yeah. eating Jargo, uh, good stuff. <laughs> yeah. Have you got any uh, big Ninjago sets coming up soon, mate? No, no, that's of yet. Okay, I mean, well, I look, might, look. might get Kai's mech jet, but other than that, oh, nice, yeah. But anyway, we will do couple of weeks or so and we'll do one on say saturday the 16th or something like that hey yeah definitely yeah we'll have a ninjago stream that'd be fun i like that i like the idea of that that'd be good but yeah no uh, titanium take care great to see you don't forget folks do check out titanium's uh, channel it does some really Bye, good everybody. stuff so, Doc, you for a little bit longer mate if you want to jump in doc um for 10 15 minutes what time is it now 10 o'clock here yeah we'll probably go for we'll probably stream for another 10 15 minutes or so if you want to jump in doc you know where we are 
Uh, same to you, Cut the Craggle. If you want to pop in, just say hi or something like that, mate. Please do feel free to do so. And guys, what are you thinking of the wallpapers that I'm using in the background? So I kind of, when I create the thumbnails, I'm create, I'm using the same image and using that in the background as well. Do you like them? Do you think they're okay? Um, they're pretty cool. Yeah, yeah they're, they're just. I'm just basically trying to use something to, you know, do different thumbnails and stuff like that, just to make it a little bit more interesting. Uh, Cut the Craigle says, nope, Buzz is still alive and he's still very active with NASA. Uh, and the space program. Oh, that's cool to hear. Um, and I read that Neil Armstrong's family has said they were never even approached about the set. Wow, that's, that's quite shocking, actually. Wow. Yeah. Brett Spills is my number one fan. Well, I appreciate that, Brett Spills. Um, I, I, I gave you a shout at the top of the show, my friend. But I always, always, always appreciate you being here, my friend. Uh, the Woodshop teacher says, well, got to go. Stay safe, everybody, and see you all another time take care my workshop teacher stay safe oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah well there's definitely a few parts missing on this set i have to say Not is there really oh that's a shame yeah there are a few have is you got the part have you got parts that like, like, to replace them with or you got to order them up what parts if i'm honest the, 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 they're all coloured parts. I'll just, I'll just check with figs. I'll tell you what, though, there's some great looking um, mini figs that came out when this came out. I've got to show you to you because some of them are blooming classic ones. Let me just change the. Uh, the yeah. Oh, yeah, Pepsi Max. <laughs> and it is uh, Pepsi Max. Shop says, um, did I have the link in my email, Greg? But Chop, are you able to jump in for a little bit? Because I can send you the link, mate. I, I haven't emailed you the link yet, but if you want to come in, uh, you're more than welcome to. I can we can stream for another ten to twenty to half an hour or something like that. I'm about Got to thirty seconds. Okay, we'll say hi. Um, yeah, let me. Uh, I'll send it to you, But Chop. Let's. Dee -dee -dee -dee. But Chop, I don't think you've ever been on one of my streams, so it'd be fabulous to have you on it, mate. By the time I find it, I won't be able to say hi. It's from Butt Chop. He goes, I could join for a second. Uh, that's good enough, mate. That's cool. I'm just trying to remember what your email address was. I have got it. Uh, let me just try it and I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll do it a slightly different way. Cut the craggle. Considering the effort they put into the women at NASA set, I thought it was pretty disrespectful how they did the minifigs on the Lunar Lander. Yeah, I no, I, I totally agree. Totally agree. I've got the women, women of masters up there, and that's yeah, pretty good. And this one here, they just haven't bothered with. Moto's back. Wow, you're still going. Yeah, man, we're hardcore. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Uh, I have you now. Actually, actually, put his email in the chat. No, Quickly. <laughs> it's actually not too dissimilar to someone else's email. Uh, anyway, it's on its way to you now, but Chuck, you should see that in your inbox in the next few moments. Emails travel at 50,000 miles per hour, in case anyone wondered. Anyway, check these figures out, folks. Look at these. This was a golden era for Star Wars figures. Look at those. Yeah, there were some good figures around then. That's one of my favourite figures that I've got. Yeah, I've got. Oh, I can't remember what set that was actually. And I got it in my glass cabinet over there. I don't know if you saw it yesterday, but I don't know what set that actually came in. I cannot remember. I don't think. Oh, I'm going up into my loft tomorrow. So I'll soon find out. <laughs> I've got to find out general vid. I know. I haven't forgotten about that. I need to know. The solo loft. The solo loft. I'll take a photo. I'll tell you what, I'll take a photograph of it tomorrow and I'll put it on my Instagram page and you can kind of see what I'm dealing with. It's mostly just boxes, really. She sells for at least, uh, Amadala came in the London sub. That's the one. Yep, she sells for at least 50 quid. Damn, she does. Really? I managed Damn. to pick that up last year for 20 quid. Bargain. Yeah. What, just the Amadala or did you. Um, get the whole set 
did I get the whole set? No, I just got hurt. That's all I was interested in. Um, yeah, there was just a guy online that was just selling them uh, cheap. I think he just needed to get some cash or something rather. And I was like, well, I never really thought I'd ever get the figure, but I did. I, I got it. I got it. Actually, it wasn't really 20, 25. It was more like 35, I think it was, but it was still a good bargain for it. UK production says golden era for uh, uh, golden era was pre 2013. Uh, yeah. To, to be fair, I mean, Lego's always made some phenomenal sets. They've dropped the ball a few times, but they've always made great sets. I always find the biggest problem is, especially with Lego Star Wars, I can't think of any other thing. Is... The door, folks. There is somebody at the door. There is someone. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. He is, how can I put it? He is the chop of butts. <laughs> hey, butt chop. Hello. Knock, knock. How you, you doing? Yeah. Knocky, knocky. Knocky, knocky. Oi, oi. How are we knocky, doing? Knocky, let me in. How are you guys doing? I can only stay for a little bit, but. No, that's okay, mate. I, I, I was out there sorting pounds and pounds of bulk from my local shop, and then I, I had to come down here to get get away from. I was, I just had the living room was trashed. I got <laughs> like forty gallons of bulk that i'm sorting through so you get sick of uh mega blocks and and filthy kid boogers and stuff in there so. <laughs> well, sounds like my place <laughs> yeah except it's not my kids boogers so it's oh it's all, all right, bulk right. that uh, the used toy store he buys it up real cheap and then it, he has pick a brick by weight but he, wow. he's closed down for the quarantine, so he can't make any money. That's how he supports oh, his family, is use toys. So I offered to sort it so that he could sell it by color, part part type, uh, curbside. So you can drive by and he'll throw a bag of Lego at your car, just open your window, and you throw the cash out, and he runs and grabs the cash, and you drive <laughs> off with the Lego. <laughs> I think I might have to take a drive. Yeah. <laughs> you to help him out though, mate. But how you been anyway? How's things? How's the channel? You, uh, anyone that watches Butt Chop, obviously he, Butt Chop's into really, well, he's well into Ninjago stuff, but he's also uh, builds like a lot of mock stuff. And I think the last time I spoke to you, mate, you was building a mock house that was kind of based on some sort of Danish sort of place. Yeah, that's the one, the yellow and red one. Uh, get, let's have a butcher's. Yeah, it should be a... Uh pretty much done man I, I even did some of the interior um oh yeah that's well cool i think this guy i'm gonna call basically done got the the back light over the back door and i used those new like beveled slopes or beveled uh like uh rounded slopes here i don't know if you can tell what they are or not let me yeah, try to they're dead big old windows you got there. These, these are the old style windows. The, yeah. uh, these are not the same height as the door. It's a four by one by five high. Yeah. So it's like not the same as like a door frame. You know your your typical door frame now is yeah. six high. So these are the older style windows. I, I'm using all these vintage windows and doors and stuff in here. Can I ask you a question about the um, about the base that you've got it on? Is that is that a particular style of standard? Because you've got you it looks like it can interlink with other stuff. Right, that's a mills plate. Your modular inter uh, interlocking. Or it, it's a modular inter uh, something landscape. Do you need yeah. me to give you the website? You I need me to email you the website, buddy. No, well, what's it called? I'll see if I can find it. Was it mill? No. Just put in Mills plate, Lego Mills. Oh, Bratz builds is off. See you later. Bratz builds, take care, everyone. Bratz builds, thanks for being here, mate. And um, yeah, thanks for popping in. It's been great to great to have you here, mate. And thanks for being here early doors as well, Brett. Really appreciate it, mate. And um, Doc Sands, Doc Sands hey, says number four, number one fans should be here until the end. Just saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I got it. Hold on, I lost my chat. Doc. Doc, Lego Mills. and Cafe Con Lego Mills. Yeah, I just did actually a uh, w private webinar, but it's it's a live stream on the Brickhead Family's channel. They 
they're switching over to mills. So I did a private uh, webinar on mills plates for the Brickhead, Nick and his kids over at the Brickhead family. So you can actually watch a replay of that. And it's basically a how to uh, mills for dummies <laughs> like me. And then uh, I uh, have been doing some other stuff. I just did a couple uploads, which I I don't do uploads. I haven't been doing them very much. And going back to doing uploads, I did. I created a, an edging system for the mills for the side that would be showing, like if you were displaying it at, at a show or at your house. Yeah. I created a, a modular system that sticks right in the front here, so it doesn't matter if your bricks are all funky colors. Uh, some people will, will purposely do a certain color brick because they know that side's showing. But I would rather be able to move it around, and no matter what side is showing, I can cover it up. Yeah. The bottom part. But I got the reason I started doing this is because I got sick of dropping my mocks. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> they don't, they're so stable. I can hold it with one hand, and it won't come off the base plate. So that's why I do that. Well, let's, let's take a little look, shall we, everyone? Good so, for, yeah, that's the site. That's the site. The uh, original modular integrated landscaping system. I tell you, I, I, you I, I love get, learning, learning new stuff. I've not heard of this. Um, have you, uh, Matt? You're, you're kind of quite technical. No, no, I haven't heard of this. I mean, so obviously, you can get as technical or as simple as you want with it. There's just the simple mills, and you can, but you can do different. Height Let me show Kat, you. Kaz, uh, you Kaz has been speaking about this from. Uh, 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 yeah, I remember her speaking about that for how she does her stuff. Yeah, so, the, the, the the said something which is a, a similar sort of idea. Yeah, yeah, I remember when she was on the chat uh, on your channel, Greg, and she was talking about that. Yeah, well, uh, actually, you you know um, Kaz, don't you, from Blockhead UK, uh, Butcher? Oh yeah. For sure, I've known her for a long time. Yeah, you, you two are good friends. And I'll tell you what, um, Kaz is super, super technical. I, I love her. She was on a couple of weeks ago. I mean, look at that, man. I mean, look at the um, – I'm loving all the texture. Right. And so it's fun to play with the height and then different type of terrain, depending on if it's like dirt, rock. Um, and then you can really just – this is kind of a three – it just kind of displays like three different types of biome. You got your rock, your uh, dirt, kind of sand or whatever, and then your grass. And uh, I did an upload on this. It's and, really good. Uh, much. I, love I it. did an upload on my edging. Thanks, Doc. Doc says, uh, Doc says the edging system is nice. I appreciate that, Doc. I know he watched those uploads. It, yeah. It really isn't that much of an investment. Uh, you buy if you have access to used bulk. Yeah, you can use junk brick inside there. It it's not like you got to go buy all new stuff for it. You know, I know that's perfect for it. I've been using um, I, I, a friend of mine gave me a load of secondhand Lego, and I, you know, it's a bit beaten up sort of thing where the kids have kind of really used it, but it's brilliant for being like a filler. You know, the stuff that you don't see, and it's it's perfect for that. Oh, exactly. Um, it's it it actually a lot of people will have lego like that sitting around they don't know what to do with because if you build a mock or something it, it's ugly you know the aesthetic is ugly it's all chewed up and dirty or, or fate sun faded but you can use that in the middle no one sees that that's just to support the plates on top of a base plate you know all it is is a base plate with brick technic yeah. technic brick for the connectors and then plate over the regular plate over the top and it's so sturdy and so nice yeah no, it looks really cool man and have you um was you thinking of this displaying anything this year because from what i'm hearing they're kind of closing down a lot of the um uh, a lot of the, the the conventions this year in america yeah i was supposed to display at uh brick world chicago which is one of the big three yeah. And that's canceled. I was going to display with Whistlug. Um, and I was super excited for that. Uh, but I guess not till next year, most likely. And uh, um, that would be actually technically my first time displaying. Mm. Not, not, I, would, I have gone to conventions before as the full deal where you're registered 
but just just to basically have fun and just hang out with people. Um, yeah, it's like it's like a family reunion when we, when we go. Like when we went to Philly Brickfest, it was just it's like a family reunion. Everybody that you love is there, and you just all. It was sad to leave, but yeah, I was going to display this year. I was excited. I got a huge castle. I was going to display my volcano castle, and it is mass. It's on a massive mills plate, like a sixty-four by sixty-four. It's wow. not. It, it, it's scary to carry around, but I was going to bring it to Chicago because that's only like three hours away. Can, can you? Have you got? Is he got? Can we see it? Have you got it? Like, is it somewhere you can? Okay, I don't get it. If I drop it, Greg, I'm coming over to your house tonight. <laughs> I'll, be at, I'll be at your front door tonight. I'll take a plane right over. <laughs> yeah, good, luck. good luck getting the charter for that, yeah, mate. Good luck. <laughs> What's up, Bama Bricks? Good to see you, Bama Bricks. Yeah, Bama Bricks, man. I'm really enjoying you being in the chats and everything. Um, most of the streams I go in, you you seem to be there as well. It's good to have you here, mate. Uh, Greg, do you go to any Lego? Uh, well, do you go to any Lego conventions in the UK? Yeah, I I go. To, there's some that are in a in, in a place called Caterham. Occasionally they have them there. But this year I want to go to the Great Western in Swindon. And Darren, honestly, mate, come with me if you want to. And and yeah. same thing, Matt. Uh, though it might be a bit funnel going in my mini. Um, <laughs> if you want to come, more than welcome to. Yeah, I mean, we were we well, uh, we're still hoping to go, but we had every plans to go up there anyway. You know, we're well, like, we're we're right go. So, yeah, it'd be good to meet up up there. All yeah, fingers crossed. Cool. Every, everything crossed. Hopefully, we can make it up there. I'll throw one in the what's it called? Great Western, Great, Great Western uh, cover show, Lego show. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my God! What what is going on over there? I tell you what, uh, uh, butt chop! Don't give yourself a hernia picking that up, mate. Well, I'm not coming. Yeah, I yeah, oh I definitely my have God. some kind of muscle thing coming out of my groin. So I <laughs> <laughs> woo! Look at that! Oh my God! Uh, I don't even have space for this on my table, man. Hold on, I gotta move some oh stuff. So we're gonna. Because it's oh, hanging off the back of the table. That is insane. Oh, I always got a mess in here. I got more Lego than I got space. And I'm always, I got like 12 projects. You know how it is to have 14 projects going at once? <laughs> or maybe you don't. Maybe most people are organized. Better. Nah. <laughs> nah, don't worry about that, Chuck. That You're not alone, like, though. That, that is like Chicago meets Mustafa. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is based on Nexo Knights, man. Oh, so, I recognize those parts, man. So the, the Mills plate is 64 by 64. And then this is all, all this rock work here. Let me see if I can get you a better view. Um, all the rock work goes yeah. up. And then on there is a 48 by 48 base plate. It's hard to see because I have – it's almost seamless. But right there is where the base plate starts. You can kind of see the crack right there. See that? Uh -huh. That's where the base plate sits on top of this mills plate. So underneath all this rock work is uh, just bricks inside there. It's actually Duplo inside there to hold this base plate on top. And then, hold on, I'm, I'm out of breath because I'm trying to hold hold it up. So then, <laughs> breathe through the breathe carefully. <laughs> Yeah, so then it's supposed to be the it's castle built on a volcano. So the volcano's erupting. The bad guys have made their own vo volcano erupt on purpose that they built their castle on because the brick world theme is bridges to bridges to other worlds or bridges to oh, I, forget how, exactly. I can't think of a better theme. Something about bridges. So they have to escape the castle. So they they're going to use lava, the lava from their volcano layer, to uh, make a bridge to a safe an island of safety. So then all the other people are going to have their castles around this body of water with an island in the middle, which is the safe point. And they all have different ways they have to get their guys across the water to the island, different bridges, depending on... Uh, like reads that he's got ice bears, so they're gonna freeze the water to get across. 
to yeah. the island. So it's like a race to survive by getting through. So let me see if I can. Oh my gosh. Okay. There, I don't have to hold it up anymore. It's heavy. So it's, it's somewhat modular so that you can get inside. There's a bedroom. There's a kitchen space with a cauldron and a chicken coop. That is a big ass bedroom. Yeah, there's the there's the piss pot next to it. <laughs> yeah. It's a technical architectural name. <laughs> then, yeah. This part comes down because there's a technical gear in there. I'll show you. It's kind of like a lava sarlacc. That it. So see that guy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so then that turns. So a guy falls down through here. Into the sar into that lava spikes, and he's not going to have a good day. Uh, hold on, sorry about the camera making you sick. This is the rear. If you're into the rear, there's basically this is the back entrance. Goes up. There's a bathtub. In case the bad guys got to clean up, and then this is the actual throne here. So I used these. A uh, little diamond type studs that are uh, trans orange. So it looks kind of like a punker bracelet, you know, a little bit like a 70s clash, like, you know, combat rock. And then I used some of those black Nexo shields and shingled them. So then you got, this is kind of where the guy sits. He's kind of got a bad place to sit, but he's the, uh, he's in charge, so. And then this part comes off too, or does it? Let me make sure it comes off. Oh yeah. That way you can get into the prison center. And then, yeah, it's kind of a look at it from the back. This is also a prison. If you want to make an example of someone, they got to sit in the uh, crimson bone cage. <laughs> <laughs> Inside there, there's all, uh, there's, you can pretty much access everywhere by stairs, ladders, and walkways. There's it's pretty much accessible to many figures, like if they were real living creatures. So yeah, so you don't have to use as much imagination of them like floating. But some of the guys who live here do have wings, so I suppose. But that's pretty much it, Greg. I don't know what else to show you. But this uh, all this rock work. I, I, I gotta really say, but butt chop, that is that is I'm not joking, mate. That is probably the biggest set. Or, or probably the biggest set for uh, sat on the, 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 the Mills uh style thing I've ever seen on this on, on this channel, mate. It's it's phenomenal. Oh, I think we've I think we've lost butt chop. It's that he's doing a very good impression of being still. <laughs> Somebody's oh, called Mannequin on him. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, how's your painting coming along, uh, Matt? Yeah, I think I finished the inks for it now. So let's just see if we get that. But Batchop, if you can hear us still, um, you, you, your screen's frozen, my friend. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is impressive. Oh, sorry. Let's put you on. Um, let's put you on that. Impressive, most uh, impressive. impressive. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you are not a Jedi yet. <laughs> <laughs> it looks amazing, Matt. It really does. Cheers. Yeah, just got to uh, so done that and yeah, go through and start painting it tomorrow. So, oh, that's it. Yeah, what time are you on tomorrow? I think I'm on at like eleven at night. Oh. So, you'll be thinking, no, you it's... Going to the missus tomorrow. Oh, yeah, sorry, I've just got to go and jump on the stream. It's just like, <laughs> oh, I'm not that Greg again. Like, no, <laughs> <the radio. laughs> but, Darren, we we'll have to get you on that stream, um, my friend. We we'll have to get you on that. Yeah, well, if, if uh, Lego Mania emails me, I'll, I'm, I'm up for it. Doesn't matter what time of day or night it is, you know. Yeah, because I'll be, I, I, I said to him, I'll be in the chat, you know, because I was on one of his live streams in the chat, and I said to him, you know, I'll, I'll be in the chat, and I don't worry, I'll donate money towards his charity anyway. So, yeah, well, that's cool. Because it's all uh, going for a good cause, isn't it? No, definitely. Ah, here we are. Let's try a new angle. Here we go. Um, yeah, well, that was quite good, actually. It's quite moody, doesn't it? With the uh, 
the lights in the background there. Do you like that? Do you think that angle looks okay, folks out there in the chat world? Um, it doesn't look like uh, Butchop's going to be coming back. He, uh, I think he his Wi-Fi just kind of went. Uh, luckily for us, though, we, we, we got to see um, we got to see him uh, finish off that great big set. Did, did anyone catch the name of that 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 um, that mock that custom mock castle that he'd made? Did he have a particular name? Um, I didn't catch the name. Yeah, I didn't catch the name. I mean, the closest he got was saying something like from Nexo Knights or sort of inspired or pieces from it or something. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah. yeah no, I, I, I was loving it. I was loving it. Well, look, folks, we, we're kind of we, 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 we're winding down a little bit now. We've got quite a lot coming up um, from uh, – I'm so used to talking into that camera, but you're over there now. Um, we've got quite a lot of things coming up soon from London Bridge Bricks. But first of all, Let's go and ask uh, Solo what he's going to be up to. And what have you built tonight, Solo? To give, give us a little rendition of what you've built, my friend. Um, right. Well, I bought uh, – Doc will probably say I've only built half the skiff pit because I haven't built this Sarlacc pit. But there you go. It's a very simple build. very easy, but quite nice, very strong. So there's the skiff builder done and uh, the Lunar Lander base, base plate done and dusted. And yeah, that's pretty much what I've done on your stream today. Um, just kind of chilled out, really. Just helped out in your uh, your chat while you sorted out your bricks. Um, I did. And you know what? Uh, it's it's one of those um, uh, it's one it's one of those ones whereby it, you know a lot of people will be pretty uh, peeved off if they've gone through a whole set uh, and found it. But I actually did find that there's a, there's there's a few bricks missing from it, and it's yeah. from a particular it's. Annoyingly, it's the thruster part. It's just it's a couple of oh, simple so, I bought the it was a few years ago. We bought uh me and my missus, we bought the Magna Guards uh Starfighter and it, it took me ages to really kind of get it down from my loft to actually start building it. And we are, we're plucking it all apart. So like half of it was all coming apart. And next, you know, like, Christ, it's stuck on the next, you know, we found out you bloody glued it all together. Oh no, I've never <laughs> had that. Has anyone ever bought a, a second hand set? And then uh, realise that someone's glued with bits. I don't know why. Why would anyone want to glue Lego? I, I have no idea. I can answer that for you, Craggle. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Craggle. In a nutshell, uh, no. <laughs> what I will do though, I will do it tomorrow. Cut the Craggle. I will post it on Instagram, and I will put in on Instagram. I, I'll put just for you. Cut the Craggle. I will. I'm going to be doing. Um, I, I might even if I've got time. I might even do the video tomorrow and get that up and out. Um, but I've got, I want to do the mini. I want to kind of finish that off. And I'm also, I want to do, because I want to do a bit of an overview for it. So I've kind of got to write a bit of a, a bit of a script because believe it or not, it's scripted. Whenever I do my overviews at the beginning, it is scripted. And I've got to try and memorize like about a page, maybe four page worth of text. So you do a better job than I do because I don't script mine. <laughs> Uh, I, I've got to really fully point it, but hopefully that comes through okay. And I'm, when, whenever I'm trying to talk, I'm always trying to, you know, what's difficult when you are talking is that you don't say, mm, and ah, and mm, and breathe, or uh, in Darren's case, burp occasionally. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm only kidding, mate, I'm only kidding. Darren doesn't really burp. If he does, he mutes it, um, to be mm. fair. But um, oh, Moto says he's actually found glued stuff. I'm not surprised you have Moto because I tell you what, um, I know you go through. I mean, I mean, uh, you get through quite a lot of bricks, my friend. I mean, you, you, you're, you're, I mean, your things are ginormous. Um, I'd imagine as well because you put so much effort and so much of your soul into building those sets. Are you, are you reluctant to actually disassemble them, Moto? Yeah, I'd be very interested to know what you think about that. Uh, don't have to answer now. Maybe another time, but I definitely want to know. How that kind of makes you feel because you put a lot of effort into building something. I mean, certainly like tonight, seeing what uh, Butt Shop 2021 built, you know, you sort of think, God, did you, it'd be hard to disassemble it, really. But anyway, anyway, so I'm, I'm thinking, thinking it out loud there. Um, it just, I, I can, I can join, I can join to answer. Moto, we're going to be winding down there, my friend, but we're, um, we'll be. Uh, certainly back up again next Friday. If you want to pop in next Friday or something like that, you, you're more than welcome. But Friday's one will be uh, same sort of hours, maybe half seven uh, in the evening to about half ten, because then Darren and I and Matt, well, I think Matt's going to be joining the end part of my stream. So next week next week, um, next week week is a, is a really big one. There's a couple of really big ones coming up next week, but the big, big, big one is going to be on the uh, – the, well, I'm, I'm streaming on the 8th and the 9th, 
and the 10th of May. On the on the on the 9th of May, that's the big one. That's going to be like the A team one. And that is a joint anniversary and UCS stream by Brick Hive and me. It's not it's not actually a transatlantic one or anything like that, but because there's so so many good correlations between Brick Hive and myself, um, we are going to kind of celebrate our first anniversary of our channels. And Matt is doing the um uh, doing the thumbnails for that. So it's going to be the first anniversary of my channel and Brick Hive channel. And also while we're doing it, uh, we're both going to be building a UTX or joining us that uh will be solo and Matt. so so that's going to be a brilliant day it's going to be an epic day it kicks off at three o'clock uh here in the uk and then it, we are streaming until say six maybe i don't know six thirty something like that anyway they're gonna have a short break see our loved ones maybe grab something to eat or whatever and uh and then we'll be streaming again from 7 p.m uk time at uh, this time though we'll be switching channels so we'll be going from uh london bridge Bricks over to brick hive and uh, continuing the build, really. So I'm hosting the first part. He's hosting the second part. And I think I think we've got maybe three. Well, we've definitely got three people, four people, four people that are going to be building the new uh, UCSA wing. So yeah, it'd be great to have you all over for that. Um, as always, solo brick builder, um, fantastic avenue here, mate. As always, you, you are literally my my A wing man. Uh, <laughs> Matt, brilliant to have you here, mate. Good, good, good that you're feeling better as well um that's, that's brilliant news my friend and of course of course everything every, every all of this would not mean anything uh without any of you guys out there as well especially you rogue runner um oh he's gonna save his uh, he's uh slave one for that yeah please do mate uh, I, I i don't know i i, I don't know if i'm the oh, I'm, I, I very much doubt i'm the only one that does this but i do i do really enjoy building stuff and um and listening to other live streams or at the same time so i kind of feel like i'm kind of in a room building sets with other people so i, I guess that's pretty much what it's like for you as well bro brother. but no every everybody who's been in the chat tonight thank you so much as always moto uh cut the craggle you've been a right little busy bee out there today uh cafe con lego so bricks uh barma bricks Doc Samson as well, mate. Always fantastic to have you uh, <laughs> in the chat. And the Doc did actually jump into the green, er green room earlier when he was there for about five minutes. And I went to go and pull him in, and it was sort of like, ah, he's gone. Um, so, yeah. Also, as well, we had uh, we had Brickso Studios here earlier on. Um, we had Brick Studios as well. But he, he, he just kind of came in. Did his build and then went out again. So uh, I didn't quite, I didn't quite catch him going. But I know he's always having trouble with his uh, Wi-Fi. <coughs> Excuse me. And of course, um, we have the, uh, the 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 lovable rogue, which is of course Puck Chop on his way one. But Nickamore, um, Matt, I just been um, uh, chatting with Nickamore in the, in the chat tonight, and he he comes from um, Biggin Hill. Which isn't a million miles away. No, uh, that's really stones right. through. Yeah, exactly. So really I've said, I said, I, I've said to Nicomore, and please do do this, Nicomore. Um, when when the lockdown, when we can all venture out and the world becomes a normal uh, sort of place again, you know, a bit, uh, at least normal, well, more normal than what it is at this moment. Um, I've said to him, you should come to uh, one of the London A Foles meeting. And uh, Solo, you should come along too, as well, my friend. Yeah, I definitely will be meeting up at yeah, some of our. It'd be great to have a meet up. It's in a pub. We can eat loads of pizza and Pepsi. So, you know, we'll be, we'll be in our Lego elements. We will be. Um, Tech Production, it's been great to see you here, mate. Uh, as always, you, you're always in the house here. The Woodchuck teacher, you too. And of course, Brick Hive and Rogue Runner. Anyway, folks, look. I just want to really wish every single one of you a lovely weekend. Um, you know, keep keep safe, keep your family safe and everything like that. Don't forget tomorrow, folks, there's the uh, Lego Lomaniac 24-hour stream. Lego Lomaniac, if you're listening now, mate, best of luck for tomorrow. I'll be on there from uh, 5 o'clock in the, in the evening uh, or late afternoon. Uh, Matt's going to be in there from 11. Solo's going to be in there from the chat. I'll be in there in the chat as well. There's going to be loads of great folks helping out, including Butt Chop, actually, and uh, Cut the Craggle. So, yeah, do, do watch out for that, folks. Uh, it's been brilliant having you here. And all I can say is keep calm, keep clean, and don't forget, always, whatever you ever do, keep building. And as, uh, as my good friend would say, Solo Brick Builder, 
May the bricks, May the bricks be, be with you. Anyone Monday, bro, for Matt Brown. May the 4th, uh, special edition. Take care.